Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm from Barnsley in South Yorkshire. Um, I make bags, cushions, um, I like to do some dressmaking and dabble in a little bit of quilting as well. I applied for the Search for a Sewing Star competition because I absolutely love to teach and inspire others to sew and that's why I would like to win. I would love to be the next um, Sewing Street Sewing Star. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi, my name is Ruth Springer and I'm from London. I am a designer and maker. I applied for this competition because I just wanted a new adventure and I had no expectations of where it would take me and I'm just delighted that I've reached the final. I'd love to come back and share some of my projects with you and continue this adventure. So, thank you. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm originally from Manchester, moved to Wales about 12 years ago. We now live just outside Cardiff. I live with my lovely husband Andrew and my fabulous cat Percy. I sew memory bears. Um, I have a family comforts business with my daughter and my husband helping me too. Sewing Street's a fabulous place to be part of um, and I'd love people to vote for me so that I can come here and show people the passion that I have for sewing um, and give you all my hints and tips, which I love to do, because I think as a crafter, you can never, ever stop learning. Thank you. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Good morning, good morning, welcome to Sewing Street. How is everybody today? I'm still recovering from my one-year-old daughter's birthday. I'm still recovering from my birthday party, I think it was. Uh, but how is everybody today? Surrounded by cats, it's cat of the month time today. We've got Cara back in, we've got Kerry living in Loveless, and I've not seen Kerry. Um, definitely not seen her this year. It's been ages and ages and ages, so I'm so pleased to be reunited with Kerry and all of her lovely loveliness. Um, speaking of loveliness, we've got Liberty Galore this first hour. I mean, 
it, it doesn't get any better than that, does it, really? Normally, I would be starting the show with an early bird special. Now, we are going to do the early bird as soon as it arrives here. Um, so, it's not here because it's literally hot off the press. I don't think it was even supposed to be on today, to be honest, but I know that Hannah was like, right, no, I want that early bird today. Um, things have literally just arrived in the warehouse. So, we've got some amazing deals that Hannah had spotted that have literally been booked in yesterday after the show and we've nabbed them for today's show so we're going to show you them straight away as soon as they come in but including our early bird so we we're not going to do the early bird straight away we're going to talk about it this first hour until the second it arrives you'll know about it i promise but it is definitely worth the wait it really is it's amazing it's one of your favorites um we, uh, for those of you that, of course, have gotten up bright and early and said, hang on a minute, I wake up every morning to find out what the early bird special is. We still want to do an offer for you right now. Um, it's not officially the early bird. It definitely shouldn't be discounted. But, Kat, uh, but Hannah's just picked some things out for us. So, how do you think, how do you feel about three fabrics, all reduced, all liberty? All liberty. I think I feel all right about this, you know. It's actually, we're a bit, we were panicking earlier on a bit that our early bird hadn't arrived. And then we thought, do you know what, actually? Let's just reduce something else and then bring in the early bird when it arrives. So these are th uh, three individual. Yeah, let's do them individually. So you're going to get three deals back to back. Now, they're all for Christmas. Although saying that, this could be for birthdays, couldn't it? It's just a candle. It's just a candle. Uh, I'm still in birthday mode, still in birthday mode. Um, so yeah, they are technically from the Liberty Christmas range, um, Merry and Bright. But um, I think a lot of us, I know that we are officially, you know, in April. Maybe you are thinking about making for Christmas. Maybe you are thinking about making to sell. This is luxury quilting weight official Liberty fabric. Now it's always 749. We know that. I mean, to be able to, to make little Liberty purses, to be able to make Liberty Christmas decorations, how much do you pay? It is official Liberty fabric. Look at the salvage. It literally says Liberty. It's gorgeous. If you're making to sell, this is a really good opportunity to get all of your fabric in your stash, nice and early, ready for Christmas. So, you've got your beautiful candles. Now, this isn't screaming, you know, Father Christmas. It's actually a really classy, beautiful fabric, isn't it? With pinks and reds and golds. I love that. £7.49 today, going to its lowest ever price. Are you ready? Um, this isn't even supposed to be an early bird. This is just Hannah's saying thank you for waking up bright and early with us. And yeah, sorry that the early bird is slightly delayed, but it is on its way and it's worth the wait. But there you go. Another treat for you to start the morning. 5.49 is without a doubt the lowest ever price this has ever been. Um, and of course, it's your opportunity to buy it by the half metre. So 5.49 uh, per half metre. And if you're buying, say, three units, you'll get a metre and a half all in one continuous piece of fabric. Quarter of the stock gone straight into baskets. We've got some really, really lovely inspiration as well today. Um, Cara's doing some lovely little purses. This would be great for Christmas little purses. We've even got Liberty dungaree set pattern. Imagine Christmas kids dungarees. Oh, that would be adorable. Maybe your, you know, your New Year's resolution was to start dressmaking and you haven't yet started, but you're thinking, right, with the Great British Sewing Bee starting in a couple of weeks, or when is it? Is it like the 20th or something? It's very soon, isn't it? Um, I think John, was it John or Stuart told us the official date before anybody else? I think Stuart did a bit of a, yeah, a bit of naughty letting us all know. Jan said, good morning, Vicky and all. What a treat, two guests. I know, Cara and Kerry today. This is the only hour I'm on my own. So I'm going to have a lovely day. It's, it's quite a good thing, actually, as I've definitely been singing way too much over the uh, over the weekend. I must have sang happy birthday about 50 times and my voice is, is, is a bit sore. Uh, 5.49, a half metre. Loads of these are straight into baskets. Check out, check out, check out. Remember, it will be 7.49 tomorrow. 
Um, this isn't even the early bird. We've got three fabrics which we're going to reduce now, just as a sorry that you've had, a, had to get up so early and, you, and we haven't bought you the early bird. Um, we're probably going to have management texting in a moment saying, uh, hang on, this is Liberty Fabric. Nothing else, by the way, we can reduce. This is not supposed to be reduced. It's quilting weight Liberty Fabric for £5.49 half metre. And this is where you're benefiting if you're, if you're purchasing multiple units you're really going to reap the benefits of that saving. I'm thinking, what about table runners for Christmas? Christmas baubles, decorations. You could do even little Christmas cushions. Am I the only person that changes my cushions at Christmas on the sofa? Anybody else? Just me? I even changed the little um, tea bag rest in the kitchen. You know, like where you put your tea bags. I've got a little Christmas one that I change. So yeah, those of you that do like to swap things out, is it too far if you make your own like Roman blind for Christmas? <laughs> Maybe that's a bit excessive. What about a Christmas chair? Yes. Right, just so you know, once everybody checks out, there's only five metres left, which sounds a lot, it's not. If you want, you know, to make a Christmas sack or stockings, matching stockings on a fireplace, uh, then yes, only five metres left once everyone's checked out. Remember, we've got two other Christmas fabrics. These have got ribbon, they're beautiful. As I said, they're not, they're not novelty Christmas. These are timeless. They're completely classic and they're, Liberty, I mean, it doesn't really get any better than that. I can't wait, actually. I've, with the pandemic, I haven't done my sort of annual London Christmas trip for a few years, and I love going to the Liberty store at Christmas. I mean, imagine making little uh, sort of gift bags. We've got um, the Lotus bag coming up with Kerry, actually at 10 o'clock today, and this would be beautiful for little uh, gift drawstring bags for Christmas, wouldn't it? Especially because it's got that lovely ribbon notion as well. Just to add into, maybe you make a Christmas quilt. This would be lovely for a border. Right, we are reducing the price just because, just because our early bird is on its way. 5.49. We cannot reduce any other Liberty fabric. I always find, do you know if you ever go to, um, I know, uh, Bista Village or Cheshire Oaks or MacArthur Clare, any of those sort of discount outlet villages, um, you could, um, you never see certain brands there, do you? You never see or certain designs that get reduced. And I always think about that with Liberty, like you do not need to drop the price. But Hannah said, look, it's April. I know that we're excited about summer. So if you want some Christmas fabric discounted, it's not gonna go out of date, go for it. We're still waiting for our early bird to arrive. What's that? The cats are scared the early bird. Oh, by the way, Bruce is trying to mess with me. He's put a hedgehog notebook cover out. I'm looking around like cats like, that's not a cat. That's a hedgehog, Bruce, trying to trick me. Trying to make me look silly on the telly. Like, oh yeah, look, there's all the cat products and there's a cheeky little hedgehog sitting on the corner. It's cute though, isn't he? I think the notebook cover is one of the makes that Amber makes offer, actually. I'm sure that is one of the patterns. I think it's just sneaked into the box. Um, didn't you, didn't, weren't you talking about hedgehogs this morning, Kat? You were talking about hedgehogs this morning, weren't you? About how you feed them cat food in the garden. Ah, so there you go. Cats, hedgehogs, there you go. Um, oh, are they? Apparently they're lactose intolerant, so don't give them milk. <laughs> I don't know if that is, a, that's a Bruce fact, apparently. Good morning, Vix and everybody. I'm staying in Norfolk for Easter with my family. I'll have a lovely time. I'd love to go to Norfolk. My mum always said that she used to go there as a child and we've never been. I really want to go back. Good morning, Laurie. She just put, hi, Vicky, the party looked fabulous. Oh, did everybody see John Scott's Facebook Live? Did you see it? He did one from the party. Did you miss it, Hannah? Hannah was isolating, but um, yeah, she's, she's all better now, all better. Um, must have been a great to have all the family and friends together. Big happy birthday to Maisie, lots of love and hugs. Oh, thank you, Laurie. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Right, so that's the green colourway. We also have it in blue. And this is a lovely deep navy blue. It's always nice to have personalised Christmas stockings or sacks that you bring out year after year. Do you know, now we're thinking more about sustainability, upcycling, uh, making things that you're going to use. Really lovely fabric, £5.49. 
five forty nine half meter. Do not think that this, you know, is normally the price on official Liberty quoting weight cotton. It's one hundred and twelve wide, machine washable, timeless, timeless and classic. Hannah is very excited for the early bird. Uh, so there are a few products actually. It's not just the early bird that's on its way. We've managed to raid the brand new stock. So things that have arrived in the warehouse last night, we've requested for our show today. Um, normally you obviously have to schedule things a few days at least in advance, but we spotted them last night and Hannah's like, I need them for my show. I need the early bird special. And we have got a brilliant, really brilliant um, early bird for you. Susan said, I saw John's post. I can't get over Maisie as a year old. She looks so sweet. I can't believe it either. I can't believe I've got a one year old. It's strange, Susan. 5.49. Half the stock is in baskets. I love the fact that you've got little Christmas trees and you've got little stars, you've got little spots. It's beautiful. Uh, here we go. Hi Vicky, I change my cushions every Christmas and I also have two different Christmas trees which alternate each year. That is such a good idea because you know I go to the garden centres and see all of these different alternative Christmas options. Remember there was a stage where people did upside down trees or different coloured trees um, and, and all those beautiful colours like blues or pinks and uh, you, you can do and then I just stick with my red and gold with a classic green tree and I just think oh maybe that's a good idea to do alternate years what sort of trees do you have then what are the two different trees do you have an upside down tree I don't know whether anybody really did I always remember seeing them in the garden centre I was like mm, is this a bit of a strange craze is it a thing would anyone go and get a real tree and hang it upside down no Morning, Margaret. How are you? And said, morning, Vicks. Thanks for all allowing uh, John to include Sewing Street Shoppers in your celebration. It looks amazing. Oh, I'm so pleased that he could do it. Um, I don't know whether the connection was great, and uh, it was quite it was quite chaotic because I think he did it just as we were doing her birthday. But I'm so pleased that he managed to do it. Yeah, it was lovely. Really lovely day. Right. So. There's your navy blues. Now, not the early bird, just to remind you, stay tuned, but just some specials to start the show for anybody who wanted a discount, who was saying, well, I tuned in at eight for a discount. There's a little cheeky, cheeky discount for you. So, um, have a look at what's coming up in today's show. So we're gonna continue with the Liberty theme. We've got no more Christmas fabric. Remember, that's the only one we can reduce, but we've got beautiful Liberty fabric. Some more little cheeky bundles as well coming up this first hour. And then at nine o'clock, it's the Ginger Tabby Cat. I must say, I think this is my favourite so far. I love a ginger tabby cat. Send in your pictures of your ginger tabby cats. We'd love to see. Um, oh, look. So we've got um, the cushion. That's like a lovely kneeling stool. Oh, I watched Amelia's show yesterday, Flourish on uh, Gemporia. She's brought out a gardening range. It's amazing. So that would be really nice for your garden. And then do you know what I got for Mother's Day? I got a washing line, but a really good washing line. It was, um, <laughs> it's one of those rotary ones and some really nice pegs. And I did say, I need a peg bag. We got a peg bag and it's in the shape of like a birdhouse. I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So remember, you can mix and match all of these um, as you wish. Tom's watching. Tom, are you recovered from the party? He was having to host with me. So you, I don't know whether you saw a sneak peek of Tom on the uh, Facebook Live. You probably don't recognise him though because he's dyed his hair bleach blonde. Uh, yeah, there's the peg bag. Oh, it's so lovely, really, really lovely um, coming up. So already going this month's panel. If you're collecting them all maybe for the quilt, then uh, yes, you can get ahead and have a look on the website on pre-order. Oh, I love the tabby cat poking through. Living in loveliness, back at 10 and 12 today. So the Lotus bags that I was just talking about would be great for Liberty. In fact, oh, the kits are beautiful as always. Um, Kerry goes above and beyond in kitting uh, the most gorgeous, gorgeous projects for you. So that's the Lotus bag. And then we've also got loads of treats, in fact, in that hour. We've got accessory roll, we've got the wreath, we've got lots of little bits and bobs from Kerry. Useful things like um, toggles, zips, all sorts. And then she's also going to be um, 
doing an accessory roll. I have got a photo of it, but the accessory roll is really lovely as well. Then Cara's going to be back, um, and Cara is doing the lovely little embroidered purse. She's got a beautiful book, really beautiful book, and those little um, purse frames. In fact, keep them in mind and remember the liberty that we're doing as well. The liberty that we're doing. Oh, look, there it is. A little embroidered purse. It's so cute. Yeah, Tom's not re recovered either. Oh, I'm pleased it's not just me. Um, that's so cute. So that's coming up with Cara later. And then we've got Kerry back and brand new pattern folder. How useful is this? I'm asking you, where do you stash all of your patterns? Where do you store them? Uh, if you're going back to workshops or classes, this is ideal. It's got everything you need, even your clear vinyl, to be able to make your lovely sewing pattern. It's like a book bag, it's really cute. Um, we've got a Liberty option. There you go, you can see it on your screen. And then we've got a couple of floral options as well, which is always are beautiful. So they're gonna be coming up later on. What a jam-packed day. If you wanna come and say hello to us, I'm on Facebook Live. And I'm also, of course, we've got the website running. So if you do send in any messages via the website, we can show them on the screen. Uh, Sewing Street TV on Facebook, or um, if you are sending in any of your tabby cat pictures, uh, Hannah's gonna do her best to show any, but it's a bit of a, um, a nightmare at the moment, the email, I'm not gonna lie. But send them in, studio at sewingstreet.com. If we can get them on air, we will. Um, but jump onto the website, you'll find everything on pre-order. Sewingstreet.com, www.sewingstreet.com. There's the, the website. If you jump onto our website, you'll see everything on pre-order. Um, all of the fabrics, Click on Watch Live at the top. There's how you message the studio. There's the early, oh! Oh! I was gonna say, I wondered whether it was gonna reveal what it was. No. We've had an update from the warehouse. Oh, it's on its way. It's not far. We've moved to the new studio, which is about five minutes away. So hopefully, um, are we? How, how long does it take door to door? Oh! Uh, well, they might have a couple of stops to do first at Jewelry Make or different places, so you have to bear with us. Um, hopefully, it will come at this hour. Very exciting. So, pre order on the right hand side. Cat of the month. Da 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 da. I don't know why I've changed the cat of the month to the blankety blank theme tune, but I quite like it. Cat of the month, cat of the month, cat of the month. All the other cats, if you've missed out, there was the uh, British short hair last month. John Scott's cats. Uh, there's all the liberty. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Liberty, liberty. Message in if there's any in particular that you'd like to see because we're going to do our best to get through them all, but you know what I'm like. Um, oh, H, um, HT2. Is that HT2? HT2 glue. Uh, the Guterman with the long uh, nozzle that you can get in the purse frames. It's back in stock. It's back in stock if you want to grab that. Uh, there's the Living in Loveliness, different colorways, beautiful lotus bag, the wreath. There's the quilt. Uh, there's the book that we're working from with Cara. Any, um, anything that Cara's requested to go with it. There's loads of skeins. Skeins, 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 keep going. Loads of skeins. Um, oh, there's another good glue as well that Cara's recommended. More patterns from Kerry, zips. It's everything for the day is loaded on the website. If you have to pop out, it's worth either taking us with us, cancelling your plans, or having a look on pre-order. Uh, it's holidays, yeah, it's Easter. It's officially sort of Easter. How much chocolate have you eaten? Kat's had one chocolate bar so far, only the one this morning, and a sausage roll. Um, okay. Should we do some half meters? Should we go for the artist's house or should we do this beautiful range of Emily Bell? Let's do Emily Bell. So Emily Bell is a really classic Liberty print. Now this is everything that we have. Um, there's an Emily Bell bundle that we've put together, which is the blues. I've got it. So these are all of the different colorways that we have. There's greens, there's yellows, there's purples. This is everything that is still available and they are all absolutely beautiful quilting weight quality. But we're gonna start with our one bundle option. Um, so we have 
always requests for blue bundles. So we've put together a Liberty Emily Bale blue bundle. Now this is iconic, classic Liberty prints that lots of you may recognise and they've changed up the colours so they're so fresh for spring, aren't they? These would be beautiful for all your spring projects, whether you're making, um, you know, little spring bunting. I put really little cute bunting up for May's birthday and I thought, Joe, I'm keeping that up now. I'm just going to keep it up for, for, for Easter and then I'll probably keep it up for spring and then think, oh, do you know, it's summer, I'm keeping bunting up. But to be able to do Liberty, oh, it's amazing. Now, these are all cut into half metres, 22 pounds and 47 pence. Um, I'll show you what they look like. It's quite deceiving, isn't it, when you see it all uh, folded up? But actually, that's how much fabric you get of each. Jubilee bunting. I really want to do. So uh, since I've moved into my new little street, like my neighbours are so lovely, I want to do a little street party. Be so cute. You should, well, you'll definitely have one, won't you, Hannah? Oh, you're away. Oh, no. Because your road is perfect for a Jubilee party because you've got like a green in front of her. Oh no. Where in Portugal are you going? I love Portugal. Oh, just outside of Libsyn. It's a surfing town. I didn't know you were into surfing. She says, I'm not, but it looks really cool. Like I can hang around with a surfer dude. <laughs> Look cool. Um, Baffa. Thank you, um, <laughs> Baffa. Good morning, Vixen team. I hope Maisie had a good birthday party. Oh, she loved it. She didn't sleep all day and she didn't really eat her dinner. She just had ice cream and, you know, treats, which everyone kept feeding her cake. I was like, oh, no, she hasn't had any dinner, but it's her birthday. One day won't hurt. Um, it was amazing, though. Thanks, Baffa. Really special day. I suppose after, you know, the, the pandemic, it was just amazing to get everybody together. So it was lovely. I hope you saw the, uh, the, the Facebook live link that John did. Um, right, half a metre of the blue, half a metre of the navy, and then this is like a lovely powdered blue as well. Whether you're using them together or whether you're choosing to use them in separate projects, it's just great to have a bit of liberty in your stash, isn't it? I saw a plique project, you could cut like a bunny out of this, couldn't you? And a plique onto um, a cushion cover or, or something like that, and just use snippets of it, and it would still look absolutely beautiful. I do like the bunting idea, I'm not going to lie. I think this would be really cute for bunting. And those of you that have got any of Kerry's patterns, they always lend themselves very well to Liberty, I must say. They really do. Three half metres is going to go a long way as well. And because it's got the accent white, just team it with a white, or well, this one's more of a cream, but these two are definitely white. So you could just put it with a lovely stock white, and it would look amazing, really crisp and clean. Uh, 22.47. Oh, there you go. Someone requested a little blue bundle. This is for you. This is for you. Hopefully you managed to get it. Um, there's only seven of those remaining, so we'll move on. But there's seven chances if you want it. Now, we are going to do some of the other colourways. Do you want to do some of the other blues or shall I do a different colour? Should we go pink? So, um, we've got a new producer training. Um, she's actually one of our, our producers over from our sister channel. And this is a great thing about having us all in the same building, is that we can all, you know, dip in and out of everywhere. It's lovely. So, Nikki is coming in a bright pink jumper. I've walked in in this jumper, and Hannah's wearing a pink jumper as well. Uh, Bruce didn't get the memo. Uh, yeah, on, did you not get the memo? On Tuesdays we wear pink. You can't sit with us anymore. <laughs> um, this one is lovely though, isn't it? This is Fuchsia Pink. The code on this one, sorry, let me code you up. It is ZEYV24. I am thinking, sorry to lean over, this would be adorable, adorable for the Kiki Dungaree set. Oh, we'll do the pattern next. Um, I'm just wondering how much fabric you need for it. It's absolutely beautiful. Obviously, depending on what size you're doing, because you can do from sizes 3 to 14, which is amazing, isn't it? A great age range. Um, seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. How much of this did you say is left? Oh, okay. It is quite limited. If you do want to do, uh, you know, if you want multiple units for larger projects, go for it. Even if you want to do smaller projects for your sewing room, maybe little pin cushions, scissor keepers, 
glasses holders, um, glasses cases. There's a, a, I mean, even if you go into, I don't know, John Lewis or go to the Liberty store, have a look in Selfridges and you see Liberty gifts for people, how much you pay for little things like a glasses case or a tissue cover, things like that. Oh my word, you'll really appreciate our pricing. Okay, at the moment, you can still do it. What we're going to do is I'm going to fly through all of the colours um, and then it's up to you. you. They're all the same price. Um, I'll try and show you as many as I can. Tangerine is um, H-R-Y-V. Is that right? Thank you. Tangerine. Same print. Same print. I think, you know, do you put uh, lavender bags in your wardrobe? Make them smell lovely. Or Hannah likes to put it in a knicker drawer. Um, <laughs> she says, I just like to say knickers. On. I like making you say knickers on the telly. Um, this one would be lovely to make little pouches that you put in your drawers. Craft fairs. What about like padded hangers for, for brides and bridesmaids and things like that? Oh, they'd be absolutely beautiful. Little door signs um, or, or, or just small things that you can make for, for craft fairs. A half a metre. I mean, even if you're just taking this, cutting it in half and using a fat quarter and, and, and elements of it, fussy cutting some of these elements, um, it can really elevate your projects, especially when you're making to sell, because you can say it's Liberty Fabric. Um, Morning Vicky and team, beautiful fabric. Made two dresses in Liberty, watermelon and yellow. I use uh, Fiona's Betty pattern. That's from Mandy. Oh, Mandy, I'd love to see them. Put them on the Facebook fan page. Love to see pictures. Oh, amazing. I think because we're going to take the graphics out, we're going to do about a minute on each of them and just show you as many as we can, if that's okay. Should we do purple? This one's JVYV46. Um, what I was going to say, because Liberty is Liberty, I mean, Nikki, you're really new to the sewing world, so we'll reel off loads of designers and you'll probably be like, uh, who, who? But Liberty, we all know, don't we? Everybody knows the Liberty store in London. Everybody recognises Liberty. If I were to see you wearing this, in fact, there is, do you know Jojo Mama Baby, the really lovely uh, baby shop? They do like a print and I went to a mum group and one of the ladies went, oh, is that Liberty? And I was like, oh, no, it's not. But it was like a ditzy floral print. And I was like, but you know Liberty? She was like, of course I know Liberty. And imagine just doing like little sun hats or even just upcycling old jeans. You could put a, um, I always have to roll Maisie's trousers up because she's quite short, like me. You could put it round the bottom of some trousers and then fold them up, couldn't you? And, and just have a little section of it, just instantly elevate an old cardigan. I know uh, Becca Reed, she always does this. She puts like lovely frills at the bottom of black cardigans and new plackets, covers buttons with Liberty. Looks great, looks really good. No, talking of um, being short, I was so confused this morning. This one's a lovely pink as well. It's L-I-Y-V-0-7. We'll, we'll do the Kiki dungaree set in a second, by the way. I was really confused this morning. I've come in. I am sitting down because I've I can't even reach the floor. I was like, hang on, have I shrunk? What's happened? This is really bizarre. It felt really strange. Anyway, I think they've high, they've made the desks higher. I don't know if it's easier to sew or because John's taller. But me and Bex, we're just hiding behind the desk now, aren't we? They've definitely made this higher. Or catch just saying that to make me feel better, and I've shrunk. <laughs> Seven pounds forty nine. So yeah, I have to get up on my big high bar stool. Only four metres of this one and it's so pretty for spring, so pretty for spring and summer. I've got a pattern that Catherine Wright got me of little bloomers for Maisie. You know when you just see little babies crawling around in their nappy with little pants on. Oh, it's so, with a little ruffle on, so cute. Imagine Liberty. Oh, amazing. Even if you're making to sell, sorry I've got loads of ideas now, um, if you're doing school craft fairs and you're making scrunchies even scrunchies no no delivery man yet i don't think i haven't seen him i think he normally would come through the door we've got a door now we've got a door on our studio but even if you're making scrunchies how many scrunchies would you be able to make with one half meter and liberty scrunchie even at a school fate surely what three pounds a scrunchie i'm no uh you know mathematician but you quids in aren't you 
Um, okay, let's go for red. This is FCYV15. It's the only one that we've got in this lovely deep crimson. It really stands out. We've got this one, which is a bit similar. This is like um, another deep crimson. <laughs> similar. Do you know what I mean? This one's FCYV15, and the other one is HYYV31. This one's a brighter red um, out of the two, but they're lovely. I am thinking again, I think you got me in the mood with those discount Christmas fabrics. Imagine having this as a Christmas stocking or a beautiful Liberty sack. Mixing it with your blue bundles for your Jubilee. Mixing it with the blue, you can make yourself some lovely Liberty bunting for the Queen's Jubilee. Um, I haven't seen Delphine's FPP cushion. What has she done? Oh, the Union, yeah, I've seen the Union Jack one. That was amazing. I didn't know it was, I didn't know that it was FPP. Hannah's now doubting herself. She's like, I think it's FPP. Well, how else would you get those points? They're perfect, actually. It must be FPP. Amazing. Right, so that one, I'll do the other one, the other red, so you can see it back to back. So this one's HYYV31, please. Hannah? Oh, have you not got it? This sold out. It's sold out. Right, fab. Let's go for ochre. This is FL Fly V35. This is like a lovely mustard ochre. Oh, I hope we've got this one. That's one of my favourites. Oh, so thank you. She's but how lovely is your house? Can't. Uh, oh, <laughs> thank you. It was nice because we could go out in the garden and everything. It was a really lovely sunny day. It sold out, sorry. Um, we could do the purple. This is EOYV5059. By the way, this is all last of stock. We won't be getting these back in anytime soon. You never know. You never say never with Liberty, but um, we always try to bring you something different and something fresh. So if you love this print, which it's just classic, isn't it? The floral design, classic Liberty, beautiful detail, obviously amazing quality, machine washable, 112 wide. Is there a problem with YouTube, Bruce? Maureen can't get it on her TV. As far as we're aware, on our end, it's working, Maureen. Let us know, anybody else, if, if you've got us on YouTube. Seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. This is called Damson. I'm even thinking, if you make to sell, if you do craft fairs, and maybe you make your own chutneys and jams, imagine just doing the little lids. You could just get squares, pink the edge, and do little lid covers in Liberty. Elevate your jams. I think I'm going to go foraging this year. Where I live, there's some really lovely bushes. <laughs> Is that a strange thing to say? Well, I thought, oh, I bet there's lots of berries on here. I live an exciting life, don't I, my word. Yeah. Um, no, 15. Z-R-Y-V-15, sorry. I could do the 41, though, if that's easier for you. This one's like a charcoal slaty sort of grey. It's called... <laughs> I'm going to go with... Oh, the other one's charcoal. We have got a few grey tones. I will show you them, your neutrals. Oh, did you see Delphine's neutral uh, Liberty quilt that she did? What was it called? You may have seen it, Hannah. It was amazing. The sort of monochrome esque one, and it worked really, really well. Viv's on YouTube, and she says it's fine. Okay, Maureen, it must be, must be something your end. Yeah, yeah. Bruce says I'm watching now. It's 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 a really good show. <laughs> okay, baby blue. Baby blue, baby blue. This one is B V Y, eighty four. This is a really lovely blue. So maybe if you didn't want the blue bundle, I actually think this is the one that is included in the blue bundle. Oh, not in stock separately. Sold out separately. The only way of getting that one is in the bundle. Remember, this is now last of stock. Last of stock. I'm going to go for one of these other lovely charcoal colours then. This ends in 41. This is clay. Oh, it is like that putty colour that is just so on trend in home decor. You probably saw on my Facebook Live, my house is very um, grey and creams. These would look lovely on my sofa, actually. Nice big cushions. 
Uh, by the way, I know that the warehouse said that they were on their way. And you know when um, you're like, right, are they here yet? Are they here yet? I feel like that annoying little child in the back of the car. Like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? How about now? How about now? Is the other bird here yet? And Hannah's like, no, still not here. Still not here. I'll tell you when it's here. So yeah, we are still waiting on the early bird special. Don't forget, it's going to be epic. You are still going to get an early bird special price. And in fact, actually, just so you know, it gets busier and busier as people wake up and tune up, uh, tune in with us. So I think it's going to be manic when you see our early bird today. I, am I allowed to give you some heads up or not? It's the first time we've ever done it. Uh, it's going to the lowest price of its kind like we've never done this early bird at the price we're going to. That's enough for now. Uh, NGYV04, please. Chocolate. Out of stock. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, it is last of stock now. Get ahead on the website if there's definitely a colour that you want. This is purple. It's Cry V30. Got it? 10 metres in the company. See, not enough to put into kits or, I mean, it would just sell out in a heartbeat. So if you do have projects in mind, maybe you've got some lovely fat quarter books. I'm even thinking for a lovely shopper bag or overnight bag. Have you got any weekends away? How long are you in Lisbon for then? Just a weekend? Long weekend? Nice. How does that work? You're normally really organised with your travelling, but she's also very spontaneous. Oh, you're going with Beck and Chris. Oh, yes. Right, I am see, I see, right. Um, it's okay, now, now YouTube is live. Oh, she says, the fabric looks much larger on screen. Oh, yeah, it's good to see it on your telly, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it, it, I know what you mean though. When you're looking at it on, it's on your phone, you get to see everything a lot clearer, don't you? When you log onto YouTube on your on your screen. Seven pounds forty nine a half meter. Thank you for sending me the bouquet of flowers as well, Maureen. Little emoji, little bouquet emoji. Let's go for blue. This is S J T V thirty five. Yes, please. I hope we've got this one because this is, oh no, if it was in the bundle, the only way of getting it is in that bundle. Um, this one is QEYV06, again Emily Bell, beautiful print, classic Liberty print, in parchment colourway this time. Um, it's a lovely neutral, I think. This is going to be better than using maybe your creams or your whites. You could use this as a cream or a white, a background of something. Or within your quilting, uh, for your half square triangles, along with a louder print. I know that Stuart Hillard always talks about, you know, different volumes of print. It's important in quilting to be able to have different scales of print. Adds texture to the eye, doesn't it? But that one's lovely. It's almost like you cream on cream. Just a subtle parchment background and then a white floral top. Um, I've got a really pretty lavender colour here. Uh, this is KAYV95. 95? Yeah. Very, very limited. This is like Palmer Violet colour. It's called Lilac. I'll get some of this to go with the lotus bags that we're going to be doing with KRE. So, so pretty. Oh no, too many of you have got that in your basket. Is it 84? Lime. Um, we've got two bundles which we're going to move on to in a second that have got denim with them as well, which is lovely. Oh my word, that is gorgeous. Hannah, I can imagine this in your, in your house. With all your yellows and ochres, that is lovely lime. Oh, and the dungaree set. Yes, 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 would look lovely. In fact, let's do the pattern next. It says it's easy. It's an easy option as well. There are, um, so if you are starting out dressmaking, wanting to start with children's wear, one, it takes up less of your fabric. Two, you know, the, there's, the, you don't have darts and things like that. It's a really good place to start. And this goes right from age three to four, 
5 to 6, 7 to 8, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, um, to 13 to 14. So um, right from age 3 to 13 to 14, which is brilliant. Always check measurements because all, all you know kids are different sizes, aren't they? But look at how many options are here. The skirt, that's A, and the, the skirt has got the, the dungaree straps. Option B has got a pocket on the front as well. Same skirt option, this time with a pocket and there's the back. So it's one with the straps and this one's like a full dress back. Um, C, um, you've got the full front and full back without the pocket. D, um, you've got the pocket with the straps. And then E is a trouser option as well. E and F with the pocket, amazing. Oh, this is so versatile. It's one that I suppose you're going to be able to um, mix and match with different siblings of different ages. Maybe some of your favourite outfits that they grow out of and then you think, I want to make that again for them for when they're bigger. Um, or some other fabrics. Maybe, you, you know, on your dressmaking journey, you make it for when they're young and make it again and again and again. Or for different people. Um, it is an official Liberty pattern as well. So it's going to go perfectly with your Liberty quilting cottons. All of your Emily Bell. Right, third of the stock is in baskets. Whenever we get this in, it always it always does very, very well, actually. It always sells very quickly. Brian is on route. Brian is on route with the early bird special. Fingers crossed we'll be able to do it before nine o'clock. Um, okay. We'll probably do it before, well, we'll try and do it before uh, Cara comes on, so before nine o'clock. Amazing. Uh, right, bundles. These are so pretty. I've got the pink and I've got the, the sort of bluey lilac. They are gorgeous. Pink one first. Um, so, H Hannah said that she was given permission with Stuart Illard to an under £10 designer hour. Wow. Half a metre designer, half a metre of your solid fabric. Um, hang on, it should just be a normal solid. So, Hannah has, you give a sewer an inch, she'll take a, what is it that they say? Um, oh, I can't remember the, I can't remember the saying. I should think about it before I try and say it on telly. What's the quote that Beck's put on a bag? Anyway, you give someone a, an inch to take a mile. This is Hannah all over. She said that they said I could put a half metre of fabric. They didn't say you could put half a metre of denim. Look at how wide this is. This is amazing. And Hannah took it under ten pounds. If you want it, we're going to do it again today. We are going to do it. We shouldn't, but because it is a liberty hour, we put them back in. Um, this one. Um, so you've got for £9.99, one metre of fabric, half a metre of your liberty in that lovely pink, and half a metre of your denim. What was Stuart saying he'd make with this? Bags, obviously, bags, storage, tubs. This would be nice to do the kneeling stool, actually. We're going to do a demo of how to do that kneeling stool, but this would be a beautiful Liberty kneeling stool, wouldn't it, for your gardening? Uh, £9.99, a metre of fabric in total. And remember, the fabric, the denim, is extra wide. It's a really good um, width fabric for you. For dressmaking as well, this is going to be ideal. Be mul I'd be multi-buying on that. Half the stock, straight into baskets. Good luck on this one. We've got the cushion coming up with Cara and we've got the peg bag. Oh, that'd be a lovely peg bag as well, wouldn't it? £9.99. pence. I'm pleased that we've got a bit more sunshine again. It was, it was a bit worrying when I was sort of seeing sort of snow forecast. It's chilly in the air, but it, I, I'm excited for spring now. That is so pretty, isn't it? We also have it in lilac. Don't forget the early bird special is on its way. Um, is it raining all day today? Oh, I say that, we could hear the rain earlier. Stay in with us. Now this one wasn't in the under 10 pound designer show. Um, this is brand new today. Just because, just because. So Hannah's gonna honor the price. We're gonna take this under 10. If you want it, check out now. This is amazing. 9.99 for a meter of fabric. Half a meter of your Liberty, half a meter of your denim. Amazing. What a brilliant bundle. That is such a lovely color as well. This is the lilac. Um, so if you manage to get it earlier on, 
they definitely add this bundle in as well because that's such good value for money oh straight away more people who've got it in the basket than we have availability best of luck i don't know how we're going to get in all of this other artist home collection so we'll do as many as we can before the early bird arrives um have a look on the website though everything that we haven't had chance to do is underneath us on the website still so you can still grab it right are there any that are about to sell out that you want to show yeah we've got artist home collection by the way it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's like a paisley sort of print, ish. Yes, I know what you mean. That is lovely. Oh, in fact, this would be really lovely for tea parties as well, for Jubilee, spring colors. Um, so there's five meters in the whole of the company. We will not be able to get this again. Kat, would you do me a favor and pass me the Lotus bag that's on the trolley there? Because this is so pretty for the Lotus bag. In fact, it's very similar. It is, it is very similar. In fact, it's the same fabric. So look at how beautiful that looks. If you want to make loads of these, look, they even come with all the toggles and everything. It's so pretty. Keep your, uh, your, your notions. You could keep your wonder clips and things like that in there. Love it thought straight away this would be good for that i didn't notice it was the same fabric ending in yeah um i love the clash of orange and pink very caif it works very very well together um, to have it in a classic again liberty print this is lovely because the orange is slightly sort of mottled it's not a solid color um then you've got these brush strokes of pink really pretty That'd be nice for the dungarees, actually. Seven pound 49 and a half meter, 100% quilting weight cotton, machine washable, from the artist home collection from Liberty. Isn't that beautiful? Sorry that we're whizzing through these. It's last to stop. We're very aware that we've still got the early bird to do before the end of this hour, so we just want to try and show as many on air as we can. Um, it's literally about to be arrived. Uh, blue and white floral. Um, uh, yeah, maybe if you show me the picture, 89, I can't see 89. Thank you. Ah, I think this is over here. Is that Emily Bell again? Got it. It looks very similar, doesn't it, to the, um, the prints? Still, oh, this is Callum Scott, um, Kelm Scott silhouette, isn't it? It's really lovely, though, again, that classic, almost like China. Do you know when you see, um, like, Wedgwood or is it Delft pottery, the blue and white? Beautiful, really, really beautiful. Another one about to sell out. Um, just so you know, we will not be able to get that again. We will not be able to get that again. That is stunning. It's really vivid blue as well. That's another nice one for your Jubilee projects. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of the lotus flower design, this is a lovely toggle bag, isn't it? I must say, Carrie's projects are so useful, but also really, really luxurious. But this would go really nicely with the lotus bag, with a nice bright yellow. Uh, seven pounds, 49 and a half metre. Um, 7.49 a half metre, uh, watercolour, beautiful flowers. With your ochre yellows, your whites, your blues. Don't forget the early bird is minutes away. The second it arrives in, I'm going to bring it straight on air. Don't you worry, we're going to try and squeeze it in before nine o'clock. We couldn't even wait a day. Normally you'd say, right... Uh, it has to be, you know, scheduled a week, uh, you know, it has to be in the warehouse, it has to be booked into the warehouse. But we were like, no, we're being impatient. We really want it today. Um, we can do a couple more from this collection first. Oh, can we do one in ending in 92? How lovely is this? I was talking about gardening. I think a lot of people, you know, have gotten into gardening through lockdown. And um, now the spring's coming again. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. That'd be really lovely to um, 
to, to make a tote bag for a gift to go in as well. If you're making a gift, maybe, that'd be really pretty for a gift. Card making. Card making as well. I was on Hobby Maker the other day and made Maisie her birthday card on the telly. It was more because I hadn't bought her a card and then somebody said, you have to get her a card for a birthday. I was like, well, she, I, I don't know if I do, do I? Anyway, so then I felt that guilty that I was like, right, I'm at work the next day. I'll make one on Hobby Maker. So yeah, I made one, which is lovely. But there, this would be lovely for paper crafts as well. I think we've got it in blue. We've got the same one in like a gray blue, which is really pretty. Um, this one's got pinks, blues, yellows. Brian is taking the long way, he hasn't he, round, he's going around the back streets, obviously saying hello to everybody along the way. Brian, Brian. He's obviously stopped off at Greg's, McDonald's, Subway, everywhere. Having his morning coffee. Maybe he's got stuck in the school commute run. Oh no, it's Easter holidays, isn't it? There should be no traffic, Brian. Have you got Brian's mobile number? Have you got his mobile number? Maybe we should take Brian's mobile number down for, for future reference. As soon as he comes bursting through that door, I'm going to bring him on air. I'm going to grab him and say, Brian, get here with that early bird. And then he will understand how important it is to us. Uh, £7.49, that's a really pretty colour as well, isn't it? Uh, ending in 16, please. Anna's getting too excited about the early bird. Um, this one's so cute. I've not even seen this one before. Ending in 16 and it's the last of stock. Oh, how pretty is that? Three and a half metres left. That's it. From a distance, it looks like a sort of check, uh, checkered design. And then when you come in close, you see there's little pretty flowers. Looks like fancy tiles. Can you come in really close to this, Bruce? Because look, it's got little flower details. Oh, that's so pretty. Hannah is now looking out the window for Brian. Um, have you got a gallery cam? You can't see. Oh, is it him? No. Oh. You know when you're waiting for a parcel and you're like, oh, are they here yet? And you're waiting outside the window for them. That's how we feel right now. Our early bird, we've never done it nearly an hour late, but it's worth it, I promise. You will love it. Stay waiting with us. Oh, did you, was there a delivery van there and it wasn't Brian? <laughs> um, ending in 31. Oh, that's so annoying, isn't it? When you're waiting for a really, really good parcel and then, you know, the ordinary post comes with bills and stuff. Really annoying. That's how we feel today. Uh, this one's got lovely vibes. Am I upside down? I think I am. Um, is there a direction to it? Yeah, I think these vines all run. Oh, mm, I don't know if there is a direction. Not going to lie. I thought the warehouse wasn't far away. He's having his breakfast. Do you, do you know when, um, well, this is it. This is when it shows, doesn't it? When, you, when you're skiving on the job. He's obviously been like, oh, I'll, dry, I'll drop that over to there. And he's gone off for some breakfast. And he doesn't realise that it, we're here, like, waiting for him. It's obviously gone for breakfast. Uh, you've got your pinks and reds and oranges and lovely bright vivid greens. Again, for your gardening projects. We've got an apron coming up later with Cara. This would be lovely for an apron. Wouldn't it? Really pretty. Well, do you know what, Hannah? Do you know what I was thinking? Because of the nature of it, can't we just do it and tell everyone to trust us and then show some examples. Because I can't even show examples, really, of what everybody will get. Do you know what I mean? Oh. 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 I'm with you. We can't. We can't. 
Do you know what I mean? This is VYYV76. Ah, okay. Right. Go on, what's the breaking news? Is Brian here? Don't tease me like that, Bruce. He's just said breaking news in my ear. Woohoo! Brian! <laughs> Brian, it's for now. Oh. For now, no. Oh, no. Brian, no. No. Oh no, it's not here. Have you, have you, does Hannah just run for you? Is your name not Brian? Yes. Yeah, it is Brian. This is Brian. It's Roy. But you haven't bought us any fabric, Brian. No. He's got, he's got jewellery maker opals in his hand. Hannah's now coming out like, what is going on? Oh no, oh no. Right, shall we meet around the other side, Brian? <laughs> right, shall we go to a break and get Cara on? And we could, we might have to interrupt Cara's hour because we've got the early bird, fingers crossed, coming up. Whatever you do, do not go anywhere. This is probably the most anticipated early bird ever. And I promise it'll be worth the wait. We've also got Cara with Cat of the Month coming up right after this. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, my name's Yvette and I live in Greater Manchester in a place called Chatterton. I like to do a variety of things. I quilt. I do EPP, I make lots of bags and purses, most anything. I haven't tried FPP yet, but fingers crossed I might have an opportunity. Why I want to win? Hmm. To show the people who have supported me, encouraged me, and praised me and had faith in me that it might just be the time when I start to have a little bit of faith in myself. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. 
Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, so I'm Sarah. I come from Hassox, just out the back of Brighton, down in West Sussex. And I sew dressmaking, I do patchwork, I do home furnishings. If you can sew it, I sew it. I teach a lot of people face to face and, and show all of my tips and tricks as I go along. And I decided that to come onto Sewing Street and be able to share those with a greater audience would be a really fun thing to do. So I just really want to show you all of what I know and um, try and help you be the best sewer you can be. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Hello, welcome back. Right, that was the most manic break ever. Poor Brian. Um, I didn't know what hit him, I don't think, when he walked through the door then. They run it towards him, Kat and Hannah, like, where's the... F I, was, I nearly told you what it was then, the early bird special. So, we will keep you updated as we know, because... Um, Brian wasn't quite sure what we were talking about. <laughs> He's like, I haven't got that delivery. I've got jewelry makers, so yes. We will keep you updated and we will get this early bird special, so don't you worry. Um, now, it's cat of the month time. I had no idea where these months are going. So, 
Um, this month, the cat of the month is the Ginger Tabby Cat. Oh, so, so gorgeous. And two great projects as well, which are perfectly timed, ready for, for spring and for summer, for all of your lovely, uh, you know, times out in the gardening, uh, out gardening, or whether you're not a gardener, but you like to hang your washing out in the garden, got a lovely pig bag as well. So, two different instruction sets. Now, as you know, Amber makes, um, Rebecca Reed uh, has done the most amazing job of putting together instruction sets and beautiful exclusive panels. Um, you don't have to, to, to use them for this specific project, you can use the panels for any of the projects. There's quilts if you're collecting them all, there's bags, there's cushions, there's cosmetic bags, there's book covers, all sorts, all dotted around me. So, panel on its own, which one do you want to start with, the gardening set or the peg bag? Yeah. Okay. Right. So, if you aren't making either the paper bag or the gardening set, you can use the panel for lots of different projects for the cushions, for the bags, for the cosmetic bags, the book cover, cushions. You basically get your square. Oops, sorry, cat. I didn't realise you were going across there. Um, you've got your square. Uh, which is a ten and a half inch square and then you get five coordinating two and a half inch strips as well and I love the fact that it's also included with the little labels um, you've got beautiful prints on the strips the background of, of the tabby cat has got like little chevrons it's really really cute so you've got all of uh, your fabrics there to make with it as you wish if you want to have a go we have got bundles with the peg bag and the gardening store but if there's uh, the gardening kneeling store if there is something else Else that you want to make this is definitely the most popular way to get involved I think a lot of people might be um, collecting all of the panels to be able to do the quilt nine pounds 99 for your exclusive cat of the month April panel uh, which is gorgeous isn't it absolutely gorgeous and it's lovely quality as well really lovely quality it is exclusive to us it is exclusive okay so that is the panel on its own that is as i said the most popular way of getting your cat of the month um uh, panel most popular way okay do carry on going through for it we do also have the panel with instructions so We've got the set, exactly the same panel that you've just seen, panel and your garden set instructions. Now, it isn't just to make one thing. You've got this lovely kneeling stool, uh, but we also have the little apron, which, I mean, these are transferable, really, aren't they? Don't be confused, it says bird of the month. We did the bird of the month before, and now um, different panels, but same instructions. So maybe you got some of the bird of the month instructions, uh, uh, you know, last time then it is the same set of instructions. You've got here all of your instructions of how to do the kneeling stool with the lovely flying geese units. We're gonna go through those with Cara. Uh, also instructions of how to do the apron as well. And this is all transferable, isn't it? You could use this as a craft apron, cooking apron. You could use this um, for, for lots of different, uh, uh, lots of different uses. Love the gardening kneel install though, that's really useful isn't it, especially this time of year. And as always with Amber Make Instructions, incredibly thorough, you've got photographs, you've got lots of text and of course we've got Cara's demonstration as well uh, to demystify anything. So that one's the gardening instruction set. We've got the peg bag in uh, bundle on its own as well, so you can get the peg bag with the panel. And that's everything you sort of need. I know that with the uh, gardening kneeling stool, they've added some denim and some ripstock on the back to make it waterproof. So it's up to you if you want to add any more. But this is plenty to sort of get you started. And you'll definitely be able to make your peg bag um, from the panel. Cara's just added a bit of blue for your back backing. But how cute is that? And obviously, extremely useful. Your panel and your panel as well all 18 pounds and 99 pence. So if you do want to make the kneeling stool and you want this lovely denim, we have got that by the half meter. 
So this is that uh, 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 exactly the same. It's a lovely, soft, lightweight denim. Uh, and today it's by the half meter. Do you know what? Stock up on this. Absolutely stock up on this because this is going to be lovely for lots of your, your Cat of the Month projects. But also for bags, for dressmaking. It's only 5.99 half meter today. That is really good. In that lovely light blue, four ounce wash denim. Used for around the edges and your little handle for your kneeling stool. And have we got some of the, uh, is it ripstock on the back? Nice. So there's your denim. If you want to, to do it for the back of the peg bag as well, it's your choice. But I just thought I'd let you know that that is available. It's five pounds and 99 pence. Brilliant. Um, Cara, we want to give you as much time to demo as possible because there's a lot going on this this month, isn't there? There how are is. You? I'm all right. How are you? Good. It's really nice to see you. We haven't worked Lovely for a little you. while, so I know. Well, we did. I think I feel like every month now we meet once a month for our Cat of the Month show. It was British Short Hair last month, wasn't it? And then now gardening. Are you a gardener? Um, I'm not. Okay, no, my husband is. But we all need a peg bag anyway, don't we? Oh, yeah, I know, nice but someone. that, I would actually like that if I went out for a picnic yeah. and took that Good and point. you could make maybe four of them or something yeah. to sit on. Yeah, they're yeah. really lovely, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I, I put um, some stuffing in there, but you could, you know, put sort of, um, I know Rebecca, when she first did that, um, actually said about people having old cushions or old pillows or mm -hmm. things like that and um, using that to actually um, put in the stuffing. So, yeah, good idea. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, right, which one are we starting with? The I'm going to start with the, um, so I'm going to do the actual cushion. Brilliant. Because um, I hadn't done um, flying geese before. Well, you're not a quilter, I'm really, I'm not are a you? quilter, but I'm getting there. Yeah. I'm getting there. All these technical terms and things, so um, I am getting there, but uh, yes, so I thought I'd go through, um, really, it's very, very simple, and once you've mastered the flying geese, it's uh, really good. It has a lovely so, border. It adds great, a lovely detail, doesn't it? And a new technique to learn, maybe. It's really, really nice. So I thought, well, we'll start with that. Fast. Also, I can go through how to put a zip in um, very easily, which is really nice. And then depending on how, how we get on. Uh, there's a zip there on the base look. We've got zips with Kerry living in loveliness later on, but there's a, a zip at the bottom. So I suppose you might want to wash this. Yes, you might, definitely. Um, it's out in the garden. To, yeah. But the ripstock on the back is really good. So if you've got it on the grass or things like that, that's lovely. That's underneath us on the web by the half yep. meter as well. You only need, you know, one unit. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Yep. Right. Okay. So um, I'll start with the flying geese, um, if that's okay. Yeah. And um, I don't know how many other people have done flying geese before, but I, um, I was new to it. So um, as you say, the instructions are fantastic. Go through everything in a lot of detail. Um, so the actual panel itself, you'll trim down and all the sizes and everything are included in the instructions. So um, this is the front of the panel, you'll trim that down and then you'll do uh, a border at the top and the bottom and then um, the side border. The only thing that I would say, and um, I did this actually twice, um, was just be careful, depending on how you get on with your quarter inch um, seam to be sure that you actually get your cornerstones matching and I would actually not add the last cornerstone until you've matched your fabric up because I actually cut my fabric exactly to the measurements included in here and I found that my um, cornerstone was down here so to try and match it exactly don't do that until you've done the um, you know match the panel there right okay so, um, so the cornerstones go there and then you, what you want to do is be sure to try and match your seams on the corner there and then just machine down. So I'll do that in a minute but in the meantime we'll get on with the um, flying geese. So you'll cut your fabric and this is two and a half, two inch depth and three and a half inch width and then you'll have your two inch squares and what you'll do is you'll mark your two inch square and with a friction pen is perfect and a little ruler and you'll mark a diagonal line 
from corner to corner. And this is brilliant because this is your stitching line, so you haven't got to worry about where you're stitching or anything. And as I say, the instructions are all very, very clear here. So you want your diagonal line to go from one corner to another. Match the raw edges and then pop a pin. Nikki in the gallery, she's learning today about it all. She's like, right, so flying geese, <laughs> the triangles on the side. They're supposed to look like geese in flight, I suppose, aren't they, when they're all, all joined together? They, yeah, yeah I, I, I'd love to know the history behind some of these um, Names, yeah. technical terms. I was doing, I am doing a little bit more um, quilting and um, I was doing snowballing. Okay. And I'm like, Okay. Is snowballing, snowballing anything to do with like chain piecing? Um, no? no, again, it's very similar. This is snowballing really, right. what you're doing here, apparently. Go on, what, what's snowballing then? Um, I understand, and please, please, um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a way of doing this shape. Oh. So it's a way of doing that shape and maybe you've got another one here and you'll do another triangle on the other side and if you do it on a block it looks like a snowball oh. when it's complete. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. I think that's it. Please, please, those people who are experienced and know a lot more than me. That is good to learn, isn't it? Um, so I don't know whether that's part of making the flying geese. Right, okay, snowball. So there we go. It's the first time there I we go. That. I thought, no, it can't be, it can't be. I had to look it up, so. Um, so are you sewing on the line here or a quarter of an inch to the side of it? On, on the, the line. line, that's your on sewing line. line. So I'm just gonna move the machine. Okay, so you pop a pin either side just to hold your fabric. You want to keep the raw edges in position and then needle down and what I'm going to do is actually just adjust. You can go backwards and forwards but um, I found that actually if you made the stitch length about 1.8 it's really good because it doesn't undo very easily and it just means that you don't always have to do your reverse stitch because I find with um, you know when you've got the fabric sort of um, at a point, sometimes it can get lost in the machine. So you can chain piece these together. And as I say, with the 1.8 stitch length, that's really good. Okay. I'm pleased you said that because I always thought that was just me that gets into a bit of a bird's nest at the bottom of the, the machine. You can, but... Yeah, you can. Um, there is a little square of fabric and again there's a name for it and I can't remember the name but you can have a little square of fabric that you can um, use mm. you know, to feed into that. Um, but I'm terrible for making a, a, a mess actually there. And sometimes when you're going backwards and forwards you can get a mess there. So once you've done that, what you'll do is you'll actually, before you cut it, a lot of people will say, oh yes, you can just cut it. But um, Rebecca suggests that you actually just fold that back and you can finger press that or press it with the iron. And you're trying to match the raw edges either side mm -hmm. and do the same here. Just going to do a couple of these to show you. And it's always, if you've never done um, flying geese before, it's always good to actually do a couple to um, try it to start with. I'm just going to press those. Got an iron on. So you'll just press that. So you're pressing the fabric over and then you'll cut. So you want to cut about a quarter of an inch and you know then that your fabric is square across there. If you cut first and then fold, you aren't always sure that you've got a straight line going right. across. Okay, so then you'll turn that over again, get another two inch square and pop a diagonal on again. 
So the ginger tabby, I don't know anything about ginger tabbies, but I know that they're very popular. So I don't know if anybody's got... Um, oh, any good facts for us? Facts or photos or anything like that. There is a lovely ginger cat in the village where I live. Oh, and I'm I not love sure if it's a, a ginger tabby. It looks very similar to this one. And its name is Garfield. Oh, yes! Just like Garfield on the telly. Oh, and um, it has its own Facebook page. <gasps> really? Because it walks around the village and um, comes into all the, not necessarily the houses, but, you know, we have on the Facebook page for Garfield, he um, goes and sits in the pub. Oh, no way. <laughs> and our local leisure centre, he came and sat. Cast sat in the um, office of the local leisure centre and sat where the duty manager um, works. So this Garfield goes around and, and people follow him. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it really is sort of uh, quite a thing in the village where I live. Oh yes, I know your pictures. Right, we have some breaking news. Half past the hour, we are going to do the early bird, an hour and a half late, but it is here. Um, potentially the latest, but also Hannah's most stressful early bird ever. She says, I'm also very excited by it. I'm really excited. So we, it has arrived. So we're going to do it in five minutes. We um, will then come back to Cara, don't worry. I will ask Cara very politely if that is okay <laughs> if we steal five minutes. It is absolutely okay. And whilst you're doing the early bird special, which is really, really important, I will just do the straight stitching down the side of the panel there so um, it won't delay me at all oh, but good. I just wanted to show finish off showing you how um, the flying geese works so what I did was do another diagonal across and I can show you on here so we've done the other diagonal going across and you'll notice that the fabric um, overlaps then we press that again we finger press that as we did before and this is where your quarter of an inch seam is going to be so don't worry if it that's how it looks because um, you know you're going to be joining them mm -hmm. so um, so I'll just cut that and um, press it so um, that's all the flying flying geeses I mean, so actually, it looks very effective and they look very sort of precise, don't they? How all the points match, but actually, it is very simple to do. We can all do this. Very, very simple. It's to nice do. for borders on things as well, isn't it? Definitely. And, um, you know, if you're making a block of some sort, you know, you could put them together, um, you know, like that. You don't mm -hmm. have to. And this is where you can play around with the triangles, which is really nice. So I'm just going to press that. I've got, uh, I've got a, um, a couple of uh, facts for you. Um, the orange tabby cat isn't actually its own breed. Um, the word tabby refers to the specific coat markings rather than a specific breed. Um, also, they are mainly males. I think it's one in, in 10 are female, but they're mainly, if you see an orange tabby cat, it's, it's more than likely gonna be a male cat. Oh, right. Orange color comes from a special, a specific pigment. Um, and they're not all, you know, exactly the same hue, but they're reddish oranges and cream hues, why the cats have. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just reading these all off, off Google. There are a lot of uh, facts online about them. They're also very friendly cats. Yes, that's where Garfield gets his friendliness. And just love sort of, I'm very independent. I think, you know, that's the other thing. I mean, a lot of cats are very independent anyway, but um, you know, maybe it is more specific for that particular breed. Hannah, have you got the early bird in there with you? Oh, she says, I'm hand delivering it in two minutes to you. <laughs> says, I'm not letting it out my sight now. Having a countdown. Not running the risk of it getting <laughs> lost again. Right, within the instructions, it will tell you to cut the strips. Okay. And label them A, B, C, D, etc. So how many of these flying geese units do you need to make? You're going to be making, um, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> 16 of them. Okay. So um, you've got the 16 triangles and, um, in the instructions they do suggest a layout and you can see you can either do the layout exactly the same both sides 
and I've got the um, spare one that's missing at the bottom there. So um, they've suggested a layout as in um, the colour patterns? Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. yeah. So you can do it that way. You can have them flying that way or you can have them flying that way. Right. You've done the, well, they're down, aren't yes. they, on this one? Yeah. yeah. Um, so where you've got that, um, the seams matching, you will actually pin that together and you want to stitch this on this side because your seam wants to go through that point ah, okay. and if you machine through that point it means that your points on this strip will be very very sharp and very accurate yeah you don't want to lose those points no do you? not at all so um you just want to pop a pin in just to hold it in position and then machine that across so again your quarter of an inch approximately but you want, when you get to the point, you want to go through where those two lines of stitching meet. Just, what do we say about um, nesting? <laughs> oh no. That's it. So I'm just taking my time. You just want to slow down a bit when you get to the point and your stitches just want to touch the two lines of that seam. I'll show you here. I've done it in blue so that you can see it. So the line goes across and that's where my stitching line is. There we go, so, yeah, perfect. Okay. Amazing. So and then, then press that back press and you'll that see back, that lovely point. And you'll see the lovely point there. Gorgeous. And also, um, what they suggest again that you do is actually um, press the seams open. Yeah, I suppose it reduces the bulk yes, of it, doesn't it? Yes, definitely reduces the bulk. So. Right, are you then going to do this uh, just the straight? straight, the straight yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you mind if we do the early not bird? At it all. is half past. No, 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 not at all. We'll come back to you in a second, Cara. Right, are you ready? Come on, Hannah. You've made us wait long enough. It's the early bird special. Here she is, come on in, <laughs> come on in. You've actually got to come on air because this has been the most anticipated early bird special da -da. ever. Da, 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 da. Look, we're in pink today, aren't we? We're in pink. Um, so, right. why is it that you wanted to do this today? Because I know that we could have waited, but you were like, no, I want it today. it's ready to go. <laughs> it's very exciting. Well, when I say ready, I mean it's taken an hour and a half. So you bought how many examples? Three? Three examples. Okay. First time we've ever done this. First time, time ever. So we've done bigger uh, mystery Ten. bundles of fat quarters. Never ever done five and packs. And the price will reflect that. <gasps> Thank you, okay. Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. Right, she's got to go to uh, to bring the graphics in for you. Are you ready? Because. I mean, these are all randomly selected fabrics. They're quilting fabrics. I mean, some of these are designer fabrics here. But just to show you different examples of what you may get. Fat quarters, depending on the width of the fabric, might be bigger, might be smaller. Um, but I'm holding all quilting weight fabrics. So, early bird special. We have been waiting so long. It's, it's our fault because we were being impatient and we said, let's do it, let's do it today, let's do it today. And then, uh, yeah, it, it got a bit lost in, in transit. But I'm so pleased that it's here. Um, they've literally just been freshly cut um, last night. Our fabrics, all amazing fabrics, cut in-house, randomly selected fat quarters. We love it when we do mystery um, bags, whether it be scrap bags, fat quarters, We've only ever done packs of 10 before. So this will be the most affordable mystery fat quarterback we've ever done. Are you ready? We need to see you in, in baskets because this is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. Uh, thank you ever so much, Warehouse. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, this has to sell out. Otherwise, um, Warehouse are going to be really, really annoyed with us for, for rushing them. Um, so five fat quarters. Remember what a fat quarter is. It is half of a half metre, so it's a lot of fabric. This isn't scrap pieces. These are all um, fabrics that you can make while well, so many projects with. We do books that are dedicated to fat quarters, so these are absolutely ideal for that. Maybe you want to practice your flying geese. Right, there's over 100 of you who've got them in your basket straight away. How many of these have we got, Hannah? 
Yay! Good, we've got a good quantity on this. I'm so pleased. We've got enough to go around, put it that way. Um, are you ready? You will get five fat quarters randomly selected from our warehouse. Uh, today, oh, under 10. What? That is the most affordable mystery fat quarter pack we have ever done, needless to say. Nine pounds, 98, very, 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 very busy. Christine said, hi gorgeous girls. Vicky, uh, Cara and Hannah, thank you so much. Ha uh, Hannah and Cara, thank you so much for the uh, brilliant flying uh, geese tips as well. Tips for pressing. We're coming back to the demo, don't you worry, Christine. We'll come back to it in just a minute. Everybody who's got this in your basket, you have to check out now if you want these because they will sell out. We've got 200 chances and straight away before we even crash the price, there are over 100 in baskets. There are now loads and loads and loads of you there. Um, £9.98 pence for a pack of five fat quarters. Remember they're selected at random. Um, way over half the stock is now gone. If you've got the mini baskets, be aware I'm about to call limited stock. We've got 200 chances. Can you believe it? Already. I know that the thing is though, at eight o'clock, um, don't get me wrong, a lot of people tune in especially to find out the early bird special, but by half nine, there's a lot more people who are up and about. A lot more people who are up and about. Linda's just said worth waiting for. Oh, it was, honestly, Linda. This is why we wanted to do it. Because if I'm being honest, it has happened before where early birds don't arrive, whether it be a problem with our house. We just picked something else. Um, there's five left. There's only literally, I think, about five left. That's it. If you want it, you've got to, you've got to grab them. Um, we normally pick something else, but we really, really wanted to do it today. We really wanted to do it. Right. Um, just so you know, when I mentioned about the early bed, I'm sorry if you missed out, by the way. They've completely sold out. Just so you know, we also did ask for a few other things that were hot off the press, just been delivered from our suppliers. So because we don't want to eat into Cara's demo, we're going to space them out. We'll do them randomly. So we're going to do one at the start of each hour. We're going to start the next hour with another special. Trust me, it's worth the wait. Stay tuned. Um, uh, can we just recap what we're doing in this hour with Cara? So the panel, remember, you can get on its own. Most popular way of getting it is on its own. It comes with your 10 and a half inch square and your two and a half inch um, strips as well. Plus, you get your labels. Uh, now, whether you want to make one of the cushions, the bags, the book cover, we've done lots with Cara, they're all on um, all on YouTube as well, all the demonstrations you can watch back. But I think it's really clever that we've done this, Cara, that you can um, mix and match your Definitely. panels to whatever you want to make or whatever cat you have. Definitely, and um, we haven't got the quilt here, but obviously we are aiming to get, you know, to go ahead with the quilt as well. So, mm -hmm. but um, some people, you know, love a particular breed and they will stay with that particular breed. Yeah. So. Right, so how do you um, make sure this all fits? Right, so what we've done, you press this and trim any extra bits, but don't worry too much about it. But you can see that you've got a line there going across and you want your seam, and I'll show you, to, to roughly, don't worry if you're not exact, if you're new to flying geese, you may find that um, you know your your seams are slightly off mm -hmm. um, but you want to pin this in position across the side of the actual and decide whether you want your um, geese going down as we've got in the instructions or going up the other way okay and then what we're going to do is machine across here and you can see there's tiny little triangles there I'm not sure if we can get in close there thanks Bruce Coming in. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. And what I'm going to do, because the colours are quite plain, with my friction pen, I'm just going to mark. Now you can see this one, I wasn't so accurate. I must have been chatting when I did that one. So I am going to actually just pop my line there because the other ones are very, very um, accurate. And that line across there, I'm going to do the same on the other side is your stitching line so we want to 
try and make that seam go across like that okay um, and if you machine from this side rather than that side you can also make sure that your seams are open okay. as well so so that's all I'm going to do is just machine down either side I'll lengthen my stitch um, and then you'll just and again I've done it in blue thread so you'll be able to see thank you if you pop the um, pins when you're pinning out of the way you'll just take them out while you're going and I'm following that those little dots that I put for the with the friction pen And this just helps you get those points nice and accurate at the side. But as I say, don't worry if um, you know you've not done flying geese before and your points aren't exact. Something to aim for, I mm -hmm. suppose, isn't it? Oh, exactly. Yeah. I, I like to have that visual guide because I've struggled sometimes to visualize a quarter of an inch still. I know. do you know what I mean so it's good I always like to just put myself a couple of marks especially as you're sewing a long line yes. just to make sure that you're on track yes I mean I quite often will use the mark on the machine um, but for this particular project I think it's worth pop popping you know just spend a bit of time and pop those lines at those seams and just take your time again um, because you want to make sure that the seams are left open mm -hmm. and take your pins out as you go but it is such a lovely technique that you can use it if you don't want to do flying geese you can just use a contrast fabric um, you could you know instead of cutting your um, fabric into three and a half inch strips you could leave your fabric attached and just yeah. do a couple of lines of the that's what's lovely about these panels that you've got um, the actual strips that coordinate which yeah. is really nice yeah that's a good point but have a go even if you think oh well I'm not a quilter I don't want to be doing the patchwork have a go it's really simple and it adds such a great um, detail to, to your uh, to your kneeling stool doesn't it or your cushion so then we'll just press the seam just to set the stitching and then I found and again this is so strange how your fabric tells you which way it wants to go and for these ones I found that the seam lies naturally sort of inwards but can you see hopefully that the points of the flying geese are uh, as close yeah. to that edge yeah. as possible yeah and it really really helps when you put the friction pen there no that does make such a difference just spending that extra few seconds it marking does the points. it does and i'm you know as i say i quite often will use the markings on the machine but I've, actually if you do that um it just helps you if you make that mark with the friction pen and that's the front of your cushion amazing so the next thing that you'll do you pop that to one side and then you'll want to do um, these little handles which are at the side oh yeah they're nice especially if you are you know you say you're about going to picnics or um, or taking them in the garden and even store then they're ideal to have on the, the edge aren't they they really are you know it really um, helps sort of when you're picking it yeah. up you know rather than having to sort of pick the whole cushion up you can yeah. just grab a handle you can pop the label as well you can cut the label down and pop some bonder web on the back of it mm -hmm. and just adhere that and then maybe zigzag it onto the side of the handle and don't worry the position of the handle will mean that you've got actually space underneath which okay. is really good so um you know that's that's good for picking up you'll machine that in position and you'll do a crisscross on the corners and this is just very very simple you've got your strip of fabric and your machine up the side across leave a turning gap up the side across and leave a turning gap 
turn it all the way through and then top stitch. I chose the green for top stitching mm -hmm. and then that will be on the side and it will position itself like that. What I wanted to try and do was um, do a bit about the zip because a lot of people I'm pleased are... you've said this because we've had a <laughs> lot of messages recently and we've always sort of run out of time and haven't had a chance to do it. So the zip's at the bottom of the cushion, isn't it? It is at the bottom of the cushion. You can have it at the top depending on what you want. Now this looks quite a, a nice zipping session because you can't really see it. It looks like it's all like a concealed zip, I but know. it's not a concealed no, zip, is it? No, not at all. So um, you'll actually mark... Um, I think I'm just trying to remember what... Um, half an inch. You're using a half an inch seam. So you're using a much deeper seam here. The rest of the actual um, project uses a quarter of an inch, but for the zip, you're using a half an inch mm -hmm. and you're going to um, have half an inch or just approximately half an inch either end of the zip. And you'll machine and you'll do tiny stitches up until that marking and then you'll make your stitch length and I made mine actually up to four because you want to be able to insert your zip and then take those stitches out so you'll go backwards and forwards to do a locking stitch with the fine normal stitching up until that mark mm -hmm. then you'll change your stitch length to a four is this what Rebecca explains to do yes. as well in the instructions? Yes, it's right. all explained in the instructions really, really clearly. And you can use this on lots of different projects. So when you've done that, you'll set the stitching. So you'll set your seam again. I think this is a nice way to do this technique as well when you're doing anything that you need to leave a turning gap. Do you know where even then when you hand stitch it shut? Because it almost... Um, I always find if I leave a gap uh, and don't stitch, yes. I can never quite get no, it exact. No, Whereas you're if you right. actually do the stitches and undo the stitches, yes. then even if you're hand stitching something shirt in the future, then you've got that line exactly there. That's right. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I love this technique. I've never seen it with a, a zip insertion. It works. It's, it, it it's works work, so yeah. well. And as I say, you are using a half inch seam allowance. So you'll press that seam open. You'll press the other side because you can't help it, but sometimes the seam won't lie flat. So you press that. And then this is the fun bit. So we suggest an 18 inch zip. Okay. So we'll go back to that half inch. So I'm just going to pop, because I've ironed it, that mark's gone, but I've got a half inch there and a half inch there and that's where the small stitches changes to the long stitches and then with right side down you'll put your tab of your zip just below that mark there mm -hmm. and what you want to do is pop some pins in now this is just to hold the zip in position and you can use quite a few pins, but you are going to take these pins out in a moment and pin them on the other side. And again, this is a lovely technique to make sure that your stitches are nice and even on the right side. So I'm going to pop. Now, what you want to do is your teeth of your zip, you want to match with that seam there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you'll pop some pins in to hold that in position. Just do a few to hold it. And that's again why that half inch is really good because you can see the actual tape of the zip matches the raw edge of the fabric. And, you know, please don't be scared about zips. Um, you know, there are just a few little hints and tips about how to get a zip in, and this is a wonderful way to do a zip. And then once you've, and don't worry, the zip's going to overhang the end where we made that little mark because you're going to be stitching across that and then trimming the zip off. So another couple of pins, right, just hold that in position, again just fold the zip back to make sure that it's in the right position. 
Maureen says I use a glue pen to position the zip. Yes, absolutely, you can do that. There's lots of different ways of um, holding that in position. So that's hopefully the zip teeth are over the seam. We'll turn it over and we'll actually put some pins on this side. And you think, but I've just pinned that. And it just means that you can sew from this side. Ah, oh, okay. Um, what I've done in the past, I've sewn from the other side and I can never get my stitching nice and even. And by doing it this way, you're actually going to be using the seam line as your stitching guide. And I mean, they're not scary. These aren't metal zips, are they? No. They're, they're nylon, so you can actually sew, not that you're going over the teeth, but don't be scared. It's not going to break your machine. No, no. And um, the only thing that I would say is when you come to the end, we're going to do that little mark again. You can see where the stitches mm -hmm. change from the um, small stitches to the large. Just going to pop a mark there and that's where I'm going to be machining and the only thing is is when you come to um, stitch where the pull is you want to um, undo some of the stitches the large stitches and pull the pull out of the way but again it's just the same technique for making sure. I'm not sure if this um, machine's got a zipper foot. I might have to do it without. It should have one in the little tray in front, but I can't guarantee. Sometimes they walk around. Let's have a little look. They go for a wander around the new studio. Just whilst Cara's looking if there's a zipper no. foot, don't forget the garden set comes with two panels. Don't forget, it comes with two panels, because we didn't forget. <laughs> and the instructions so you get two panels and instructions for the garden set because obviously you're making the um, apron and you're making the the kneeling stool as well so two panels and instructions just make it clear um i'll have a look i'll have a look through i'm looking for the little pa the panel with the the smaller squares on whilst Cara's showing you this i'll have a look through all these okay i don't have a zipper foot oh okay but I'm going to see, can I change, no I can't change, on this machine I can't change the, where the needle is. Um, you can I think by moving the stitch width. Okay. Um, stitch width across. Okay, so I'll do that. Thank you. Um, what number does it end in, sorry Hannah, did you tell me? Okay, all of the other cats, by the way, are on the website. So if you're thinking, I love this project, but I want a, uh, uh, a British short hair cat, I want a Sphinx cat, I want a uh, tabby cat, different cats. There are loads of cats all on the website. Um, is it this one? That... Yes, I found it. Right, so we also have, this is amazing. There is a full quilt that you could make with this. If you love all of the different cats, if you want to make uh, any patchwork projects, gifts, they're the same um, cat pictures, images just scaled down as what we've seen. There's the tabby cat at the bottom there. I think you get two of each. There's two tabby cats on here. Uh, but they're all the cats and the coordinating squares. The five inch squares, so it's basically like a charm pack, isn't it? Uh, so if you've got any uh, designs, at home that you use five inch charm squares that's going to be ideal the shadow box uh, we've done before this uh, with this and it, it's really really lovely even just using those squares on you could applique them onto things couldn't you yes i, I had fun i think i did um, a cushion with the squares and it was oh, so nice because all the colors as you say yeah they all coordinate perfectly really it's yeah. lovely yeah Right, so you haven't got the zipper foot on, what are you doing, winging I it? I have, <laughs> on the width of my stitch, okay. according to you, I've put the width of the stitch um, down to a one. And has that and moved over? And it's moved my needle over, which is perfect. And I'm going to match the edge of the foot, the um, actual machine foot, with the seam. I've cut some of the long stitches out of the way so I can move the pulley. So I'll bring the pulley down. I'm going to actually just make sure I pop the needle and you can adjust that width so you know depending on where your needle that looks about right you d you want it less than half an inch otherwise you're going to be machining nothing so um, let's have a go so I'm just using that to match the edge there 
and when you've done a few stitches leave your needle down in lift your zip um, your foot machine foot up and pull the actual pulley out of the way and then carry on machining can you feel the teeth um, sort of up against your your foot as well yeah it's not too bad actually so the the um, teeth are going to be along the edge of the yeah. um, machine foot so it is just slightly in and in this one edge. in this obviously you're matching thread would you match it in at home as well I'd either match it in or I'd do a contrast um, and because the rest of the panel is in that lovely minty green mm. I actually um, think that a minty green would look good so this is the easiest way to do a zip that I've seen. Just double checking that that is holding it in. Yes. So that um, changing it to a one, just make sure that you're actually catching the tape of the zip in. And then when we get to the end, I've made a mark with the friction pen. So I'm going to machine down to that and then very carefully because it's nylon and not metal you wouldn't do this obviously with a metal zip oh you can sew over the zip you can stitch over the zip so you just heard the machine going yeah. over the plastic teeth and then just machine all the way down there because you've secured the zip in position, you can take the pins out quite quickly when you get to them. Kat has just appeared in the gallery. She's producing Hobby Maker saying, you're not wearing a pink jumper. <laughs> I, I don't know I didn't how get you didn't get the memo. I, I didn't get the memo. <laughs> I don't think I own a pink jumper. <laughs> We're all very springy today to say that it's really miserable outside. It's horrible and rainy. It was lovely first thing this morning and then it just got greyer and greyer as we drove over. So you pull the pulley out of the way, make sure that your tape sits properly. And there you go amazing so you'll just take your scissors or you can unpick it if you want to and just yeah i'd be scared to go in with the scissors <laughs> or an unpicker yeah and there your zip that is so clever isn't it yeah. it's so neat it is like a concealed one you can't you know sometimes when you put a zip in it depends you might want a contrast you mm -hmm. might want to do a contrast zip and make a feature of it sometimes maybe you haven't got a matching colour zip yes. and you want to use on Vimy Stash this is a really great way of doing yep. it without it being too exposed looks amazing thank you ever so much Cara go. brilliant um, don't forget all of the uh, all the other cats are also available there's lots of cats that are going through on the, the the website at the moment so if you do want to make the kneeling stool in a different cat if you've missed out on other months and you want to do the whole um the whole quilt at the end of the selection how many have we got to go now oh i think i think it was about five four or five four or five left yeah. to go have you been uh, commissioned to do next month as well have you been oh, asked i don't to do it? know maybe yeah not sure nice. i'm not sure thank you so much right we're coming back with some um, embroidery from you in a bit as well aren't we, we are i love yes. these little embroidered purses they're so pretty a nice bit of mindful stitching thank you cara that's all right in fact, the book's already selling on pre-order the book coming up with cara at 11 o'clock is already selling um so just to quickly recap this cat on its own is your panel so remember your beautiful ginger tabby cat ten and a half inch square with five coordinating fabric strips which are two and a half inches by 43 inches this is april's cat of the month um, you've got lovely coordinating greens all with different prints so stripes and spots with dashed lines little chevrons they all coordinate together as well with previous months so they'll look great all together and you've got the attention detail with the little two labels as well your ginger tabby cats uh, but they are so versatile lots that you can use these for 
even if it's something completely different to what we've seen today, have a look back through on the website for, for different uh, instructions and different panels as well. Those little squares are available. Just £9.99. Christine said, yeah, it was rather cloudy and overcast this morning at Lollipop. Oh, yeah, it was pouring rain here today. Um, message, gosh, is it Cara just a brilliant teacher? Aww. Yeah, she is, absolutely. I'll pay you later. <laughs> she said, um, I've got you one in the background, and she's talking through the demo. Uh, she just doesn't miss a beat. I know. <laughs> very, very good teacher. Well, you are a teacher, aren't you? Well, you were a teacher. I was, yes, and I absolutely love passing on the yeah. knowledge of sewing to people I really that just gives me such joy that people are at home and oh, stitching we love it too we love it love it love it and um, so also there's a couple of bundles so if you want the gardening set bundle uh, as we have said remember we did say we did say we didn't forget remember you get two panels and you get your set of instructions from Amber Makes. Um, the reason you get two is because it isn't just one project. You've got your kneeling stool, but also in here, you've got the apron. So you can put the tabby cat on the front of the apron as well. I know this says bird of the month. Uh, it will be this set of instructions, but it's exactly the same applies. They're the same panels you're working with. So you've got the apron as well there. And plus, don't forget all of your instructions, great diagrams, lovely photos. Whose dog is this? Is it Amy? Yes, I think so. I think so. Oh, just wanted so to be cute. in on the action. It's like a labradoodle. So cute. So, so cute. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. So that's the option for the gardening set. If you want to make a peg bag, this is what the peg bag looks like made up. Just use a bit of blue on the back of it. Um, but the peg bag bundle is complete with instructions and one panel uh, to be able to do your peg bag. It's only £18.99. pence. Um, for your full set of instructions, sorry my face in the way there, uh, and add your full panel, 10 inch square, add two and a half inch strips. Thank you. <laughs> I'm hiding. Ripstock, denim, everything all on the website as well, have a look through. Now, we've got a special. I was gonna say manager special, it's not. This is Hannah Stolet special coming up uh, to start the next hour and then we've got Kerry's lovely kits so stay tuned to find out what our amazing deal is don't go anywhere though because lovely Kerry I've not seen her for so long is going to be up we've got so much to bring you as well so we'll see you right after this have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane you can either shop on our website sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi, I'm Emily. I'm from Barnsley in South Yorkshire. Um, I make bags, cushions, um, I like to do some dressmaking and dabble in a little bit of quilting as well. I applied for the Search for a Sewing Star competition because I absolutely love to teach and inspire others to sew and that's why I would like to win. I would love to be the next um, Sewing Street Sewing Star. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi, my name is Ruth Springer and I'm from London. I am a designer and maker. I applied for this competition because I just wanted a new adventure. 
and I had no expectations of where it would take me and I'm just delighted that I've reached the final. I'd love to come back and share some of my projects with you and continue this adventure. So, thank you. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, so I'm Sarah. I come from Hassox, just out the back of Brighton, down in West Sussex. And I sew dressmaking, I do patchwork, I do home furnishings. If you can sew it, I sew it. I teach a lot of people face to face and, and show all of my tips and tricks as I go along. And I decided that to come onto Sewing Street and be able to share those with a greater audience would be a really fun thing to do. So I just really want to show you all of what I know and um, try and help you be the best sewer you can be. Hello, my name is Yvette and I live in Greater Manchester in a place called Chatterton. I like to do a variety of things. I quilt, I do EPP, I make lots of bags and purses, most anything. I haven't tried FPP yet, but fingers crossed I might have an opportunity. Why I want to win? Hmm. To show the people who have supported me, encouraged me and praised me and had faith in me that it might just be the time when I start to have a little bit of faith in myself. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm originally from Manchester, moved to Wales about 12 years ago. We now live just outside Cardiff. I live with my lovely husband, Andrew, and my fabulous cat, Percy. I sew memory bears. Um, I have a family comforts business with my daughter and my husband helping me too. Sewing Street's a fabulous place to be part of, um, and I would love people to vote for me so that I can come here and show people the passion that I have for sewing um, and give you all my hints and tips, which I love to do, because I think as a crafter, you can never, ever stop learning. Thank you. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, before we get into all of these amazing kits, we have got our special. Kat, would you mind passing me in? We're going to do a grand reveal of our first amazing special. I say first, the early bird sold out. Da, 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 da. We, this is along with our early bird. We've been waiting for four or five really exciting products. Now, the reason that we've brought these in is because recently we've been doing lots of dressmaking shows. I think with the lead up to the Great British Sewing Bee, lots of people are asking for overlockers, dressmaking demos, patterns and all sorts. And so many times people ask me about the threads and I always say they're out of stock. We've had the big Madeira packs before, but this is the first time I've ever seen this pack. And what's exciting about this is Madeira, so it's all amazing quality overlock thread, but it has got Aero Lock and Aero Flock. Now, I'd never heard of this before. I, I, I've no Aero Lock is what we normally bring, the big boxes of Aero Lock. Aero Flock, which I'll show you, you, won't, you probably won't necessarily see too much of a difference. This was literally just open and I've um, shut it. Um, so Aero Lock is your 
uh, regular, uh, this is Aero Lock, it says it on the top, it's your regular, polyester, super, super strong, obviously it's, especially for overlockers, it, you know how fast the thread runs through your overlocking machine, so it's built for that purpose. It's a really big cone um, of a thousand meters of thread. Great that you've got really useful color as, uh, as well. So you have um, one, two, three, four of the black overlock. You also have um, the gray. Now this is your overlock as well. Um, a thousand meters of each so they're all overlock and then you also get white over flock so you get one white overlock um, uh, and then you've got three over flock now the difference with this is that it's really sort of fluffy it's going to be perfect for your your sportswear your jersey it's re recommended if you're making underwear or lingerie as Hannah calls it <laughs> a lingerie uh, so if you do make any sort of sportswear anything with really stretchy it's worth having a go with it if you've never heard of overflock before uh, you get three reels of the white and it's specialized for underwear sportswear activewear swimwear gym wear so I'm guessing kids wear this is going to be really good for as well anything that's you know super stretchy and you want that stretch and movement and comfort as well so the difference with it is as that it's soft and fluffy you can't I don't know that you can see as much on um, on the television but you can see that it's fluffy it's still not going to leave you know lots of lint build up it's still a, spe a specially developed overlocking thread so you get three of your overflocks and then you get aero lock all of the rest aero lock what was I saying overlock your aero lock um, which is your which is your regular I think that's right. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, so three of your error log. Okay, brand new in today. Because um, I was just reading it. I was thinking, you know, I was saying overlock. They all say overlock. So it's the ones with the orange on. Here we go. These are your error lock, error flock. So you've got your white. There you go. You can see with the orange top. Oh, that makes it a bit easier. I was trying to read on the top here. Um, this one and this one. So you've got the ones with the orange little bit on the top. There you go, sorry, I can lean a bit further forward. Are your flock, the rest of your aero lock. I was reading overlock, which they all say overlock on. Um, you get a thousand meters on each. A um, thousand meters on each, and that's included on your aero lock as well. Uh, the first time we've brought it in. It's amazing, we've been so excited. It's literally just arrived in with Brian as well. Um, right, we, can't do anything on the price. That is the price that's on your screen, £52.99. But it works out, if you're breaking it down, your price for me is an amazing value for money. And of course, when you are overlocking, you're obviously working with four threads, maybe three or two. But if you're working with your four threads, you're going to need more thread. So they are really large cones. And, and I suppose it's good to have um, your neutral colours. As a lady messaged in saying, oh, is there a certain colours I need to, you know, coordinate? Are you going to see it? Because it can work out quite expensive building up a, a thread stash of overlocking thread. But actually, it's just good to have your neutrals, isn't it? These are the sort of general colours you're going to need. £4.41 a spool. 1,000 metres on each. Hannah's now doing the maths. I can hear her brain, the cogs working. <laughs> Uh, it makes it, well, really good value, really, really good value. Just um, £52.99. Pence. Amazing. About four pence a metre. About four pence a metre. Crazy, crazy low. So, just wanted to let you know these have just arrived in stock. For anyone who wants to, uh, to have a go at uh, working with Aero Flock or has any more information about it, it's the first time I've heard of it today message in and let us know. I'm just going to have a quick sip of my water because otherwise I'm going to cough. Uh, there are single figures for it. You get 12 of your aero, uh, sorry, uh, three of your aero flock, nine of your aero lock. Very exciting. Okay, speaking of exciting, we've got so many lovely projects with Kerry. It's so good to have it's you. It's really nice to be We've been you. trying to work out <laughs> when it was last that we saw each other and it's got to be, well, it's definitely... Before Christmas. Yeah. 
I know. That is scary. <laughs> that is, is scary. Um, I'm not sure how we're April already, to be honest. No, I know. It's weird, isn't it? We're already April, but I love the fact that we've got all these lovely spring projects. These are adorable. I think they launched last year and we haven't seen them since. They are so useful as well. I'm thinking of loads of different uses. Whether you're using this for your sewing, so you can put your wonder clips in here, but also I love this design because look, you've got your toggle and your ribbon, and these open right out. So for your makeup, for toiletries on your holidays, for little Easter um, Easter makes and things, you put your Easter eggs in. They are lovely. So just so you know, I showed this in the last hour, and since then everybody has been jumping in on pre-order and, and over half of this colorway has gone <gasps> look at it I just want to check yeah I'm having a sneaky peek to see whether I've got the right colorway so this is yellow this one's yellow this one's yellow. one's yellow thank you so as always I said to Kerry I can't wait to do the grand reveal it's been so long since I've been able to do the unveiling of these beautiful kits and I think they're adorable whether you're gifting them for somebody as they are for someone who loves to sew or whether you're going to make it up and have a treat for yourself so um hang on the price is 13.99 that is Kerry's like mm-hmm yeah <laughs> honestly that is so good because look you get all of your bits you get this amazing liberty Liberty in here, so you have that beautiful Liberty, and then you also have your complementing yellow. Um, they are gorgeous together, aren't they? Perfect for spring and summer. I love this, a bit of a take on a sort of paisley print. I think this is from the artist uh, home collection, it is, it's amazing. We had it earlier on this morning. Um, there's more of you have got this in your basket than we have availability. <gasps> is this a petite? It is, yeah. And a petite. This is what I need. The attention to detail. Uh, we're going to have to close it up. It's about to sell out if you want it. I just want to show you. You also get your interfacing. You get your ribbon. You get your toggle. You get your instructions. I'll show you in the other ones. We'll look in more details in the other colourways, but they are uh, about to all sell out. <gasps> How beautiful. I'll, I'll do. I'll rewrap you if you oh. want. <laughs> What you say, <laughs> Kerry? I'm well, like, I know you always it. give me that little look like, please sort this out. Oh, no, yeah, I'm really not as tidy as you. You do so, so, fold them all up so beautifully. Okay, red. Red is the, one the one middle there. one. Thank you. I love that you, you even know. I mean, Kerry obviously packs all these. Uh, it's all very personal. Um, Again, great price point. I don't think any of us expected $13.99. Again, with Liberty. This is luxury. So let's go through. This is Linda Lotus bag. It's got beautiful detail that you obviously got that floral sort of top. Your Liberty complimenting. There's pre-recorded tutorials in is the that? booklet as well. Yeah. Oh, see, there's so much. So not only do you get all of your instructions, there's also video tutorials, uh, and, and it, the link is provided within your kit. So that's in your sort of your welcome pack, and you also get any templates that you need in there. As always clear photographs, great texts, um, absolutely beautiful, all of the supplies that you need. Right, I've got a feeling that this is going to be a very, very quick sort of run through. I've got a feeling every single colourway is about to sell out. So have a look on the website. You've got your Liberty print. You've also got your Batik. More people in baskets than we've got availability. Your interfacing, your ribbon and your toggle as well. Everything that you need to make your beauty, beautiful lotus flower. I'll be multi bowing on this, really. I know that you get your instructions. Use your uh, uh, own fabrics, of course, to make more. But because it's so affordable and you get all of the little bits and bobs like your interfacing, your toggle, just try and multi bow on these if you can, if you can. Oh, Baffer just said, OMG, Kerry, I remember my mum making me something like this for a patch for uh, me as a flower girl for a wedding I went to when I was four <laughs> years ago. When I was four, yeah, uh, four years old. She says, I, uh, I can see lots of these being made for weddings. Do you know, it, that's a lovely idea, actually. I wouldn't have thought to use them for a wedding. I suppose it's because I've been married forever now. <laughs> that would be so remember pretty. remember struggling to find patterns for yeah. my flower girls. That's a lovely idea. Oh, can you imagine them holding this with petals in? And throw, oh, that would be so lovely. Um, okay, I'm not going to open it up because there's four left. They're about to sell out. Uh, thank you so much for jumping ahead on pre-order. This one, you get your instructions, your pattern, remember your link to your tutorial, your boutiques, your solid, your interfacing. Right, they're going to go. Oh. <laughs> 
We do have the pattern on its own today. As I said, the kits are beautiful and I'm really pleased that they've absolutely flown out. Um, okay, all colorways now oversubscribed. If you want it, go for it. If you want the pattern on its own, I've got a feeling now this is the only way of getting it. Again, $6.99. That's a really, really good price. Really good price. Oh, right, so what I would do is I would go back through our website and absolutely get some of the, the fabrics that we had earlier. We did Liberty Fabrics earlier. Um, perfect for spring and summer, aren't they? They're beautiful. Just £6.99. Remember, I know the kit's got interfacing in. In fact, right, so those of you that are panicking, thinking, but those lovely toggle clasps and interfacing, don't worry, carry sort of it. Interfacing, a metre piece, maybe you want to make more. So if you've got a kit and you want to make more, you've opened your order and you've paid your posting packaging, this is only £1.99, only £1.99. Colour scheme maybe to match your wedding or to match your, your Easter decor, your spring decor. You're it's making so me pretty. want to get married now. <laughs> <laughs> You're already married, Kerry, oh, yeah, calm yeah, yeah. down. Craig's here in the back, he's watching. Is this a metre, did you it's say? It's a metre, 30 so, inches wide. Right, 30 wide is uh, brilliant, amazing. So that's enough to make a, a few of these you'd be able these? to make two but you need to piece the interface in together but that's absolutely fine in the center overlap it uh, slightly and you'll easily get two out of that perfect there you go um, now these are lovely these toggles aren't they so we've got a pack of two toggles um, the white are about to sell out close to selling out we have got uh, the black option as well um, yeah, all the kits are completely sold out. The only way of getting the instructions are the instructions on their own. And then if you get all of your little bits and bobs, don't worry, Kerry's sort of got everything you need individually. Grab your interfacing. It is so busy. It is very, very busy. Um, I'm so pleased I'm finally here doing the Living and Loveliness shows because they are always so exciting. The black toggles as well. Um, and of course, we've also got ribbon as well. We've got ribbon as well. Um, £2.99 and that's for two of your double toggles. So don't get me wrong, I know lots of you have got a stash of ribbon, but what I love about this is that it's the perfect width for this project and you get 10 beautiful bright colours. They're going to be at random um, uh, and, and they're all one metre uh, pieces. Now these are different widths. Well, I definitely have some that are going to be all right for... Um, yeah, so the only this. ones that perhaps wouldn't work in this particular project is the really thin one in there. Yeah. The wider one will work just as well, and so will the half inch, what we've put in the kits. Nice. Really decorative. They're so beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so £2.99, and you get a pack of 10 ribbons. All oh, nice bright colours. Brilliant. Oh, hi, Derek. Good morning, Hannah, Kerry, Cara, Vix. I know it's manic today, isn't it? She's put, sorry, I'm late to the party this morning. Oh, you are late, Derek. Are you on your school holidays? Waking up at, uh, at 10 o'clock? Where have you been? Could you show for the code for the pattern for Rosina? The code for the pattern, Rosina. We'll put it back in for you, Rosina. You can copy it off the screen then. Um, hi, Kerry. My sister had the same bags for a wedding in 1978 for a bridesmaids. There you go. <laughs> so pretty. Bruce has got a really good idea. He said back and then Halloween. Yeah, bring him out Halloween as pumpkins. Oh, yes. I wouldn't have thought to do it. We'll have, we'll have kits in trick Halloween or treat later bags. in the year. That's oh, no, we need it idea. bigger if it's trick or treat. We want more sweeties oh, yeah, in there from trick or treat. Yes. <laughs> They're nice through the window, though, aren't they? <laughs> That's oh. a lovely idea, actually. Great idea. And then I'm thinking for Christmas. Definitely for Christmas. You know, we like Christmas. Yeah, we do. We, we do love like Christmas. Christmas. They're lovely, Counting aren't they? Counting down for Christmas makes, actually. I know. <laughs> I know. Is it too early to start talking about Christmas? No. Um, <laughs> no. We are going to have to play through Kerry's other projects just so that you can get ahead on those. We are going to be doing a bit of a demo on the Lotus Flower, though, aren't we? Should we do the lo uh, demo on the... Accessory roll. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, let's go through it okay. first, though, if that's okay. That's Just fine. because everything's going to sell out <laughs> otherwise, and I do want to show them on air. Um, which one's my yellow colourway? Can you remember? Which end it's ending blue, in? red, yellow. That blue, order, red, so yellow. So the Thank third you. One. Just because I want to do the grab reveal opening them. <laughs> um, so this is your yellow colourway. <gasps> and they're matching. 
it matches in amazing so imagine if you're going to your classes your workshops and you've got this with all your wonder clips and your bits and bobs in um, you'll be the envy of everybody won't you with your liberty accessory roll to match to keep all of oh look at you you've already filled it up for me there you go with all of your notions uh, ready to go I spent Saturday searching high and low for my stitch from picker it wasn't till I opened the demos to check I'd got everything <laughs> but it was in there it's in here but this is why things like this are <laughs> useful because otherwise you do misplace things you're like hang on where is that if you know that when you're going to your workshops or your classes you've got it all in there all ready to go Kerry you should yeah I should have paid more attention <laughs> <laughs> um, in here you've got enough fabric to be able to make obviously your accessory roll it comes with that beautiful artist home liberty print and your boutique You've again included everything we need. You've got your wadding in here, which is super soft, bamboo, isn't it? Nice bamboo wadding in there. It's bamboo wadding in there. It's thirteen ninety nine. Um, I've got a feeling these prices are. Uh, I've no idea, a bit questionable. They're very low today, <laughs> very, very low. You've also got your lovely yellow ribbon they to match. They are right, they are right. <laughs> so good, <laughs> Kerry, you're too good to us. And then you've also got your instructions and your patterns. And this time all wrapped in your, up in your lovely Easter um, yellow tissue paper. £13.99 for your accessory roll. I'm out now thinking again, makeup brushes. If you're a, a crochet, to keep your crochet hooks. Knitting needle, whatever, you know, I suppose that if you um, want to use the pattern and make it again, you can make it longer and put um, the artist brushes in there, however you want to use it. Um, there are so many different uses for ro rolls like this. Um, I've also got red colourway. Kerry, this is brilliant. I love it. It's so exciting. <laughs> Sorry, we will get to Kerry's demo, don't you worry. Um, we just want to make sure that we show you all of the kits. And they're all matching you with the lotus flowers, yes. are they? Oh, we do like coordinating. We do I like do. It's really nice to be able to have them. If they're for, um, the gifts for somebody, this would be really special to make them both the, the lotus bag and the matching uh, accessory roll. Look at how beautifully presented it is as well, look, when you get it home. You get your instructions, your templates. That's a beautiful colour. Hannah's favourite. I love this one. Oh no, everyone's now taking it out of their baskets because I've said it's Hannah's favourite. <laughs> Don't let it put you off. She's got great taste. We have taste. no more of that fabric for any more kits either. I know. I'm really sad because I love that print. Oh, so this is it. That if you the, want that this print. Last, that was the last of the fabric we have of that. Oh, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Honestly, um, that is beautiful, really, really beautiful. Oh, Wendy's just said, morning Vixen Kerry, it's a miserable morning outside, but it's sunny on Sewing Street. She says, I've made some of the lotus bag for Easter egg hunt for the weekend. And say hello to Craig as well. Yeah, we've got Craig here today, <laughs> Rody, Rody Craig. Um, that's Wendy, message from Wendy for oh, you. Oh, lovely, thank you. Get all your messages in for Kerry. Right, we've also got, any questions you've got as well, get them in. That red is very popular as well, it's lovely. Finally, we've got the blue. Single figures already, really limited now. Well done if you've already got it on pre-order. Um, for anybody who hasn't yet spotted this one, oh, this is really beautiful as well. I think technically everything for the Lotus bag has sold out. We will talk about it briefly. We're gonna focus the demo on the accessory roll though, if that's okay with you, Kerry. Um, yeah, if that's okay with you. Uh, so you've got your quilting weight, beautiful blue floral here again, and your batik, and your wadding, and your ribbon, and instructions, and template, and it's thirteen ninety nine. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say this again. Sorry, I sound like a broken record. More people in baskets than we have availability. Good luck. Ooh, can we do the pattern on its own though? Yes, six ninety nine. Six ninety nine for your accessory roll pattern. These are lovely, amazing. Do make the most of these um, on their own, especially if you're thinking of your gifts for, for, for teenagers are difficult, aren't they? Or for, you know, the teenagers. My, um... You're right, because the 
it's very difficult to find things that teenagers want having to myself but my daughter loves the accessory yeah. roll she's got several of these so oh, what does she I get store quite in excited it? when she wants me to make something yeah. she's got them for makeup brushes for her pens and pencils a crochet hooks different ones for different things that's it oh it's so useful really versatile hence why it's accessory roll because it can be go along do you know actually you could even if you got one of those drawers that's got lots of cables you could yeah. put oh, your different yeah, phone nice cables yeah, that's couldn't a you idea, yeah. you could just keep you know something things that you I've all got that drawer with lots of by rows and things can I vary the width of the pockets on here yes and it shows that in the pattern and on the tutorial as well so you get the tutorial with this as well so Fantastic. you just vary it dependent upon what you want to pop in <laughs> oh she just said Bab has just said when you say the teenagers you sound like my mum saying the Google if you go to <laughs> the Google <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious. I know. Well, I was on the other day with Susie on Jury Maker and she says, you know when you're on your typewriter? And I was like, oh, sorry, excuse me, I'm on typewriter. And she went, oh, I mean laptop. I don't given know why the I typewriter. I, would st I loved my typewriter. It was my prized possession and given the chance, I would still always opt for a typewriter. What? What about when you make a mistake you have to get the Tipex out? Oh, that's the, well, as the roll, I'd go for the roll. Oh, the roll I have gone up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right. I select the roll on Tipex. That's oh, it. Oh, just before we do some demo. Hi, Kerry. Sunny is always on Zoe Street with Living and Loveliness, so happy, love Liberty, I love all your hashtags Christine, um, and Michelle has asked, are you going to Sandown Quilt Show at the end of April? Yes, we are, yes. Yeah, brilliant, Michelle, see you there, see you there. Um, right, accessory we roll. In? <laughs> Let's do it. We are halfway through the hour. Oh my word! Sorry, Kerry. Uh, but they're nice, easy projects. That's what's lovely. And I mentioned my daughter. She won't let me make them. She likes making them. So they're nice projects for the teenagers to make <laughs> as well. I love that Bath has said that because it's very true. So you've got your batting in there. Now you can use, and I think I do in the step by step, just a little bit of 505 directly on your batting if you want to secure it into place. But it is only a small. A piece of fabric that you're working with so place the pretty fabric whichever option you've chosen or if you're choosing some from your stash so that's pattern facing up towards you and then we're going to pop the lining on now I did think about putting just just a lemon lemon yellow is one of my favorite colors but I just love this batik I've put this in lots of projects recently and I just absolutely love this yeah it's, it's so fresh isn't it's it so fresh yeah and it definitely i mean the weather today is just dreadful i've just seen cat god lover and she's been caught in all that rain this morning oh, no. and it's awful so it is nice to have some nice summery fabrics to work with so what we're going to do is sew along the top and the bottom now if you've got a pattern direction just be careful of that but just to mention if you're using a pattern direction I realise I've covered the pattern there. You are folding this in both ways in a little while. So I would try and work with a fabric that perhaps doesn't have a pattern direction okay. for this particular project. Um, and all we're going to do, using a quarter inch seam allowance, is to just sew along that raw edge, the top and the bottom there. Oh, June, that's a different discussion itself. She says, I prefer a typewriter. She says, because there's not predictive, predictive texts, which has got her into trouble before. Oh, predictive texts. Gosh, I've done some real, real sort of blunders. <laughs> the trouble is, when I'm replying to a message sometimes, I rush to reply to it, and then I'll have to try and um, reply back again to explain what it was supposed yeah, to have yeah, said exactly. because of predictive text. Your main graphic, by the way, is for your pattern on its own for the accessory roll. So much is selling out, so keep your eyes peeled on the website. If anything becomes available, you'll be first to sort of spot it there. June, I'm so jealous. She says it's glorious down here on the south coast. Blue sky and sunshine, oh. really warm. Oh, miserable here in the Midlands. Nice day for walking. So all I've done here is just, just sewn those two raw edges. We're then simply going to turn this out the right way. So just pull that through and give this a little press or finger press, whichever you prefer. So just getting those folds out nice and easy. The uh, the wadding that you've used is beautiful. Oh, it's lovely, nice and. Brush. I've never felt such soft wadding ever. Do you say it's bamboo? It is, yeah. <gasps> oh, lovely. It, I think it's one of those products that until you felt it, you're like, oh, I don't want to use anything else now. 
So what I'm going to do here, this is a nice opportunity for you to use your zigzag stitch or your decorative stitches in your project and I'm simply going to sew just along one of those folded edges. Limited on all kits, all kits very limited. If I were you, I'd just go on the website, have a look at all of Kerry's projects, anything that's coming out later on as well, and just grab what you can. It's gonna be one of those days today. You are speedy sewing today. <laughs> That's what I love about this machine. Are we having a slower day or are we speeding? It sounds like a typewriter, <laughs> doesn't it? Speedy it does, sewing. Yeah. That's the thing, you know, you don't get that with your laptop. No, I know what you mean. So the next thing that we're going to do is to just fold the bottom up. Now, as you mentioned, if you've got the pattern, of course, if you wanted to extend the pattern, then you could do if you wanted to make this longer. But all I'm going to do here is to just fold this bottom up four inches. So I've got the measurements there on that mat, which is nice and easy to work with. So I'm folding this up four inches, just checking that that's straight and then choosing a ribbon. Now your ribbon will come with a yellow. I got carried away putting as much of the yellow ribbon into the little packs and didn't leave myself any. So we're going for lilac for mine. And then all I'm doing here is to just feel through those layers. So I've just got the um, three layers on the top that are folded and I'm just excluding that back. Placing the ribbon on top just here, folding that in half so you've got a metre of ribbon there in your kit. Mm -hmm. You can trim that if you want to. I'm slightly overhanging this and I'm just going to sew this into place to secure this into position. Just making sure there that I'm not catching that back part of the fabric. And I'll just drop that back to a straight stitch for the next part. Now, while that's folded into position there for that four inches, I'm just going to pop a couple of clips onto the side. There's a little bit of the batting overhanging, so I'll just trim that away, make life a bit easier for myself. Again, just pinning through those layers, excluding that back, because we're going to turn this the other way in just a moment. You like using the clips, don't you, Kelly? I love the clips, yeah. I certainly do. So just pulling this through now and then all we're going to do is to just make sure this is nice and flat, same on the top and the bottom there. And what we're going to do is sew along the raw edge, just excluding, so I'll ignore the ribbon side, we'll work on the opposite side mm -hmm. and leave myself a good turning gap there. Now it's quite a small project, so we'll quite easily get away with a three and a half inch turning gap just here. Yeah, you don't want to leave yourself too small of a gap, especially when you've got all that wadding as yeah, well. Yeah, and, and there's no need to put any pressure on. Now your ribbon, we don't want this to get caught up, so I'm just tucking that inside into the pocket out of the way now. And on the opposite side where we have got that ribbon, that will really secure it in place. We're going to start with a reverse stitch and finish with a reverse stitch. And I'll just pop these clips over the top there. It's worth, as I say, looking ahead, and people have already spotted the sewing patterns um, book, which is brilliant. So we've got a brand new uh, project from Kerry coming up later on in the 12 o'clock show, which is a, a sort of folder to keep all of your sewing patterns, and it's fantastic really lovely kit again so already people spotting that on the website it's worth checking out on that as well it's a nice full kit as well so everything oh, yeah. you need there's everything in there brilliant so on the opposite side now i will just make sure that i reverse stitch at those mark points that i've given myself i'm just trimming that extra thread leaving that little turning gap there And just reverse stitching. And this is managing okay without walking foot actually. Yeah. So that's a lot of layers you're going through there. Well you've got your two, certainly on the bottom of the um, part where we've got yeah. those pockets, we've got two layers of your bat in there. So I'm just going to clip the corners and turn this right way out now. Would you use a walking foot at home? 
Um, to be honest, I only generally tend to use a walking foot whenever I'm doing a quilt. Yeah. Um, if I do smaller projects, then I tend no. not to swap it over. Um, if the machine can handle it, I don't yeah. think there's... For myself, there isn't reason to. So just turning this through this little turning gap here. Now, I would always hand stitch this turning gap before I do any of the top stitching, but that's personal preference. And I won't hand stitch that today. I'll scoot ahead along. So just pushing this out, making sure those corners are nice and tight and nice and flat. There we go. So you've got your little pocket there ready. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is to just give this a little press, make sure there's no folds in the fabric here. And just on that turning gap, just tuck that nicely on the inside. And just give that a little press. And you mentioned as well um, how far you'll distance your pockets. So, dependent upon what you're going to pop into there, uh, in the pattern I recommend doing them uh, about an inch and a half apart, that will quite easily fit your pens and things inside. So the first one, I've done an inch and a half from that folded edge there, but you can mix it up. Now, if you're doing this for your crochet hooks or your makeup brushes, you may in fact want to do those an inch apart so they're nice and tight together. Yeah, whereas you put like a big pair of scissors in here, yeah, so you press it all in some markers. So yeah, you can change up. Yeah, depending I on what you put would in never there. I wouldn't be right without the roll and hem to be honest. So um, it's one of the little tools that I like working with. So for me it was really important to have a slightly bigger pocket to allow that to fit into yeah. nicely. Then on the top part, what we're going to do is to just sew along the top here, this folded edge, again using that same decorative stitch or of course you can swap that over. So I'll just swap that over to a zigzag. I'm just going to make that a little bit wider actually. But these are nice, they're nice fast projects. So if you're making gifts or making things for you know, craft fairs and things like that. They're a nice, speedy project. Oh, I was going to ask that, actually. Do you have sort of like an angel policy? Can we make to, to sell with you can, these? Yeah, you can use these patterns to make to sell. Fantastic. Oh, for your craft fair. These are great, aren't they? Yeah, and they're always really popular as well. I mean, they're great for children's pencil crayons, you know, when you're out on the move. Um, they're just a nice little thing to pop in your handbag, perhaps. You mentioned your biros and your pens, but for children that you want to keep busy on a journey. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to zigzag along that side. Is that a nice well. variegated thread you've it's got nice, there? It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that looks lovely. I had my assistant out the front with me, so I got to play with the threads and Fantastic. get all the pretty things out while, uh, while I've got the help today. So I've just sewn across the top. All we're going to do now is to just fold this over, and I'm folding this over two inches. There we go. So whatever you're popping in is tucked in nicely. And I'm just going to sew along that top to keep that folded down mm -hmm. there. So just using a straight stitch on the top there. And just starting and finishing with a reverse stitch. And then all that's left to do to complete this project is to just sew your pockets in. So it's important at the top that you reverse stitch for each one of these. Just make sure that there are no folds in the fabric and that it's tucked nice and flat. I suppose that just helps to reinforce it if you are putting yeah. a bit more sort of pressure yeah, stress I know onto that it. I, yeah, I know that I can be in a hurry sometimes, so it'll help reinforce that stitch. So we're going to reverse stitch at the top and the bottom and just sew using a straight stitch along each one of those lines. And this is definitely your uh, project for 
you know, if you're needing to sew something nice and speedy. And the chances are when you're in your sewing room, you'll have a little bit longer than... Oh yeah, than you do here, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> So you but can it take is good time. that you can do it quickly, isn't it? It's nice that you know, right, if I am doing a bit of a production line of gifts or makes for, for craft fairs, then this is perfect for that, isn't it? Yeah, and I found that these went really well when, when I used to go out and do craft fairs and things. So when you're, you know, you're doing projects for those, you want it to be speedy so you can make lots to fill your space. So just each time I arrive at the bottom, just teasing a little thread out, jumping onto the next line, and then sewing along that next pen mark. Two more to go. What are you going to put in this one? Skinny chocolate bars. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, what skinny chocolate bars do we like? Ripples. Oh, I love ripples. ripples. Flakes. Twirls. Twirls. Although they always come in like a duo, don't they? I was going to say like Kit Kats and stuff. But can, can you I'm get a ripple just on its own? A twirl on its own? There you go. Oh, you had one today. Oh. We didn't have one today. No, we didn't. <laughs> We've got birthday cake though. You've got to have some oh, birthday well, cake. Oh, we'll definitely have birthday cake. We need to find a knife to cut it up, don't we? Because otherwise it would just sit there, Hannah. I noticed yeah. it was it was tucked next to Hannah. She's guarding it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So that is your accessory roll. Just take a moment to trim away those excess threads, and then you've got your little accessory roll all sewn up, ready to be filled with either your pens or, for me, I think I'm going skinny chocolate bar. Yeah. Hide it in my handbag. Nobody would ever exactly. know, would they? No, exactly. <laughs> oh, imagine you get to your craft fair and you open it out, or your uh, your workshops that you you're sewing at. That's like with the stitch on picket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a nice surprise. <laughs> uh, had a message come in. Uh, good morning, Vicky. Away in uh, in a caravan. I've had you on TV. Didn't know my husband's eyes could roll that far into his head. <laughs> Tell me about you, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. We love Tracy. Tracy sent us another Prezi in the post, by the way. <laughs> I would like to know why he's always rolling. What did you do? I don't know. What did we do, Tracy? <laughs> Is it because you found another way to watch Sewing Street? Oh, no. He's going to be so annoyed on the holidays. Oh, that's so funny. That's really made me laugh. Jean said, morning, Vicky and Kerry. Have a lovely day with Kerry. Oh, we always do, Jean. And she's put a little ladybird oh, sign. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? That's How quick it. and easy is this? Brilliant. So once you've filled it up with all your little goodies, whatever they're going to be, then you've got your ribbon. You may want to trim these down. Now, one thing that I don't mention in the pattern um, is how to finish off your ribbon ends, but you can sew those if you want to. So in that case, all you do is to just fold these over by a quarter inch. I mean, it is a tiny little bit. You could even hand stitch those, to be honest, but it'll just stop. Mm -hmm. um, the ribbon from fraying there as well. I have done on the little, yeah, the lovely. little one here. Yeah. Um, but I normally tend not to, if I'm honest. No. But I thought as I was bringing it on today, I'd, do, I'd finish it all properly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kerry. Uh, so that is the, the accessory roll pattern available. How are we getting on with accessory roll kits stock-wise? All sold out, gone. Um, lotus flower, gone. I think all the lotus flowers gone. Right. So, I mean, what else have I got to talk about then? Can we talk through a bit of the we lotus bag? Yeah, we can talk. Or we've we've got time to sew it if we want to sew it up. Yeah, we could do. You, yeah. Or I can talk you through how yeah. easy it is to make. Yeah. What would you like to do? Um. Oh, okay. Yeah. What we'll do? Yeah, we'll do whatever you want to do, and we'll just have the ribbons as your main graphic. Okay. This is how limited we are. Don't forget about our overlocker threads as well. Maybe we can show you those before the end of the hour. But no, we have time to say this. We have time to play. So we've got your fusible interface and this is in your kit as well. You'll be able to feel that. Now it's important that you pop this onto the right way. If you've never used the fusible interfacing before, um, the ones that we've got in the packs and the ones that you've got in your kit, you can feel those tiny little glue dots on there. If you place your fabric over the top with that lovely print facing towards you and either a pressing cloth or even the lining of your kit and if you just take a moment or two to press and fuse that interfacing onto the back of your panel 
and we'll do this on both sides. And then what we're going to do is to place the um, lining fabric. So this is the one um, where you see those on the petals of the lotus. Whereabouts are you from, Kerry? Whereabouts exactly are you? No, I don't need to know your full address right now, but <laughs> where exactly do you live? I, I live in uh, a little village called Featherstone in Wolverhampton. There you go. Yeah, right by Nikki. Sort of recognised your accent and oh, she says, it's right, yeah, it's, it's very, yeah. Somebody who works here? Or? Yeah, and Nikki's oh, really? training to be a producer. She's in the gallery today. Oh, funnily enough, actually, I was going to ask this morning, but she was, when she mentioned how cold she was, she said she was really cold, and I thought, oh, I recognise your accent. Whereabouts are you from? Whereabouts are you from, Nikki? Sedgley. Sedgley, yeah. Not too far. 20 minutes. That's it. We can meet up. <laughs> yeah, they go. <laughs> We can meet up and share gossip. I never know any of the gossip. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to leave a turning gap on here as well. You have just got your interfacing in here. So again, we'll go, how many have we got there? We'll go five inches. And we're simply going to sew around that outer raw edge. I love this green pen. Mm. Oh, Mine are all that's black, a nice bright one, so isn't it? It's lovely, it? yeah. So we're going to sew around the outer raw edge, starting and finishing with a reverse stitch. Oh yeah, well, I'm surprised that you don't have all of the colours of the friction pens. You're like me with your gel pens, aren't you? Oh, your stationery. Yeah. The trouble is that they get taken by usually my daughter and I never see them again. So quite a lot of the time when I need to borrow accessories to take a photo, I have to go on the hunt looking for them. Christine says, first thing I do when I go on holiday in the UK is check if Sewing Street is tuned in and I set the alarm on the TV to start at 8 o'clock. Uh, she said would um, would get that eye roll, Tracy, understand. Because, yeah, we've got to do it, haven't we? We've got to just see whether it's on. I start doing it in TV shops. Is that weird? No. I just put, I change all the TVs just to Sewing Street. That is commitment. Not that I go to TV that shops a lot. That is commitment to your job, that is. And at the gym. <laughs> and at the gym. I change all the running machine TVs to Sewing Street street as well <laughs> that would definitely be an excuse not to run wouldn't it be like oh I'm sorry I'm just I'm just watching yeah oh, fair by the way I don't really go to television shops or gyms very often but I have <laughs> done it a couple of times I was um, really impressed with you then you should have left it there. I know I should I have done really it especially I was trying to impress uh, our new Nikki because she's oh. a PT <laughs> <laughs> Michelle just said, love stationery as much as fabric. Oh, I know. That's a hobby in itself, isn't it? Just collecting stationery. Yeah, and you can never have enough. So all I'm doing here is just, just trim the corners so we get a nice point, because that's really what we're showcasing um, on the lotus bag there. And then we're going to turn this the right way through and just give this a little press. Now, I would, and if you have a little impact, oh, I've just used yellow. I think this uh, variegated thread is so much nicer. Um, you know, if you've got lovely stitches, if you're doing these for Easter, maybe you've got like a little egg on your uh, stitches, or if you're doing oh, yeah. it for, you know, this flower. would be a really lovely way uh, to showcase those little stitches, wouldn't it? Or if you're doing it for a little gift for a little boy, I know lots of the machines have little bicycles and all sorts of things. So the next thing we, go, we would do, but for time I'm not going to do that today, is to hand sew up your turning gap, give this a little press, and then just top stitch around that outer raw edge using your favourite stitch on the machine. And again, we'll see just how quickly this one comes together. So what we're going to do is to just place the ruler, chuck oh. the pen. <laughs> Throw the pen first. <laughs> place the ruler onto the bag on your four inch mark on your fabric and just draw into the corners there to give yourself a little guideline. Just redo that one up here. Got lost in the little leaf there. And then we're folding these over. Just pop a clip or a pin onto the corners and we'll repeat that on all four corners. And again, onto the opposite side. Lots of people agreeing about the stationery. Yeah. June says that her pen stash is just like the fabric, it's just to stroke. She's like, a bit like my fabric, it's just for stroking, not using, just like to have the oil array of every pen. See, 
I'm a bit like that, but then I can never find one when I need one. No, one that works, yeah. 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 Or one that works, yeah. So we've folded those over. Now, you mentioned the ribbon bags that we've put together, you know, will they work with this particular pattern? If you're using the kit, then the fact the ribbon that we've put in is half inch ribbon. Then as the instruction says, just make your marking on the lotus flower corner here, three quarters of an inch in and just using your fabric pen. Now in the instructions, I'll show you how to draw all the way around, but just for ease and speed, I'm just going to do it on the little triangles here. So three quarters of an inch in on all four sides. Hi Susie Duncan, she's watching, she says morning beautiful ladies, uh, loving these gorgeous Liberty fabrics in the makes. Who doesn't want to have all of the friction <laughs> pens? I know it is a bit of an obsession to go, oh I want the lime green one though as I well. I really like the lime <laughs> green. Really like I've not got that in my stash but I definitely feel like I need it in there. Susie says she loves fountain pens, she says I've got oh. far too many uh, but I have more fabric so keep shopping. <laughs> We do like, we like things, stuff. We like lots yeah. of stuff, does, don't we? So what we're going to do now is to just use a straight stitch and sew all the way around, or you can just do on the corner. So for the tutorial to keep this nice and fast, I'll just do those lines that I've drawn on. It's slightly different in your um, pattern booklet and both way works just as well. Just while you're speeding around those corners, can I just show you today's um, Hannah special? in stock today first time i've ever seen this overlock box it's overlock and thread specifically designed for overlockers um, but something that's a bit different it's got nine of your aero lock and then it's got three aero flocks one in um, white one in gray and one in black which aero flock is designed especially for lingerie activewear gym wear um, jersey it's absolutely perfect there it's got a, a softer sort of fluffy coating it's going to be really lovely and soft um, and then all of your other ones which are your uh, aero lock are the ones that we're all sort of familiar with anyway for your overlocker there's only six of those left six of them left i thought i'd update you as there are 10 of you have got it in your basket be aware we are oversubscribed i look very still there why aren't i moving <laughs> 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 I was like, I didn't realise, I was like, this is so weird, I can't move, and then I realised it's a picture, thanks Bruce. So I've just sewn across those lines that I've drawn on, just pop the iron on there to move those, and the last thing to do to finish this off, so all I'm going to do to make this easier to pop through the toggle, that was a new word, is to just cut this, <laughs> cut this at the angle. Um, can I have one of the toggles at your little bag? I've dropped one of mine underneath. Okay. You just have and to I'll remember. Replace it. You just have to remember. When I'm re oh, hang on. Which one we're going for? This one. Ah. I've just heard it skedaddle under there. There it is. Sorry, <laughs> Perry. There we go. And I wonder if I bought my bodkin. So if I could have the uh, just the accessory roll. Thank you. So a bodkin works really well for this, but as I've not got mine to hand, I'm going to use the stitch on picker to slide this through. So all I'm going to do is to just pop this on and trap the ribbon on the inside. So if you haven't got a bodkin, this will work just as well, your stitch on picker. So I'm using this to push around, pulling this through the first one, and to prevent this from gliding all the way through, I'm just going to push that through the toddle. Can't say that word toddle. today. Toddle. <laughs> <laughs> the toggle. There we go. And that'll stop that sliding through. And just follow all the way around on those corners, through those little channels. If your um, ribbon is wider, you could make these little pieces here folded over five inches, lie your ribbon on top. You can see how that guides through nice and easy there and just make that seam a little bit wider, that little channel a little bit wider. This is so clever, isn't it? I love it. And so we're through onto the other side. So I'll make do a uh, bodkin for today. And then we're just simply pushing this through the toggle. Mm -hmm. Well done. <laughs> just getting that to come through the other side. And all that's left to do now is to just knot this off, straighten that up, get your two uh, raw edges of your ribbon there, knot that off. Just pull that nice and tight. Trim away those excess threads. And then you've got your lotus bag. And as you mentioned right at the beginning, this is wonderful because if you are using this for your makeup, 
Um, it opens all out. It opens out. You can see it. the yeah. entire contents of what's going to be tucked on the inside. And then when you're ready to enclose all of that, you're simply just pushing onto the ribbons and pulling this nice and I close. Can't believe, I'm definitely going to be making these. They're great, aren't they? Why didn't everybody got the kits? Because they were brilliant value for money. Um, you're going to have to bring us more back, please. We need more. We definitely need more. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Kerry. Um, the sewing patterns, can I show everybody? Yes, yes. Because this looks amazing. Look at this, this is next, oh, you pin that on. I just pulled it That's off, okay. sorry. Um, but that is the latest pattern which we're about to launch in the next hour. Look, places, you even get your vinyl, everything that you need. There's uh, a zip pocket there. There's Velcro pockets in here to put your little notions and all sorts. Um, it's amazing. So to complete the whole of the sewing patterns um, book bag, this is coming up, which is bit brilliant. Already selling, already <laughs> selling. Uh, thank you, Kerry. We'll see you in an hour. See you in an hour. Uh, just so you know, we've got another special. We've got another special coming up after the break. Uh, another brand new product, hot off the press. And we've got lovely Cara, of course, who's going to be back with us. She is coming back with some lovely embroidery. Great book, which is again selling on pre-order. So stay exactly where you are, and I'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. I'm Sandy. I'm originally from Manchester, moved to Wales about 12 years ago. We now live just outside Cardiff. I live with my lovely husband Andrew and my fabulous cat Percy. I sew memory bears. Um, I have a family comforts business with my daughter and my husband helping me too. Sewing Street's a fabulous place to be part of um, and I'd love people to vote for me so that I can come here and show people the passion that I have for sewing. Um, and give you all my hints and tips, which I love to do, because I think as a crafter, you can never, ever stop learning. Thank you. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. I'm Emily, I'm from Barnsley in South Yorkshire. Um, I make bags, cushions, um, I like to do some dressmaking and dabble in a little bit of quilting as well. I applied for the Search for a Sewing Star competition because I absolutely love to teach and inspire others to sew and that's why I would like to win. I would love to be the next um, Sewing Street Sewing Star. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, my name is Ruth Springer and I'm from London. I am a designer and maker. I applied for this competition because 
I just wanted a new adventure and I had no expectations of where it would take me and I'm just delighted that I've reached the final. I'd love to come back and share some of my projects with you and continue this adventure. So, thank you. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Now, it's almost like it's a bit of an apology for the fact that we were so late with the early bird special. Um, and then it sold out literally in minutes that we were like, right, come on then, let's show you all of our other goodies. We've got brand new specials at the top of each hour. They are the set price, they can't go any lower, but they are really special products that had just arrived in literally yesterday. So we've stolen them for today's show and we probably should be waiting for a dressmaking day really but we couldn't wait so we saw the uh the overlocking thread of the neutral colors earlier on now for anybody who does want to expand their stash and do some really cool overlocking in bright threads i mean wait till you see these these are uh, amazing colors now they are overlocking threads but they are overlocking aeroflock so this is the fluffy one. I've never even seen it before. And then we've had the, the one pack and then another pack. So if I turn it over, do you know what I love about this? Is that, do you know like sportswear? You could have this as decorative. I was thinking, you know when they show exposed sort of seams like leggings um, that have got the hems sort of showing like seams like this, these would be ideal or underwear swimwear where you're going to see the overlocking um, it's nice to be able to have this selection of color now that's exactly what aeroflock is designed for i'm going to read on the back what it says so it says here aeroflock is a soft fluffy looper thread for the overlock machine ideal for plastic seams on uh, uh, uh sorry ideal for elastic seams on underwear and lingerie sportswear swimwear and gymwear perfect as an overlock thread for wool and knitted fabrics also ideal uh, or ideally suited for decorative seams very high elastic uh, elasticity and excellent sliding properties guaranteed durability including with frequent washing and exposed to stress so this is going to be perfect if you are going to be obviously you you wash in underwear a lot <laughs> if you're washing things a lot then it's perfect um it's going to be perfect on all overlocking machines. If you're doing jersey kids clothes, these lovely bright colours are amazing, aren't they? Little hoodies, little leggings, little jumpers. Buy, buy plain jersey and jazz it up with your nice bright colours. I love it, absolutely love it. You see lots of sportswear, actually. You know when you see this top here, where it's constructed on an overlocker. Um, the neutrals and browns. So it isn't just like you've got a whole pack of neon, you've got um, browns and neutrals, you've got your whites as well as these lovely neons. I love it, absolutely love it. Oh, let's open it up so you can see the ones that are underneath the labels as well. I think you've got, um, I can't see the one color as clearly. Oh, there you go, it's a gray and a black. And these are massive sports. They look even bigger, actually, than um, the other ones. They're a 1,000 metres. They're the same size, but they look huge. So you've got the extra large cones. And each of the colours are labelled, obviously. They're all numbered. So if there's a certain colour that you love for Madeira, obviously, you've got the consistency of, of quality um, throughout. It's 100% polyester, textured polyester. And they are absolutely superb, isn't it? Look at that. That is neon, isn't it? Neon yellow, neon orange, neon green. I love these ones. But then you've also got the more muted sort of colours, Christmas colours, black and white, neutrals as well. All for £44.99. Absolutely amazing. So we just wanted to let you know that this is brand new in. Anybody who is 
getting ready, stocking up, ready for the Great British Sewing Bee. Maybe you do sew-alongs with your, your classes or your, your friends. This is perfect. Even if you're, you, you're buying this as a dressmaking group and want to try out Aeroflock and purchase it as a group and, you know, separate out uh, who, who wants different colours, um, ideal just to reiterate for underwear, lingerie, sportswear, swimwear, gym wear, um, for wool and knitted fabrics as well. This is going to work brilliantly with. Perfect. So, just wanted to let you know, special, brand new. Oh, no. Right, loads of those gone. Less than 20 packs available. Well done if you get them. Uh, also, so, talking of back in stock and new, we're going to be using these. Are you going to use this one? Yes. This one. So I've ever, only ever seen the HT2 glue, actually, so I'm excited to see the high-tack glue as well. HT2 is great. What I love about the HT2 is it's obviously super, super sticky, but it's also got a really, really lovely, long, thin nozzle. So if you're working with any of the, the purse frames, which we are today, you can virtually like get your sort of nozzle right into the nooks and crannies. Um, Brian, I apologize, it wasn't you, it was us. Not yet, we found them upstairs. We found him upstairs, Brian. He says, I'll take the blame for anything, don't you worry. <laughs> we'll blame Brian then. We'll just blame Brian. Um, your Gutemann HD2, back in stock. I know Lisa Lamb recommends this for lots of her bags, purse frames. This is lovely. Absolutely perfect. Ah, Anne, were you talking about the overlocking threads? Great for a kneeling stool. Oh, because obviously that's going to go through the wash a lot, isn't it? So if you want something super, super strong, uh, if you're constructing a kneeling stool, yeah, definitely get your uh, overlocking threads. So that's HD2. And then the one that we're going to be working with and you'll see in action is the high tack. Um, Fexy, very sticky glue. Sometimes when we do these shows, we don't have any glue. So I just wanted to introduce them straight away before they sell out. Perfect for all fabrics, for silk. You can use this on paper as well, wood, on trimmings, uh, for household work. So it's a good all round glue actually, just to have in your stash. Um, and we'll see that in action. Fabulous, so they're just a couple of glue options. It's only £2.99, so it's worth just adding to your order. Amazing. Uh, we now have the book already selling on air already selling on the web sorry introducing beloved japanese embroidery artist uh who is bringing the most beautiful collection of motifs showcase of a very a variation of purses wallets and bags inside you'll find an assortment of simple folk inspired floral and animal designs uh, that are all stitched with this lovely Japanese influenced signature style as well as nine lovely bag patterns as well. These are lovely aren't they? Look at the birds, the flowers, beautiful step-by-step -step photographs, clearly explaining brilliant techniques not just for the hand stitching and the embroidery but also for sewing bags, installing the metal frame purse clasps, and making pom-poms, tassels, and accessories. So you could use these motifs. It doesn't need to just be on to bags. You can use these motifs on, on all sorts, couldn't you? Um, yeah, I love them. Lovely long bolster cushion style would look really nice, wouldn't it? Use the lovely embroidery motifs to make stunning one-of-a-kind bags or be inspired to design your own unique projects. Um, they're lovely, aren't they? I love that row of flowers. You could put that on a little white T-shirt, couldn't you? They'd look so gorgeous on a sweat top or something even. There's cats in here. Lots of lovely ideas, even just for wall art. $15.99, simply stitch with embroidery. Beautiful book and a really great price as well at £15.99. Um, this is actually part of Zaka Workshop. Those of you that have seen any of our um, packs like this before, it's actually the same company that have bought the book forward. So if you love those instructions, which I know so many of you have, hence why we've bought them back so many times, um, you'll love this book. But that's a lot of projects for $15.99. That is a lot of projects in there, lots of templates. And we're going to see how you transfer from the book onto fabric to then create this. I've got Cara's sample uh, just behind me. I think Kat's got it there. Um, looks beautiful, doesn't it? So. Uh, 
that's using the book, transferring the design, and then obviously we've got fabrics and we've got purse frames and everything that you can you can make uh, make them. Look at that, that's so pretty. So this one uh, is this bundle here. We have a bundle to make this. So you have a fat quarter of each of your fabrics, but this one, the linen, it's a lot of fabric because it's wide. Uh, so not only do you have your linen, you also have your lovely cotton as well for the lining. Then you do get your Zucker Workshop instructions. And in there you get a clasp, you get your twine, which I'll show you what that's for in a bit. And um, you can make a plain purse with that bundle or you can embroider onto it if you get the book as well. You don't get the book included in the bundle but it's up to you. So the bundle can make your Zaka Workshop heart clasp purse. You'll have some fabric left over as well because there's lots of this linen here. Um, and then if you want to add some embellishment get the book, get the book. I suppose it depends on where you are on your bag making or embroidery journey, it's up to you. But they're lovely aren't they and they're really quality purse frames so I suppose it's ideal having the right purse frame for the, uh, the right bag, do you know what I mean, right purse, uh, the, the correct size for the job. Uh, so that's that one. I've also got an ochre colourway which is lovely. Now this is for a classic coin purse but once again we've cut these into fat quarters so you'll have lots of fabric there. And if you've got more of these little clasps, you could make more or you could make some accessories to go with, maybe. Um, so here, I think we've got some clasps separately, which is good. So you've got your classic coin purse. Ideal just to have this one in the car, isn't it? Just to have a bit of change for the car parking or something, or your trolley for the supermarket. You can make them longer as well, make them for glasses cases or knitting needle cases. You've got enough fabric certainly there to do it. You just have to um, sort of change the pattern slightly. Um, mm, my trolley, I use coins for my trolley, Bruce. Do you do Ringo on your phone then on your, in the car? Oh, I still like to put coins in. Um, just 17 99 classic style pouch, perfect for storing money. Maybe your lip balm then, why don't you just keep your lip balm in there? Or other small everyday accessories, it's lovely. Um, this one is the bubble clasp. That's cute, isn't it? Now this one comes with um, slightly different fabrics. Is this still a linen? Um, ha yeah, it's still a linen. Still a linen. So you've got the bubble frame. This is a lovely clasp. And look, they've put lace on the front of the example here. So you could embellish with lace, with little buttons. Obviously, we're doing embroidered details on there today from the book. Um, £18.99 pence and that's your grey option. That's lovely isn't it? Very stylish. And it's also got a secret pocket inside this bag. I think we've done this demonstration before actually so we'll um, yeah we uh, is this the one? Which one is it that you've got? I'm doing the coin purse. The coin purse. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've done the bubble clasp one before actually though so you'll be able to definitely find that on YouTube. Um, also Sally Ann. Was it Sally Ann? I did this one and it was amazing. This one is really cool. It's a double clasp purse. So inside here, it looks really complex, but it's not at all. And you open it out, you've got a larger purse and then an inside purse for maybe your coins. So you can put your money on the outside and your coins on the inside or your cards on the outside and any um, coins on the inside. It's lovely for a wedding bag actually. Um, and it comes with your linen. Oh yeah, we have. Oh, that was on its own, and now we've got it as a bundle with linen and your lining fabric as well. Don't worry. She said I didn't think we had it in the bundle, but I found it. So, eighteen pounds ninety-nine. Your double clasp. It's a retro-inspired purse featuring a double clasp, which divides the bag into two separate sections. Perfect. It's really good. We have definitely done a demo on that one before, so you can absolutely watch that back. That's another Zaka Workshop one. Um, love, 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 love. Don't forget to get your book because all of these linens would be really beautiful to stitch onto as well. Ideal for that. Um, book's going to be your main graphic. We're going to come to Cara because we've got quite a bit to, to show today, haven't we? On this? We have, we have. 
The linen is, is, is going to be lovely to do your embroidery stitching on, isn't it? It really is. I mean, this linen I've used for um, purses, but also for soft toys as well. Oh, nice. It's really, really nice. It's lovely to stitch on to, which It's is a good. lot of fabric that comes in the kit, isn't yes. it? Yes. Um, it's very wide, so you've got plenty. I had plenty left over. I mean, I've um, obviously you've got the um, end gussets on that one, but also the lining fabric, I've made a pocket on the inside as Brilliant. well. So, yeah, you've got plenty. Nice. And how was the book? Oh, I love the book. You Have know you me worked from this book before? No, I haven't. Ah. I don't think so. No, no, no. But I've seen it before, and oh, yeah. it's just I know you love beautiful. Um, because there are so many different motifs in there, and what I wanted to do was spend a bit of time explaining how to actually transfer the Good idea. Um, the embroidery designs onto your fabric. And um, but there's lots of information included in the book, which is good. So, um, and the, the other lovely thing about, I like about the book is that um, a lot of the purses are shown with different colourways. Oh, so yeah. you have sort of like a natural linen there mm -hmm. with the embroidery design. And then you've got a green and it just shows the difference. So it's like the one that I've done um, as a sample. Um, that was with the natural and a, a, a single colour of stranded cotton. And then you've got the red with the white. Ah. So that's why I did the blue with just a single color. Um, and it's really, really nice. And you can adapt the actual patterns to any of the purses that we've got, any of the clasp purses that we've got. So, Perfect. Um, so to explain how you can transfer the design, for the linen, I would actually um, use a slightly different method. I have tried the chocopy paper, and I'm sure if I had um, more time, I only had this morning with the chocopy paper, I'm sure that it would actually um, work if you just took a bit of time. But um, what you will do um, with either method that I'm going to show you today is actually trace the design onto um, tracing paper. And I'll find the design here. So it shows you all the sort of gallery at the front, the photographs, and then it has all of them. Does it tell you what page yes. it's on? Yes, yeah, it yeah. cross-refers to it. It gives the information about the threads. But you can use whatever threads you've got in your stash, which is lovely. So this is the flower medley one. It says shown on page 20. So if you go to page 20, you can see. And again, this is with the, the light blue and the stitching on top. And this one's with a dark either a black, I think that's a black with the stitching on top. And it just looks so different. So um, you would take your tracing paper and with a fine pen, I've actually used a friction pen because I didn't have a fine pen with me, but you trace the actual motif um, or, you know, if you're doing it like a line or individual motifs, you trace that onto your tracing paper. And then with the chocopy paper, I've done a bit on cotton to show you. So you have your fabric and then the copy paper comes with different colours. So it's like um, you've got, so you've got a lighter colour for the dark fabrics. Mm -hmm. You've got a yellow and it's just like a chalk. So you're actually just transferring the chalk onto the fabric, the green and the blue. I use the blue and you'll lay your fabric on a, a hard surface you'll take your copy paper and this can be used over and over again so it's a lovely addition with the actual um, book itself and then you place that in position I had a biro that had run out but keep that because that's a lovely sharp um, pen and then you'll just trace this through and press quite firmly and that will transfer onto your fabric. So this works really, really well with this book and with a flat fabric. It doesn't work so easily with a textured linen fabric. And I'll show you the method that I used for using the textured linen fabric. So you'll trace that over. You can hold your tracing paper and the copy paper firmly with some tape but just for this purposes. So I've traced through, and if you lift the fabric up, you've got your motif there. 
Ah. So that just does it. Yeah, if that's it hasn't good. come through completely, then take your trusty friction pen and you can draw over the top. And obviously the friction lines will go. The chalk won't go so easily, especially if you iron the fabric, but don't iron it until you, after you've um, done your stitching. So you can actually trace that over the top. But as you can see there, the copy paper works really well. So, so that's one method. The other method that I used for linen, and I used my wool mat. Now, if you haven't got a wool mat, what you can use is um, if you've got an old um, mouse mat, something oh, like that. Oh, okay. Why is it the, as opposed to any other ironing board or pressing board? Um, you can use the pressing board if you want to, but this method, because I thought, how am I going to transfer the design onto fabric? And I thought, hmm, not sure, not sure. So what I did was I traced the design onto tracing paper again and I actually took my is it an awl is it called an awl? okay yeah your tail is all um so I've traced it onto my tracing paper and I actually popped this is why you want something that's got quite a, a deep surface right I actually popped the awl onto the dots I didn't trace the line it's like joining the dots really and so you can do that through the tracing paper and you're making quite a large hole there. And as I say, um, I haven't done the lines, but I've done the end of the lines. So well, this I've got- for most of the designs in the book. Like, are they gonna have, you know, sections that you points. can do that yes points. so i did it i did it exactly the same for the one that um i made i've got the show you that one and this is why this is lovely because um the actual pattern for this one didn't fit particularly well on the purse there right so i had the shape of the purse mm -hmm. and then i was able to just trace some of the motifs oh yeah yeah and then I did the, exactly the same method by putting the holes in. So this is the shape of the purse, the front of the purse. And you'll see that only a section of it is stitched. Mm -hmm. So I did um, the, you know, the holes at the um, specific points. And then on that one, I actually used um, a friction pen. So on this one, once you've done all of that, you can take your linen fabric and before you stitch, it's a personal preference. You can actually put um, lightweight interfacing on the back and I felt that that gave it a little bit more stability okay. because the linen is lovely, it drapes beautifully. Um, it is soft, but the um, lightweight iron-on interfacing is very good for just making it a little bit firmer, a okay. little firmer surface. And so you'll take your um, design. So the coin purse, you'll have two of these, but they are cut separately. So don't worry about whether you put it on the top or the bottom. So as long as you've got your linen fabric mm -hmm. and the shape, and then I'm going to put something behind. I'll put some tracing paper underneath. I don't want to leave dots on the uh, table surface. Okay, so you'll hold that in position and then with your friction pen, you'll actually transfer the dots onto the fabric. So you should be able to do this with any of the de designs actually in the book. Right, oh, that's good. Oh, thanks for coming up with this idea. This is great. Well, it was um, because it was a, a textured fabric and I was thinking, right, how am I going to transfer this? And there are other methods, but this was the easiest one that I found with the items that I had at home. So you make dots like that. I don't think I've got all of them, but I've got most of them there. And if I just lift that up, can you see? Yeah. Okay. And then what you do is- you Play just dot end. to dot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fun. It's really fun. So it's, do you keep the picture to the side of you just yes. so you remember? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so that here's the design 
And so with a, a ruler or something, you can actually draw the line down there. And then you've got the point. Again, I'm just going to, so you can keep lifting the surface off. I'm going to take my bracelet off. You can hear that. And then you'll just draw from there outwards. And then up there between the two. So you'll actually just draw that onto the surface. Right. And this is one I've done earlier. So that's transferred my design on there. Mm -hmm. You'll see that I haven't got everything on there because it's entirely up to you, really, how many of these little stitches you can do there. But that was one of the ways that I found easiest on this textured fabric. And how long will the friction pen last on there? Will it stay on there? It stayed on there long enough for me to stitch yeah, it. Yeah, okay, so that's good. So it's really good for doing that. So, so that's your copy paper if it's a flat fabric. And then um, for linen fabric, this was just a method that I thought would it work. Works. So, um, and you'll see that I've prepared some of the others. This was the one with the lace on. You don't have to do the lace, but I've already traced the shapes of the bag. And mm -hmm. then I can take the front of the bag. If I'm not doing um, the lace there, then I can take the book and have a look at the different designs. And they're all the right size. Oh, that's good. Well, I suppose it is a Zeka workshop book, isn't it? So it all yes. works sort of hand in hand with these with these patterns. So, for example, that motif oh, would, that would work look really nicely. Yeah. So you can play around and sort of think, oh, that's the shape of the bag I've got. That's the template. You know, what patterns can I put on there? Love these feathers. So oh, you that do would be three beautiful. Feathers. Yeah, that would be really beautiful. Just so unusual. And as you say, you know, say you're going to a wedding and you want a bag that matches yeah. your outfit, yeah, but you're really different. struggling to find um, a pattern, then it's a really good way of uh, getting a bag that matches. So what I wanted to do was a bit of stitching. And you take the book and it will advise you which stitches to do where. So if I find that particular pattern. So it uses, this one uses a couple of um, colours of stranded cotton, but I played around with mine mm -hmm. and um, this was one that I stitched. So I'm going to show you how to, how to do that. So I've got um, a single colour for the actual flower here, then for the stems and then a different colour for the leaves and then I've used a gold for the um, French knots. Oh, there are loads of skeins that we've got available. They're all underneath us on the website because we're not going to run through them all now. But can I just highlight, there's a couple of these lovely variegated. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? It's DMC variegated threads. I've not seen yes, those before. They're, they're called colour variations. Oh. And they vary in colour. They don't go from light to dark. Okay. You actually have different colours within there. So that particular one, you've got the green and the blue and the light That is colours. lovely. Mm -hmm really really nice that is really nice and then there's also some amazing metallic ones on the web as well rainbow metallic blue and green amazing before we just go on to the next stage of making yeah we've got some of these patterns individually so the classic coin purse which is the main one that car is working with um we're going to do something special just because they're separate they're on their own if you do want the patterns individually $12.99 is always the price, always has been the price. We love them. You might already have your fabric in your stash. You might want to have a go on plain fabric and do your embroidery. You might want to use the Liberty from earlier. You don't get the book, remember. You've got to make sure that you, you get your book for your embroidery designs. Instructions are in here. I'll show you. You have all of your instructions. We're going to go through how you attach the coin purse uh, frame on the show. But, look, you do get full instructions, um, pattern pieces as well, where you need them. There's your pattern piece. Cat's not in here. And you get your um, bag frame as well. So full instructions, plus of course you're gonna get today's demo. This is only for it when it's on its own, by the way. This reduction we're gonna do is only for when it's on its own. It's the first time ever. Um, until midnight tonight, you can get this under £10. Woohoo! 
there you go and you get your frame don't forget you do get the frame and you get your little bit of twine yes we'll tell you all about the twine fab you got your pattern um you got your full pull, pull out and this is for your classic coin purse we're going to do this on all of them okay the only one we can't do it on is the double frame i think all of the others we can do on their own we can do a reduction of so absolutely make the most of the coin purse at the lowest ever brand new price of nine pounds and ninety nine, and that's with a really lovely gold frame as well. Until midnight tonight. Okay, loads of you checking out on that. Just in case you're making more than one, I think they're just beautiful as a gift. Yeah, they are. I know Easter's next weekend, so you might not have time, but you can you imagine making yeah. one as a gift and putting something inside it? Yes. Maybe a, a lovely piece of jewellery or something like that, and then Absolutely. wrap it up for somebody's birthday present um, or some money. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Put a pound in it. Yeah, yeah. You, you you can't buy a purse, can you, or make a purse of somebody without put. You've got to put a pound no, in you've it. Got to Good put luck. some money in it. Um, so that's the coin purse. We've got the bubble clasp, which is the one that you just were showing. Actually, how the feathers you fit three feathers on there perfectly, beautifully. Sorry, I'm getting in the right because I forward these cat. Um, so this one again comes with full instructions. Adorable purse. Bubble detail on the clasp. Um, so this was even more expensive, just so you know. This is fourteen ninety nine. Okay. The other one was originally twelve ninety nine, wasn't it? Twelve ninety nine. So you've taken what did you take? Three pounds off then. You took twelve ninety nine. So we should be going what to twelve ninety nine on this. Twelve ninety nine. Fabulous. You get your instructions, you get your clasp. Hannah's like, do you know what, nah, I'm just following suit from the early bird now. We know how busy <laughs> it is. We've had sellouts galore all day. 9.99 on these for the first time ever. Um, if you just want to make a, a plain purse, buy the book separately for embroidery. If you want to do the feathers on top of kaif, maybe. Or I'm thinking, have a plain um, outer with your feathers on the outside and then kaif as your lining. Feather cake. Ooh. Ooh. And use your stash because they're not massive purses. No. So you can use your stash and, you know, make such gorgeous purses. Yeah, maybe you learned to do the flying geese earlier. You could piece together the front yes. with a flying geese yes. unit, couldn't you? £9.99. Should be fourteen ninety nine. Um, thank you, Hannah. You've just given everyone their PP &P back for the day and a bit more. And a bit of change back in your purse. There you go, in your bubble purse. Uh, nine pounds ninety nine. A jump on the phone line or on the web or the app is probably the quickest way to get it. Um, massive reduction on that one today. I'm pleased that we got a good quantity. Um, five pounds off. Five pounds off. Did you just do the calculator? She actually got the calculator out then to do that. Um, heart clasp. Can we do the heart clasp? She's like, oh, I wasn't going to, but okay, you've said it now, let's do it. If you want the heart clasp, this is lovely. And if you are after, you know, we're talking about little occasion bags for weddings with a little heart detail. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's a nice size bag as well. This is the same size that you saw here. It's a nice, it's quite a good size, actually. That's you fit lovely. your mobile phone in there. Yeah, really, really nice. And your keys. Um, really, ideally, we should be taking a couple of pounds, two pounds off, but... No. You took a fibre off the last one, you've kind of shot yourself in the foot. Okay, she's got herself into a bit of a pickle. We're going to do it, just don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's till midnight tonight, we've got to erase all evidence that this ever happened. Um, you are benefiting from Hannah's moment of madness. She was like, I can't do it in the bundle, it's only on its own. But it's supposed, like Cara said, great to be able to make multiples great to be able to use it with scraps in your stash perfect for that um loads and loads of you checking out on these nine pound ninety nine we've never done this by the way ever i only even just said look the zaka workshop instructions are always so so popular this one's got a little pocket on the inside as yes, well hasn't it yes that's right it's adorable absolutely gorgeous and you can add um piping on it as well there's um on any of the purses you can add a little bit of piping which is nice amazing one more and we'll drop back to demo but remember that these are available i'll keep reminding you we've also got the retro mini purse hannah's getting nervous now she's like it's only available to midnight it's only available to midnight she's panicking 
This is cute. I've not seen this one before. This is the only one I've not seen. Oh, it's a, um, a little petite, it looks like a little mini oh, bag. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It's so oh, cute. I love that one. Oh, that is lovely. And the embroidery on that could be really simple. It doesn't have to be very detailed. So, so Poppy, um, who's one of our presenters over on Lifestyle, she bought Maisie her first ever handbag, little handbag that goes on a little strap rounder. This would be ideal for a girl's first little bag, really wouldn't would, it? Really would, yeah. First Can purse. you imagine her putting all her little bits and pieces oh, in? Oh, yeah, because little... children tend to collect little yes, things, don't they? Definitely, definitely. So this would be so cute to, to collect little things or, you know, to get your little uh, pound pocket money. £12.99. Well, how much do you get pocket money nowadays? How much does the two fairy leave? <laughs> Nine pounds ninety nine. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. I know. Well, if you think, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know how, how much you get for it. I think the the tooth fairy probably left me what fifty p. Did you say five pounds? Cat. A fiver. <gasps> the tooth fairy gives a fiver nowadays. Oh my word. Maisie's got to get some teeth first. She's got seven. My goodness. She's got 70. Oh, bless her. I know about every single one of them. I bet you do. There's another one coming through. I know there is um, at the moment. Uh, what a lovely demonstration and one lovely, talented lady. Oh, thank uh, you. The knowledge you have uh, bring us all together. It's just lovely. That's from Anne in Scotland. Thank you, Anne in Scotland. I'll pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the mini purse, £9.99. If you want it, it's there. Grab it whilst you can. Don't forget, just before we go out to Cara, Cara just remember the coin purse. We took to 9.99. We took it to 9.99. You get your frame instructions and we're gonna see how you insert the frame in the demo. It's never been under 10 before. Never been under 10. Maybe you want to, you know, make for friends. Maybe you want to make for friends. Making to sell, maybe. Um, or, of course, just using up your stash. Quick projects to use for your stash. There is the um, another sunglasses case. Remember, you can make that one slightly bigger if you want. The bubble clasp. Right, this was $14.99. Hannah took it to $9.99. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Another secret pocket in that one for storing your valuables, maybe. $9.99, amazing value now. Um, here you go, Christine. She knows because she's a lollipop lady. So she says, uh, one kid at school got five pound, but it's usually about one or two pounds. Oh, good. Um, I'll have to let the, the tooth fairy know. We've also got the heart clasp, remember. $9.99, your graphics are live. $9.99 for your heart clasp, amazing. And that one is this one. They are live for the heart clasp. Amazing, sorry, thank you ever so much, Cara. Just so you know, you can only get that discount when you're buying them separately. Buy them separately today. Don't get me wrong, I love the kits, they're beautiful, but today, for me, it's all about those bargains. They are bargains. <laughs> we, we didn't like expect a bargain. that. We like I a do. bargain. My friend told me off for that at the weekend, actually. She says, I love your dress, and I instantly went, oh, well, I got it in the sale that was actually in the sale of a sale because it was this, and she said, why can't you ever just say, thank you? Yeah. Like, I always have to justify that it was a real bargain because I love a bargain. I know, and we also, um, we struggle sometimes, I don't know about anybody else, but if somebody pays you a compliment. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's exactly. just instead of graciously saying thank you very much, yeah. we say, oh, well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's just in our nature, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, a bit of stitching. I hope we'll have time. We'll do a few minutes a on frame. stitching and then we'll get to the frame. Fab. I pre, pre done one ready to put in a frame because I knew that we'd. Um, sort of maybe run out of time and this is a mindful project it it's is something to sit and enjoy it's not something to rush and um, do anything like that so the stranded cotton comes with six strands so they, these are six strands of thread and you pull from the bottom end so where the label is that gives you the color number there will be an end and you pull that from that end and if you pull from that end it shouldn't not up so you don't want a massive length to stitch with and then depending I am um, played around with the number of strands so for example the stem there I actually did in four strands the side ones I did in two 
and the um, leaves there I did in three. So you would take one strand off at a time and then lay the strands back together and it means that they're not twisted. This is called um, stripping the thread. So you take one strand, you pull it and again if you do it like that it shouldn't knot up. Then take another one, pull that and then another one. And so you can have three strands and because you strip the thread, those three strands should lay parallel together. And it just gives better coverage, especially if you're doing things like um, satin stitch and everything. Mm -hmm. So this particular um, stitch that I'm going to do here, I'm going to actually use the green because it will stand out nicely. And I've got, how many strands? I've got three strands there, so that will make a nice um, firm line and I've drawn on here using the friction pen so you don't want to iron this until you finish your stitching and because I've got the interfacing on the back what I can do is actually thread the needle through the stitch uh, through the fabric on the back just a few stitches to secure rather than secure with a knot and then come through to the right side and an outline stitch is actually a stem stitch right so we're going to do a stem stitch which is where you bring your needle forward i hope you're being able to see this and you come back and have your thread always on the same side so for this one because the curve is going that way i'm actually putting my thread that way mm -hmm. so you pull your thread through again put it to one side and you can make this as long as you like or as short as you like the stitch but make it even so if you're doing it this sort of length try and make sure that you're doing it that sort of length for the whole thing so you can see it makes a nice smooth stem which is why it's called stem stitch so you can see it's very very simple very straightforward and like you said this is something that should be bit of slow stitching enjoy the process and you know it, you can do it you don't have to you're not copying you're not following a chart you're actually just stitching so it is possible to have a chat while you're doing it you're not likely to make a mistake or anything like that so you can see how quickly it grows mm. and then I wanted to show you I'll just get down to the bottom um, a couple of their detached chain stitches or lazy daisy stitches oh i like a lazy daisy we like a lazy daisy and i suppose because that's in friction pen if you're not as neat on the line it doesn't matter it doesn't matter removed. really doesn't matter and as i say because you've done that um lightweight interfacing on the back can you see it's nice and firm yeah it's not sort of flopping yeah. around all over the place so to do a uh, lazy daisy and you want your lazy daisies so these are like little leaves so you want them to really sort of grow from the stem so your needle will come up right close to um, where you've stitched before and then you'll make a circle your needle goes down through the fabric again where you've been and you'll come up you can make it very long or you can make it short but again, it's better if you can make more the same. So your needle goes into the fabric, you've got your thread and your needle is coming out through the center of where the thread is. You've got a loop like that. Don't pull it too tight, you want to keep that shape and then you do a tiny stitch to hold it in position. I'll do that again. And what you can do, you can do a tiny straight stitch in the middle of that and that could be in a different color so so this particular design uses the outline or the stem stitch lazy daisy and then french knots i'm going to show you french knots in a moment yeah a lot of people sort of struggle with french knots love french knots but it, again it's just practice and if you've got um you know before if you've not done embroidery before have a scrap of fabric at the side of you that you can um practice with and um, it's just practice and it's enjoyable. I love the book because it shows you so many different stitches um, and all the stitches that you would need to actually make any of the designs within 
the actual book. I just love embroidery. I could sit and embroider all day. So I think the one that you've got over there, the blue mm -hmm. purse that I finished, that uses the outline stitch. Also uses straight stitch. I'm going to park my needle over here and show you how you could do a straight stitch in between there. Mm -hmm. These aren't the colours necessarily that you would... Um, so again, we can go through some of the stitches that we've already stitched on the back. I've got this lovely off-white colour and you can do a straight stitch. I find it easier to actually bring my needle up in the centre of the Lazy Daisy stitch. And you know, if you've got um, the magnifiers or the lights or anything like that, they're really, really helpful. And then just a straight stitch in the centre of that Lazy Daisy. And it just creates a different feel. It gives more three-dimensional effect. Just, just during, whilst we're doing the lovely uh, mindful demonstration, there might be an alarm that goes off, just so you know. Oh, just whilst right, we're, okay. Just, do we need just to so do you know, anything? They've let us know that they're just testing the intruder alarm. None of us recognise the person who's come in to tell us to ignore the intruder. Just ignore it. We're like, <laughs> um, should we ask who he is? Oh, um, gosh. As he's just said, just there's an intruder alarm, all ignore it. It's fine. Right. So, hang on, but you could be the intruder. <laughs> Perhaps he was. I know. Perhaps he was, and he just said, laughing. "Ignore me, ignore me." <laughs> so that um, straight stitch is really nice, just for a little bit of additional. So whilst I've got my needle here with the thread on, I'm just wary of the time that I want to do a bit of um, putting the clasp in. I'm going to show you French knots. So I'll just do a French knot at random, like you do over here. So bring your needle on the right side of the fabric. Mm -hmm. And then you'll take your needle and your thread and be nice and relaxed, don't be um, tense or anything. And you'll wrap your needle, uh, the thread around your needle about three times. You can do it round once and it makes a tiny French knot. Do it round twice, makes a bigger one. Do it round three times. And you can make different size French knots by increasing the number of strands that you're working with. So I've wrapped my needle around, uh, the thread around the needle. You can see... You've left it. You've taken your hands away. I know. Because I mean, I get really tense things, when I do it. One of the things that people do with French knots is get really tense and think, mm. oh, gosh. What you want to do now is just make sure, don't pull it too tight, just pull it flat to the fabric. I think that's the secret. Pull it flat to the fabric and then pull your needle through. So keep the tension there but not too tight because you want to be able to get your needle through and then you just pull your needle through the fabric and you're left with a little knot on the front french knots are lovely i mean you can add them to so many different things can't you to oh I, I love french knots and they just make such a difference i love adding beads and things like that to um, any of my stitching but instead of a bead, if you don't, don't have a bead handy, can you see how loose that is? Now, yeah. if I tried to pull the needle through, that would make a bit of a mess. So I'm just going to actually pull that up nice and tightly and then pull it through. So that's your French knot. Right. So those are the only stitches that you would need to use. So I'll pop that to one side. I'm going to... Um, Right, got my Grab your glue. Remember, my glue. these patterns we have reduced. Um, you can get the classic coin purse, the retro mini purse, the bubble clasp purse, and the heart clasp purse, all for nine ninety nine each. Amazing value. We'll run through them at the end of the show. Don't forget, the book works in conjunction perfectly with all these, doesn't it? It does, and you just have to, um, as I say, just trace the outline of the purse and then lay that outline mm -hmm. over the designs that you're interested in mm -hmm. using on your purse. So this one you'll see that I've used um, French knots, but I've used the metallic thread. I've got that here. This is the Light Effects, the DMC oh, Light Effects Gold that's so lovely. on the top there. Um, so you'll have the front and the back. I didn't stitch the back, um, but you'll have your front and your back. You'll also have um, if you want a bit of padding, and I did padding on the other one, it just gives the purse a bit of body. Some um, H640, which is really good for mm -hmm. um, adding that. And then your lining fabric, um, which is good. And you transfer the markings 
that you have so this is your stitch line here and this is where the actual hinge of the purse is going to go okay okay so this is your purse mm -hmm. once you've constructed the purse and the instructions in the um, pack are really good for that on this has been on before so um, I know there's a couple of people that have done this before you construct it all and then you do a line of top stitching just to hold that nice and flat because that is quite firm because you've you've trimmed your H640 down to the seam line but it's still quite a lot of um, thickness there so you've got that's your purse you want to just double check that that will fit in there which it does like that so now's the stage for actually the gluing so you want to make sure you don't want to put your glue um you don't want to put the uh clasp itself the wrong way round. so if i have my clasp that way round, it wouldn't close so mm -hmm. you want to be sure that you've got your class the right way around I'm going to put the back on first so I'm going to actually put my glue within there this is just lovely glue and you've got a lovely nozzle on oh, it oh okay because this is why I like the HT2 one but yes. uh, this one's also got a good nozzle so uh, do you stick it into the frame where is it that you put so again just make sure that I haven't so that's I'm going to be doing the back first so I'm going to actually hoping that you can get this this is non-toxic option as well isn't it yeah this to me is it's not like, smelly um, no not at all it's it's just very tacky it's just like pva yeah, glue but right. it glues metal and fabric together so i'm just going to should have had it upside down and then it would have right okay so i'm just squeezing a line of glue out like that don't worry if you get it on the frame because it 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 dries clear and you can peel that off oh afterwards. that's good so i'm just going to do it now what you would normally do is leave this for 15 minutes or so or up to 15 minutes not um longer than that remember to keep putting your nozzle back on and um i used a cocktail stick and you can just spread so you want the glue to go on both sides of the frame just so you know, that high tack two is about to, I think it has sold out in fact, actually. The other one's really good. It's the other one that um, Lisa Lamb uses. It is a solvent glue, so just be aware. Um, it, it's whatever your preference is, but this also has got that really nice long nozzle, really good for bag making. Um, that's your Guterman HT2. So if you've got any excess glue, now's the time to take it off. You want enough glue on there, but you don't want it to sort of come out Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to leave that just to dry for a bit. And then we'll talk about the twine. So the twine is included and it's like a raffia that you can unwrap. Okay. And this is to make the actual join between oh, scissors. Between the handle and the fabric. So we're going to cut a piece across there and then so you cut for top and bottom and then side to side I'm just going to do a couple of because I know we're running out of time couple at the side oops couple at the other side okay so again make sure that you've got the right part and I'm now going to turn that over turn my bag over and I'm going to you would leave it a little bit longer than I've left it but you're going to pop that actually into the frame and you can see that goes in really really easily you want to make sure that you're really pushing that fabric up so that it is in contact with the glue. You make this so easy, Cara. Oh. I always think, oh, this is gonna be really fiddly and it doesn't look it at all. <laughs> and then you'll take your piece of raffia and you can either do it with the awl or with a old screwdriver, nick this from home, whichever is easiest. And it just helps you push that in. I'm going to use the end of the screwdriver. 
so that goes between the frame and the glue and the fabric takes a little bit of fiddling I would normally hold it up but I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing so why does that go in there so it goes so there's a bit of a gap between the fabric and the frame and you want to be sure that that gap is as tight as it can be so depending on the fabric that you're using um, you know I've used linen and cotton but if you've got um, you know really fine cotton this really really helps secure it you might have some silk that you've used or something like that and it just means that as that glue dries it dries round that raffia and keeps it nice and secure so you want that not to be seen. So that goes on the inside and then you do the two side ones. So again, pop that in. Just takes a little bit of fiddling to start with. Nikki, have you learned more today than you normally have done then recently? She just keeps saying, I've learned so much today. <laughs> well, she's had Kerry as well. So you've been inundated with technical stuff. That's such, no, but that's hilarious because that's what my friend said as well. My friend was watching and, and he said, why do you keep saying colorways? What's colorways? And I was like, colors, like the colorways. But actually, I never even thought that that sounds strange. Colors, different colors. Yeah, color options. Maybe it just makes more sense if I say these are different color options, but I don't know why we all say colorways. It's, yeah. Yeah, there you go, Nikki. And then do the other side. I've lost my little bit. Here we go. And you'll do that, you'll leave that then. Go and have a cup of tea, go and cut something else out, go and do a bit of sewing. Um, you'll leave that to dry before you actually do the other side. Right. Amazing. So that's in there like that. That went in very easily. Amazing, love it. Okay. That is so cute, isn't it? And you can see, actually, I've got a little bit of glue actually attached, but once that's dry, that will come off. Oh, so can you just scratch it off the purse frame as yes. well? Yeah, yeah, it will come off, wipe off nicely. Yeah. Brilliant, thank you so, so much. It's good to see that on air, actually, because a lot of times you think, oh, it's, you know, it takes a bit of time to show on air, but it's worth to show it's, it's definitely, it's and I wanted to be able to sort of show that bit. So once that's all dry, then you'll do the front and then that's it complete. Amazing. Thank you so, so much for demystifying it. <laughs> um, love it, love it, love it. When are you back on with us? Uh, 27th of April. 27th. Oh, I'm yeah. with you. Oh, excellent. I'm with excellent. you. I will Lovely. see you then. Lovely. Uh, thank you, Cara. As always, amazing. And um, uh, yeah, now hopefully everybody's going to have a go at these purse frames because we've done a reduction, don't forget. The one that Cara was working with was the classic coin purse. It comes with that really, really lovely gold colourway um, clasp. Or just colour option. The gold colour option. Different colour, it's in gold, £9.99 for you. Classic coin purse instructions, pattern and purse class and your raffia twine as well. £9.99 today, it's supposed to be £12.99. Hannah just decided willy-nilly to take it lower today. So it's only for today, just because, because, because of the wonderful things she does. <laughs> Nine, thank you for the laugh, Cara. Thank you. Nine ninety nine. That's your classic coin purse. Supposed to be and will be twelve ninety nine next time. It's only for today. We also have the bubble clasp. Love the bubble clasp. This is so cute, isn't it? Make multiple. Make to sell. If you're making, uh, you know, a multiple for weddings, uh, we just thought that reduction helps. So not only do you have your instructions, you also have your clasp that fits that particular instruction and uh, and pattern. Because don't get me wrong, I've seen these that you can buy them individually, but. Then you're having to do the maths, trying to work out the size of the fabric you need to cut to be able to fit your frame. Whereas this all works, doesn't it? Perfect. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? Always, it's always been fourteen ninety nine. Always been fourteen ninety nine. Um, we also have the heart. Very popular. There it is, made up. 
It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Christine says, somebody asked me what I meant when I said her dress was very autumnal. I said autumnal, autumn colours and she said that she was very confused. Autumnal, yeah, we say autumnal as well. Nikki, would you say that? This is autumnal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, £9.99. Use this as a clutch. Um, you could use this with lots of different fabrics like leather or even as a little petite hand, uh, little handbag. It's really pretty. All your instructions, everything that you need on the back as well. Today, 9.99. Loads of those are in baskets. Five pounds off that one. Um, we also took this one really low. And this is the really cute retro one. Oh, it's lovely. Um, it's like, uh, I just, it just because I, uh, uh, Poppy got me a lovely little handbag for Maisie yesterday and I thought this would be so sweet for a little girl's first purse or uh, in the polka dot fabric it works particularly well. If you've got any nice vintage fabrics with like shell buttons I'm thinking and, and lace it would look gorgeous. Going out to afternoon tea just to put your little uh, your keys in or something it's lovely because nowadays like Bruce said look we don't all take loads of things out of this anymore maybe it's all on your phone or you have watch even that's got how you pay for things and stuff i still need my keys i still need a little bag to have my keys uh, uh, oh tissues hannah said i still need a bag because where would i wipe my nose i was like <laughs> On your tissues, Hannah, that are in the back. Nine pounds ninety-nine. And it's really cute, isn't it? The retro frame really adds to it. I love that. And it's exactly the same elements as what we were talking about with Cara of how to put it. I know Chrissy, Chrissy's put those purses are so cute. Love them. Um, prices will go back up tonight, midnight tonight, so definitely make the most of it. Um, remember, when they're in the bundle, that's the price. We can't alter those. But if you want them individually, you've got them at a reduced price today. It means so you can make more than one. Also, the book. Oh, that one went with that one. Um, the same designer as the purse frames basically this is from Zaka workshop and it's got lovely techniques in here so not only do you have all of these beautiful uh, sort of Japanese inspired in uh, lovely floral prints you've got birds you've got cats you've got all sorts so not only can you use these templates for bags because it does have nine uh, bag designs in here as well but you can use these inspire it for for lots of different lots of different projects. You, there's, the, yeah, there's lots and lots of instructions in there. Um, Fifteen pounds ninety nine. Over half the books have now gone. Amazing. Right, we're going to get Kerry back on. We're already late. Sorry. Don't go anywhere, though, because we've got the most amazing brand new sewing pattern. All of Kerry's show was a sellout first time around. And we've got one final treat. Another brand new, oh, in fact, I'm going to tell you, brand new Moda Charm Pack. Do not go anywhere. Stay. I oh, know she's saying, stop telling all my secrets on the telly. Uh, stay exactly where you are. We're back with Kerry after this. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Hello, my name is Yvette and I live in Greater Manchester in a place called Chatterton. I like to do a variety of things. I quilt, I do EPP, I make lots of bags and purses, most anything. I haven't tried FPP yet, but fingers crossed I might have an opportunity. Why I want to win? Hmm. To show the people who have supported me, encouraged me, and praised me and had faith in me that it might just be the time when I start to have a little bit of faith in myself. 
Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm originally from Manchester, moved to Wales about 12 years ago. We now live just outside Cardiff. I live with my lovely husband Andrew and my fabulous cat Percy. I sew memory bears. Um, I have a family comforts business with my daughter and my husband helping me too. Sewing Street's a fabulous place to be part of um, and I would love people to vote for me so that I can come here and show people the passion that I have for sewing. Um, and give you all my hints and tips, which I love to do, because I think as a crafter, you can never, ever stop learning. Thank you. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. I'm Emily, I'm from Barnsley in South Yorkshire. Um, I make bags, cushions, um, I like to do some dressmaking and dabble in a little bit of quilting as well. I applied for the Search for a Sewing Star competition because I absolutely love to teach and inspire others to sew and that's why I would like to win. I would love to be the next um, Sewing Street Sewing Star. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi, my name is Ruth Springer and I'm from London. I am a designer and maker. I applied for this competition because I just wanted a new adventure and I had no expectations of where it would take me and I'm just delighted that I've reached the final. I'd love to come back and share some of my projects with you and continue this adventure. So thank you. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, so I'm Sarah. I come from Hassex, just out the back of Brighton, down in West Sussex and I sew dressmaking, I do patchwork, I do home furnishings. If you can sew it, I sew it. I teach a lot of people face to face and, and show all of my tips and tricks as I go along. And I decided that to come onto Sewing Street and be able to share those with a greater audience would be a really fun thing to do. So I just really want to show you all of what I know and um, try and help you be the best sewer you can be. I knew you'd all be back waiting for our next, I was gonna say manager special, this is just a Hannah amazing steal of a deal. So basically, um, I didn't really know this, but apparently in the sort of business says it's the start of a new financial year. 
I didn't know this, but basically it means that we now, our buying team, are allowed to go, yeah, I can get this, 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 isn't it? So loads of stuff is arriving in, basically, which is really exciting. There was a shipment yesterday. Um, no, I didn't really know that, no. So um, I was really, really pleased anyway when it means that we get treats that have come in. So we've got a brand new Moda charm pack. Now I've seen this collection, I personally haven't, but I've seen it on the show, um, but never in a charm pack like this. So these are your five inch squares. Now five inch squares allow you to do so much um, different, different kinds of sewing. I mean, you can stitch them together and do patchwork quilts, um, you can, cut them in half, do half triangles. I'm just explaining to Nikki because she's learning about a charm pack today as well. So basically the, the reason you'd buy a charm pack is because it would be really expensive if you were to go to Moda, who's the, the, the company who makes this, and buy every single one of these prints in a half metre cut. Whereas this gives you a snippet in to every single print from the collection and you can make so much with it. Don't see them as just small squares. As soon as you've sewn them together, you can make your own huge piece of fabric that you then can cut into uh, for handbags, you can make uh, you could make cushions with it, you could even make really lovely little notions like what we're, we're doing today with Kerry. As soon as you sort of stitch them together, they're lovely spring colours as well. Oh, thank you so much for everybody who's got involved in our little steel deals today because, um, yeah, everything's been selling very, very quickly. These have gone straight into baskets. It's such a spring colourway, isn't it? Such a spring colourway. You've got beautiful blues, pinks, greens. It's a very, um, it reminds me of a lovely country kitchen as well. A bit Kath Kidson esque, would you say? Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Look, you've got gingham print spots in there. You've got really lovely ditzy florals. I'm thinking for smaller notions as well for your sewing room. You could make little storage baskets or something, couldn't you? Bunting! That is an ideal size for your bunting, isn't it? You say mini bunting. I think, I say big enough bunting. <laughs> <laughs> Honey was like, oh yeah, mini bunting. No, it wouldn't be mini bunting. That's good size, isn't it? Patch them together, make your purses from the last hour, get your uh, discounted frames. There's still some available, but isn't that lovely? All of your sort of top colorways as well. I am excited for picnics, little picnic baskets. Oh, a bit of alfresco dining. Make yourself some little placemats. Oh, they're absolutely adorable. And because they're all pinked, the edges of them, uh, you're not, you're not going to have to worry too much about fraying. Um, so even if you don't know exactly what you're going to use this for yet. I think lots of people are hopefully going to be doing nice mug little rugs. garden parties. What's that? Mug rugs. Perfect mug, rugs. mug rugs. Yeah, ideal for a mug rug. Little coasters. But um, anybody who's doing street parties, garden parties this summer, just because we can, just because we can. Hence why I did Maisie a first birthday party. Because I could, I was like, do you know what? It, for years we've been all stuck in and not been able to get together. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm having an ice cream van. Come to the house. <laughs> I love your ice cream van, that's oh, lovely. And what lovely pictures as well, I I'll have to show you. I'll put them on the Facebook fan page later for you because our email wasn't working very well this morning. So I'll, I'll put them on the Facebook page for you to see. But I am thinking picnic blankets. This is so cute, isn't it? Stitch them together. $14.99, garden parties for the Jubilee, absolutely gorgeous. So just wanted to let you know that they are available today at $14.99, great price for Moda quality. There's a lot of quilters that come in and solely buy Moda from us because of the, I mean, they, they, they're superb quality fabrics. Are we ready for another Salon show? Yes, this is gonna be brilliant. So, um, Kerry, do you want to show everybody what it is before we do the kits? Because you saw what happened last time, it just, everything <laughs> flew out. And this is brand new, hot off the this press. This is brand new, this is new, this so, is new to us. Well, there's two kits, There's really, two different there? kits, but it's one project that it makes of. Right, go on, talk me through. So, I've now sewn the handle on, I've forgotten, I 
forgot to do that so we've now got an attached handle which is great but it's been designed it was the last pattern that we produced in the fabulously fast fat quarter fun series and what we found throughout the series is people were asking for somewhere nice to keep the patterns and to keep all of the small templates secure so we made a little bit of a folder uh, cover with your little handle so it looks like a little briefcase um, you have got your step by steps in there for popping all the additional details onto the front if you want to. This is secured by hook and loop, so everything in there is nice and secure. And when you open this oh, up. Oh, this is so good. I love vinyl. I just love vinyl. I like easy access. I've proved in the earlier hour I need uh, to be able to see what's organized. inside there. Absolutely. So it's nice and organised. We've got the clear vinyl pocket there, which is secured by a zip, so you can keep your threads. Great place to keep your stitch on picker, so it's not getting lost and tucked inside your pockets. Um, it will fit an A4 folder. And then on the back there, then we've got um, another two pockets, one that's easily accessible. I've got my stitch on picker pens, pencils in there. And for anything that you want to keep secure in here, like a little pair of scissors and maybe some more pens, again, you've got the hook and loop on the back there and that's nice and secure and that just closes with the um, hook and loop there and then the second part of the project now this is optional you might prefer to just keep your patterns inside a normal uh, clear A4 folder but what I really wanted to do especially as our patterns have developed we've got lots of small pieces and it's very easy to lose those You've got a pocket, again, clear pocket here, so you can see which issue or which pattern you're working with. And that just sits in there, nice, easily accessible. And then on the inside again... <gasps> oh, this is good. We've used a hook and loop again. So if you've got small patterns, if you like applique and you've got little tiny pieces, they will sit in there nice and snug and keep all your patterns in there. It's great for your dressmaking patterns as well. And that just secures with your hook and loop. So the first part of the... the one project is for the um, folder pattern and then if you wanted to make those clear envelope pockets we've got a second kit available for you as well sorry i should have warned you they've got a thing about velcro it was the sound oh, oh really <laughs> <laughs> i love it oh, oh you love it i was gonna say oh gosh i just want to no keep good opening thing. did you not hear me get very excited right should we do it again should we do Go it again on. oh <laughs> Right, Chrissy says I love Hannah these colours. I laughing from here. I oh, know, she's been giggling <laughs> at me. Um, oh, Chrissy says absolutely love this project. It's beautiful and so useful. The colours are stunning and so vibrant. We have got this colourway. We're about to launch it. Are you ready? Let's do it. And this is the end of an era. This is the very last oh, edition that's of the fast back quarter fun. Oh, for, now, for now. For now. <laughs> for now. For now. Okay. That's what we're saying. We we might start it again, but for now. Oh, it's amazing. But right. yeah, you were there for our first I was. issue. I was here. I remember right in lockdown. You I mean, were you crazy. launched it, didn't you? Because we did. were in lockdown, so we were watching you launch it. So it's quite it's, it's crazy. quite good that you're here as well today. I remember seeing the video of you. We were remember Hannah. It might have been the day that I burnt the. Um, what did I burn the bacon and made them smell the whole of... I think that was the day that we launched Fabulous Fat Quarter. <laughs> we used to have breakfast and all sorts together. Even now, I don't have time. Right, so these, I must say as well, look, they're folded so beautifully. You have included everything. everything. This everything is a jam-packed kit. Loads have already gone. This is the Liberty option, by the way. Susie Duncan says, love, love, love the bag. Great way to carry my holiday projects. Yes. Oh, good idea. Susie's Absolutely. always on holiday. Um, Christine Susie. said, oh, fantastic with holidays. I, um, I'm always taking something with me. Yeah. There you go. Um, what's the, what width is the hook and loop on the clear wallet? Um, I actually in the kit we've included um, there you go. 25 millimeter but what I've actually done in the patterns is just cut that in half okay so I have used 25 millimeter and I've just cut that to make that nice and slim so that's about half it half an inch there in this kit remember it's not for the plastic folders in the middle it's um, for all the outer, basically, of your pattern folder. Yeah. Um, you can then use your own folders if you want. So you've got Liberty. I mean, that's loads of Liberty in mm. there. Half a metre. Half, half a metre of Liberty. You've, you've got, got half a metre of you've Liberty. You've got half a metre of Liberty and half a metre of the Batik as Batique, well. Batik, half a metre. And look at that. It complements perfectly. <gasps> I just love that colour. <gasps> Fantastic. You've got your white on white. You've got interfacing. You've got clear vinyl. You've got your zip. I'm rushing through this because it's about to sell out. You've got your hook and loop. We've got more people in baskets than we've got availability. If you do want the Liberty colourway, that is about to go. You've got your wadding as well. And of course, jam-packed. 
huge amount of um, info, yeah. Uh, templates. Template. But, I was thinking uh, yeah. there's a lot of templates in Loads this one. Loads of templates, all of your information, all of your instructions step by step are all included there. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I really hope you get it. Great bag. Um, looks big enough with internal adaptations for music as well. Yep. That's Derek. Is it a oh, pianist? Oh, Derek, I like it. Send us some more ideas. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, what about like recipes? Yeah. I'll, give, I'll make Craig one. He does all the cooking for us, so I'll make Craig one for his recipes. Oh, I love. I just love it. It's a sewing project thing for on the move. Like you could put your hexes, your EPP bits, yeah. can't you? Now that it's got a handle. But also, yeah, how many other teachers yeah. who go to work? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, a folder of, of bits and bobs. Oh, my my daughter. When I was making the sample up last week, she's already, um, you know, she's already decided this one is for her this year, and she does textiles, so she wants all her little bits for textiles, but. More importantly, she wanted the um, the clear folders to put the notes in from the teacher because she said, I never lose any of my fabric and I never lose any of my other bits because she's got lots of different bits, but she keeps losing the notes. Oh, okay. So she wanted it to keep all her notes together Fab. with the project. So I thought, oh, that's a nice idea, I, I love actually. that there's lots of different ideas coming through. Um, now, I'm not going to open this out because this colourway is really limited. There's la literally three left to be checked out and there's way more of you have got it in your basket. I'm so sorry. We definitely need more of these as well. I know the Lotus bag and the, the Lotus bag and the accessory roll. We're we'll, going to bring them back yeah. in May. 10th of May we'll bring them back. 10th of May. Um, isn't this beautiful as well? This fabric is oh, I stunning. I, I just love this fabric. It's just so summery. Oh, Nikki likes this one. This is the one that Nikki's going for. It's also got the white on white. It's got the half a meter of batik. So, where do we, what do we use the clear vinyl for in this? So the clear vinyl is for that that pocket on the front there. Brilliant. So and you we've cut that to size, so you won't need to clip or do anything with it. We've actually cut that particular piece exactly to size for you. Sold out. Sold out. Right. So that's the the pattern folder. Now, obviously, if you manage to get those kits, if you were lucky enough to get those kits. Do you want to make your own folders? Um, I suppose, look, even if you missed out on the kits today, stay tuned because we'll speak to our team and see if we can get more yeah. of those in. We have got instructions on their own as well. So you might want to make your own and, and, and get your own bits and bobs. But if you do want, we have to show you these because they're going, they're going, half the stock's gone. Um, so these work with obviously your A4 folders. So even if you want to make yourself some really useful little inserts for any of your A4 folders at home, I know, Chris East just says they sell out so quickly. It's so exciting. Right, so <laughs> how many folders can I make with this? You'll have enough from the vinyl to make two of the folders, but you'll have, I cut them all up just to check, you've actually got enough in the two fat quarters to make five. Okay. The, so in your folders, you've got the, it's just all binding really that's going around this. Um, for the clear vinyl and working it out, that a half metre you'll get two folders out of there. So if you want to make more of these, you might want to um, either have the extra kits or get yourself some extra clear vinyl to go with those. Oh, yeah, I mean, we need more vinyl now, don't we? This is amazing. Um, also, you get your eyelets. You get your eyelet Included in, in the kit? Included in the kit. Everything's <gasps> there for you. That's so good. You get your eyelets as well. Everything is there. Um, don't forget, you get your instructions, you get your templates, any templates that you need, um, and your lovely fabrics as well, which are that beautiful sort of mottle effect. It gives you the look of batik again, doesn't it? I love the marble print. We've We've used this marble print in a lot of our kits. I absolutely love it. In fact, that's why I've decided to work with the batik. So I thought I might need to change it up a bit, yeah. but I do love the marble print. Yes. Oh, it always I just works. like plain colours, but I like it to have a little bit of print as well, a little bit of a wow factor to go with it. Um, over half the stock of these have gone. Check out, check out, check out as soon as you can. Um, so the instructions on their own, we have available for the folders and also for the pattern folder. Um, do you want to do the main one? So this is your main folder cover. And did you say that it's also got uh, a bit of instructions of how to do the decorative bits on the front? Yeah, so what we've done, if I just find it, um, what we've got on your templates and how I talk you through this as well is we've done the additional templates. So you've just got your little hexes here 
and then this when you come to put this together I won't do it in the demo but we've done that specifically so when you place oh, this yeah. over the top mm -hmm. and you've got your full instructions that you can see the writing and you can see the placement so you're getting those um, centrally as well making sure that that's not coming into contact with your binding but you can again just use your fabric pen just to doodle over there and then you've got your guideline for your writing and your hexi placement. Brilliant. £9.99 for your pattern on its own and as I said this is a hefty pattern. You've got a lot of patterns there's a lot of in there. <laughs> Nine, I think there's nine A, yeah, there is because I folded a lot of them. Nine A4, and nine A3 pieces of template patterns. There you there. go, brilliant. So that's all included, plus all of your instructions as well. Um, nine pounds and 99 pence. All of everything that you need, by the way, is listed on the back as well. So if you are going through your stash, raiding your stash, then yeah, you can have a look on the back and find out what you need. The instructions for the clear A4 folder pattern inserts are here um, so once again all that you need is two fat quarters uh, you'll have plenty to make several of your clear uh, pattern pockets half a meter of clear vinyl um, yeah I mean there's some lovely vinyls out there I know you've bought the I love glittery, glittery ones vinyl. and I really wanted to include glittery vinyl but we just didn't manage to get it in stock in time so I really would have liked to have had the clear vinyl but I know that you stock that as well but yeah I mean originally I had the glittery vinyl which I really it's worth having a bit of a search on the website and see if there are any clear vinyl. If we don't uh, have any, we'll definitely try and get it in stock for you soon. But grab your pattern. This is only six ninety nine, so it's a nice little addition. If you manage to get uh, Carrie's, you know, the main pattern, grab that one. But, I mean, everything again is going to sell out, so just be aware uh, the stocks are limited. Shall we dive into a bit of a, a demo? Shall we start? Yeah. And then we've got some other little bits of bobs. We've got some zips. We've got some skeins, which we can talk through as we go. Okie dokie. So if we start with, we'll start with the clear vinyl pocket on the front. Um, and as I mentioned and Vicky showed you, there is lots of templates in here. So because there's so many templates, the thing that I would recommend doing is to just keep that. I mean, you can see I've double ticked myself so I know that I've actually cut them out. Um, if you just start by trimming all of your pieces and keeping your templates with them, because I do refer like all of our patterns to each of the pieces. Um, each of the pieces. Now this was originally done to go with fat quarters and it looks fabulous with fat quarters. You'll see the photos throughout the instruction booklet where I've made this with fat quarters. Um, but we've changed the template so it is now just from your two half meters and you'll have some to play with for your stash as well. So the first thing is we're going to use, if I just have a little quick reference at that, the two P pieces and that's for your zipper on your clear pocket here. What we're going to do is to just fold these in half and just give those a little press. We're just checking to see if we've got any clear vinyl. I'll update you in just a second. I haven't got it physically here to show you, but I think we might have it by the half meter. So if we do, then watch out for your graphics to come live. And then all I'm doing is making this into binding pieces. So just pressing those into that center folded edge there and just giving that another little press. And I'll repeat the same on the second one. And this we attach to the top of the vinyl and to the zip as well. Yeah, there you go. We have got your um, clear up vinyl and that's a half meter piece for £2.99. So, you know, obviously if you've got these kits, you've got enough of the, the marble fabric in there. Yeah, so your marble fabric, you'll get five of the clear pockets and you need half meter to make two of the clear pockets. There you go, so if you add a couple more units to your order, what are you looking for? I've put the clips somewhere, the quilting clips, I must have tidied up. Have you got them You've probably tidied before? up too, too well. Oh, they're um, here, they're here. Oh, you got them. I was trying, uh, go on, sorry. I was trying to be efficient and tidy up after myself. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've lost what I actually need. So one of these is going to go on the top of your vinyl, and we're just going to clip that into position. And then the second one goes on the top of that zip there and we're just sandwiching that between to secure that into position. So we'll start by doing the one on the vinyl. So I'm just going to sew across there with a zigzag stitch and a nice wide zigzag stitch as well. In fact, I'm not sorry, it's a straight stitch on this one. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm thinking of another project. Now, sewing through vinyl, do you need to do anything in particular on your machine? So you will find that um, a change in your needle. What needle do we need to change to? A leather needle, I had to think then. 
So you may find working with a leather needle will make it easier to sew through that vinyl. So that's the only thing that I'd recommend to do. Um, at a, when you're sewing um, the pocket, because there's a lot more of your vinyl that's resting on, you might find that that tries to hold onto the metal plate, so you can use a Teflon foot for that. Let's see how we get on. Right, we've not the actual sewing itself though, you're not actually really sewing onto the vinyl because you've got the fabric The fabric's it. in between, so for this it's fine. Uh, it looks like the zipper foot's not in here, so I'll just keep the standard foot on. But in your pattern it will mention to use your zipper foot. So all I'm going to do is sew nice and close to that zip. Um, zips do come included by the way, but if you are making multiple, uh, then we've got the seven inch zips, the bright seven colours. Seven inch zips, yeah. These bright colours are lovely. We're always out of stock of zips, aren't we? So it's definitely worth stocking up, especially if you're working with any of these lovely bright colours that we've seen today. Um, the floral fabrics, uh, the liberties as well. You've got yellow, pink, purple, blue, rainbow colours seven inch zips and they're only £3.99 that's really good price especially you know if you've bought something today and you've paid your post and packaging already that's just to add to your order isn't it at that price good for your stash good for your stash to have them in fact just whilst I'm here don't do anything more Kerry can I show you these ones as well because look at how pretty these are for spring oh you do find the most beautiful things Kerry <laughs> aren't they lovely I Pack get so very easily distracted colours. and then feel like we need to share them share them around all the lovely finds we find on our oh, travel. Oh, nice! So you've got all five seven inch zips. Now these are ideal for, um, well, for lots of projects actually without having to trim them down constantly. Yeah, so we've, we've brought those ones along today to work with this kit, but they're great on, you know, little zippers. Maybe yeah. you're making some little zip purse. And of course you can always trim those down if yeah. you want to, or put some tabs and extend them on yeah. the bags if you need them a little bit longer. Absolutely, so your pack of five pastels, just £3.99. Just thought I'd let you know that they're there. As we are approaching Easter and spring, I love those. They look nice with your mode of grace actually. They'd make nice little bags wouldn't they for Easter gifts. So all I'm doing here and again I'm just using uh, the standard sewing machine foot. I'm not sure where that little zipper foot is so I'm sewing halfway across. So what we're wanting to do is to secure the vinyl to the top of that zipper there and just create that really easy pocket. We do also have the set of black and white zips as well. They're also from Kerry Living in Love and in Us. If you just want plain, um, I love the rainbow. I love the rainbow, but I also, and the pastel, but I know it's also useful just to have for your stash whilst we're doing our stash building uh, phone call. If you are on the phone to the customer service team, just to let you know, there is also plain black, seven inch zips, and also white. Sorry to interrupt you there, Kerry. That's okay, I'm just um, tidying this little build. So all I've done now is place this onto the, the one pocket. So this is the left pocket on the center of the um, project. And all I've done is just pop that straight on top so we get to see that lovely print of the fabric as well. This is where we use the zigzag stitch. So just to secure that pocket into place, I'm just going to sew along the top of that bind in there and just use a zigzag stitch. One, it'll look nice and decorative, but two, it just makes sure anything that you've popped into that folder isn't going to escape out of there. And I do like getting the most from the fabric and showing off uh, the lovely fabrics that come with the kits and the patterns as well. So what I've done here is we've just got a piece of fabric that's going to create the binding on there. And it is a, just a small piece of fabric, so I'm not going to press that. So I'm just folding this in half, aligning those raw edges here, and we're just going to sew that into place. And the reason I chose the binding is whenever I'm doing a double hem, I can't help but want to press it. And of course, we've got that vinyl in there. Ah, so you we don't want to get your eye in there. Yeah, we wouldn't want to spoil or stretch or, um, or put a hole into that. So that's why we're finishing this side off with the binding. Have you got any plans for Easter weekend? We are, we're going away this weekend. Oh, so I nice. know, oh, can't wait. Where are you going? I can't, can't wait. Um, so we're going away with my brother and his wife and their children. Oh, lovely. Um, and we're going down uh, 
down towards Southampton. Oh, so nice. we're going to spend some time with those and switch off our phones. Yeah. And it good. will just be wonderful. Good. How about yourself? Have you got your first um, Easter egg hunt? Well, this is it, yeah. I thought, <laughs> I hadn't even thought about it really. And then people started bringing in like little Easter presents. And I was like, oh my word, it's Easter. Like, do you need something? I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. I am off. So an maybe I'll go and find egg. an Easter egg, egg hunt. Yeah. A nice Easter egg hunt. So all we're going to do is push the binding over to the back now and just clip that into position. Just making sure that that folded edge is sitting just beyond that stitch line there. And then we're going to sew that into place. And again, you know, don't add any heat to this. I naturally would want to give this a little press. Um, and in the earlier era, I had the roll and hem on, which is why I really like it. Because I've found that most recently I'm doing a lot more projects um, with with vinyl so it's quite nice if you are you know you want to press your projects yeah and it's actually really handy like you look at it and you think well how much can that actually do but it is oh, really effective it isn't really it? is yeah it talking really about the is. Uh, clover roll and press it's really good so that's the first side of one of your pockets that's ready to go now you can sew this into place if you want to but a few clips on there and we'll pin that into position a little bit later now the path, the other side, we've got the hook and loop and the little flap there to secure that into position. So all of the measurements, how far up you're going to position this onto the lining part of your flap, all of those measurements are in there. But I'll just go, I'll go by eye. Have I got some pins yet? So the first thing we're going to do is to just pop the loop onto the lining side of the flap there. I'll just secure that with one pin. So just sewing that into position using a straight stitch. There's a bit of a gap isn't there between where the sort of loop is and the edge of the tape. Do you yes. just want to sew on that edge of the loop? Um, yes, exactly. Yeah, it's about an eighth of an inch and that will just rest on there quite nicely. <laughs> no idea what that was that just fell. Oh. <laughs> so sewing all the way around and as Vicky mentioned just on that edge there just to secure it into place and I've kept my stitch at 2.5 so this is nice and close because I don't know about you but when something's in a pocket and something like this you know you're in and out in and out that pocket getting something we want it to be mm -hmm. nice and secure. Yeah, Christine said this is great for workshops, isn't it? Yes, yeah. That's a lovely idea. And then for the flap of the pocket, we've got your exterior fabric there. Now, just be um, aware if you are using a pattern direction. Normally, actually, we put the pattern direction which way you're going to, uh, you know, you need to cut that, but we haven't on this one. So um, just be very aware about the pattern direction with that flap and you'll be able to see clearly in the photos as well. Baff has got a good tip for vinyl. Top tip, if your clear vinyl has creases in it when it arrives, heat up your wool pressing mat or your ironing board mm. using a hot iron, then take your iron away, lie, lie your vinyl on and your creases will come out. So you don't ever want to put your, your iron directly onto it, but heat your ironing board up and then put your that's a good, that's a that's really a good very idea. good tip. Yeah, thanks uh, for that, Buffer. Thank you very much. So I've just placed this on top pattern facing now and I'm just sewing around that exterior raw edge. It's all the little tips, isn't it, that makes the, the world of difference, really, because I wouldn't have thought to do that, actually. Yeah, that's really good idea. And, you know, the way we have to fold it when it goes into a kit or you know, your orders, etc. It is naturally going to get creases in there. I always wonder whether you could put a hairdryer on it. I've never tried that. No, I like Baffer's idea best. We'll stay with Baffer's, I think. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's tried and tested. Yeah. <laughs> so just cutting around on that corner, you can snip into the corners there and just on there. So we'll turn this the right way out now. Has the pattern inserts, the, uh, the folders have sold out. Right, just so you know, if you want the pattern individually, that's completely gone. 
if you want this kit that comes with your two marble fabrics, your clear vinyl, your eyelets, your instructions and your patterns for 19 99 then there are literally a handful of those left. I say a handful, like we've got more in baskets than they have availability. We don't have these fabrics separately, they're only in this kit. Um, and the instructions on their own have now sold out. Just so you're aware before I pack it away because this is also about to sell out. So all I've done is just turn this the right way out and for now I'm just going to sew around the curve of the pocket because we'll sew along the top raw edge in a little while when we secure this into place. Oh I didn't mention you also get um, your hook and loop in with your um, pattern inserts don't you? Yeah everything's in there. Perfect. And it's useful as well, you know, even if you're just using perhaps an A4 fold that you've got yourself. Yeah. And you're not if doing you, the whole cover, yeah. You know, if you've, especially for your pattern pieces, because sometimes there's just so many little pieces, you know, you, that you end up losing a few. So it's just really useful for that as well. So we've got, in, and on your templates as well, so if you have a little look at this template, it tells you actually where to put your hook and where to put your loop and talks you all through. So this is the larger pocket on the inside of the folder and you can either use the template as your guide, but again, your measurements are in there as well, how far to put your hook and loop down um, onto your project. So we'll sew the loop into position. And then for the two pockets, I just love this batik, it's just so beautiful. So I've gone for uh, the batik on the larger pocket and then that lovely floral print. So I'll sew this into place and then on the smaller pocket, let's just straighten that up. Give those a double hem as well. Susie so said to put your um, clear vinyl on a warm radiator, stretch it over a warm mm. radiator and that'll get your creases out if you don't have a wall pressing mat. Thank you Susie. Susie, is it nearly, nearly foraging time? I said there's some great bushes near where I live that I'm sure are going to have lots of berries on. We decided to be really... It was, a, it was a great idea in the morning and walk into work yesterday. In my head, it was going to take 45 minutes and I had all the energy for it. It took an hour and 40 minutes. <gasps> oh, no! But all I could think about when I was walking, the same way I'd normally drive, is... Gosh, I didn't realise how beautiful it was. And I couldn't stop thinking about Susie thinking she would be in her element foraging oh, yeah, around foraging. here. I just thought she would be in her element. I did think about being um, influenced by Susie, but I was so exhausted I just didn't, ha <laughs> didn't, didn't have the um, attention span to pay attention to, I, to anything. <laughs> I thought it was a seasonal thing, foraging, but apparently there's always something to forage, Susie just said. What are we foraging at the minute then, Susie? We have got a lovely eucalyptus tree by me that I keep um, promising. Take, yeah. Oh, I, oh, do you take I take my secateurs out on my walk with me <laughs> and just do a vase of uh, eucalyptus. It, is, it isn't somebody's garden. It isn't in somebody's garden. It is a communal eucalyptus tree. <laughs> I love that you're that organised. Well, I'm not at all. I just, yeah. I'm always really happy when an extra flower arrives in our garden. You know, we had some bluebells this year, and I know oh. we haven't planted any, so I'm like, oh, that's nice. See, I love that. There's a lovely bluebell walk near here, actually. Yeah. That I'm going to go on in May. Oh, you have so many lovely things to look forward <laughs> to. I miss doing all these things. My children will come and do it now, but they, they grunt at me quite a lot as they walk around, like, how long is it till dinner? Oh. And just sewing across those double hems. My youngest still loves doing things like that. And I think my daughter tries to pretend she does. Oh, <laughs> I know she's lovely. Susie said, I'm on the hunt for twisted hazel for my Easter tree. Oh. Susie does a whole display in her window every season. She changes it uh, for people to look at. So, yeah, an Easter tree as well. Do people do Easter trees? Oh, we do, yeah. <gasps> you do an Easter tree? Yeah. Is it like one of those twig trees with like uh, decorations on yeah, it? Yeah, and we, you know, I mean, when when we would when our children was younger, we would do it all in the garden and have decorations hanging in the garden for, you know, a lovely Easter egg hunt, and it was wonderful. Oh, this is so exciting! I've got to do all this. So all I've done now is just place the larger of the pockets flat onto the opposite side. So this is the part where your folder hooks into, mm -hmm. and you've got your smaller pocket as well. And the next thing I'm going to do, so if you do want to have um, 
So in mine, if I just get the folder actually to show you, if you want to have the extra pockets in there like I've got, so I've got oh, three yeah. pockets in here, you can decide how far apart you would like those to go and then just sew those into position again, having this, um, the reverse stitch at the start and stop point. I haven't got a, oh, I have got a ruler. I was really good. I tidied up after the last error. And now, and I'm, now, and now yeah, I'm <laughs> you've packed yourself all away. <laughs> So again, we'll just pop those little ones there. So for this particular part, we want to reverse stitch at the top of each of those pockets as well, because you're going to use both of those. Princess, where have you sent your messages to? She's asked if there are any messages coming through to the studio for you, Hannah. Ah, ah, ah. She's not quite sure. Have you had any cake yet? Have you had any cake? Did you find a knife? The cake? Was You've eaten cake and not shared it out. You've been very quiet about the cake. How Have is we it? We had some. We ha it's absolutely... Is it moist still? Oh, nice. so nice, yeah. Oh, good. I just, I had a, I had a, um, a nice large bite just as somebody started talking to me and I was like, oh, but it's so nice. I really oh. need to eat the cake first. <laughs> I know I'm not really a cakey person, to be honest. I, I'm more savoury, but it was lovely. Yeah, good cake. Craig was being good and said he's not having any. He's on a healthy. Oh, well done, Craig. Well done. It'll last till tomorrow. Yeah, and Easter <laughs> week is not the time to start a healthy diet, is it? So all I'm doing for this one, we don't need to add that um, binding in here, so I'm just double hemming across these. The second two pockets there. Baffer, I didn't know you were a forager too. I'm waiting for elderflower to blossom so I can make elderflower squash. I didn't even know that you could do that. That's amazing. My, my, mine goes as far as... When, when Alex and Honey was little, we used to do a lot of strawberry jam. And in fact, Alex, I think when he was about seven, I always laugh, we took him to football training. And because we'd done so much foraging when they were younger, uh, on our way down there, he was like, oh, I'll just stop and get some berries and I'll just stop and get some strawberries. We're about half an hour late to this football, you know, introduction. And yeah. I remember Craig saying, will you tell him to pay attention? We're going to football. He was like, Dad, but these strawberries are really good. <laughs> so you're going to strawberry uh, jumping now. Ears. He'll be so disappointed if everybody knows I've told anybody that. Oh. But everywhere we went, and we used to do, you know, strawberry jams and baking, but I just feel as they've got older, we've, yeah. I've definitely got the habit of doing things like that. And time sometimes, so I'm always impressed when people find the time to... Kerry, I don't know how you find the time to do the amount of stuff that you do. <laughs> like, you are amazing how much you do. That's why I can't go forages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should have just done it on your walk to work yesterday. Well, yeah, well, I did think about it. I did look, but I don't think I could have taken the extra 10 steps to go, <laughs> to go and get any of it, to be honest. It was much further than I expected it to be. So to secure this into place now, all we do, the easiest thing to do is to just place this on top mm -hmm. and then we're sewing across that top. Just this little part here, because we will be putting the... Um, the um, the flap side, we don't want to secure that into place. So I'm going to sew just to about a quarter of an inch away because I quite like that that overhangs on this pattern. Ah, okay, yeah, nice. So, but by just placing the hook and loop together, you know you've got that resting on itself. Let's just shuffle that one there, that's it. Susie Duncan, uh, no one's going to turn down a bake from Susie because um, Maisie's cake will be a week old by then, so. There might be cake still left. There is a lot of cake. <laughs> there wasn't a lot left just so I don't think there oh, will. Okay. <laughs> so you've got your two inside pockets. They're all sewn together nicely. So we'll just pop those to one side. And now, as I mentioned right at the beginning, for the exterior part of your bag, again, you've got your templates. So we've got the flap, which is the one with a curve on there. Then we've got the bottom part. Mm -hmm. Then we've got that white on white, which is where if you want to doodle on there, you sew in patterns, or if you're making oh, okay. it for somebody, you might want to pop their name onto there. And then finally, we've got the section where we're putting the handles on. So we're going to go ahead and sew all of these pieces together to begin with. Into pairs? Or which, how do you do it? Into pairs. So yeah. 
we've got some batting underneath as well, nearly forgot that a little bit. So let's place the batting underneath. So the first section is for the batting. There we go. Those three, and this one has the batting under. So we're sewing those three pieces together. So you've got the top of the folder, the middle of the folder, and the bottom of the folder. That's not very good cutting on my behalf there, is it? Let's just trim that a little bit. And because I've used white on white in the kit, just have a quick check that that white on white is the correct way. And we'll just clip this into position. Now, if you're putting the sewing patterns on in the little hexes, um, we'll do all of that sewing on to the batting. So if I just sew this first of all. Where do the messages that people send through the app go, Hannah? I just asked, where does... Yeah, yeah, I've got it. Princess, we found it. it. I don't know where it goes when it comes through on the app, but I just love watching Kerry. I love her no-nonsense and no-faff approach. All of her <laughs> designs are beautiful and so practical. She's amazing. And so are you, Vix. Thank you, Princess. <laughs> Thank you. That's a lovely thing to say. What a lovely message. I'm pleased it came now through as well. Now we found it. Yeah, yeah, now we found it. What cake flavour did you go for in the end? Two. I oh, went for vanilla and raspberry. A lot of people were saying like the chocolatey ones, but because it was a very icing heavy cake, I thought it needed to be something a bit fresher. So this is the front part of your bag. So you have got two pieces of batting in there, one for the back and one for the front. So the first thing I'm going to do is to just press those seams towards the darker fabric. I love that somebody thinks that I'm no nonsense, no messing, because I tend to think I faff about quite a lot, to be honest. Oh no, you're <laughs> no, you're really good. You're not a faffy person at all. Oh, my mum will say, what have you been up to today? And I'm like, oh, just faffing. I've done a lot of faffing today. <laughs> <laughs> so the next part, you've then got your batting. So you're going to pop that centre part on top here. We can trim that in just a little second. Now, if you are using, so I'll show you this at this point. If you are wanting to put that sewing patterns on there, at this stage, just place that underneath. Mm -hmm. Centre this now with your seams. So the right way to position this is so the edge of your template sits on your seams, rests on your seams there. And then you can just doodle through on there. You can see the writing, I'm sure, yeah. on the screen there. So you're going to write this into place. Secure this to your batting, maybe just by using a little bit of 505 or clips, however you prefer to work. And at this stage, then you'll um, you'll sew all, do all of the hand sewing and all of your hexes into position as well. Once you've done that, we're then going to make the complete part of the exterior of the bag. So we're then going to put the batting, the batting three pieces flat, and then pop these in. So this is the spine where your handles going to go. We're folding the flap or the curved edge here over so they're pattern facing and we're going to sew those along and the same for that spine of the fabric as well or spine of the folder mm -hmm. just lining up all those raw edges and you could absolutely do this without the batting but just for the option to add some quilting onto here as well we've added the batting in and i just think oh, that'd be nice. adding the batting just gives everything just a a nicer feel doesn't it oh it's very plush isn't it and it's, it protects all of your absolute whatever you're putting in there as well just increase that stitch Is there anything that I can mention, by the way? I think the patterns have gone, the kits have gone. Um, if you want to put your name on and do some embroidery, um, we've got some sewing skeins, living in Loveless skeins. They're lovely little packs as well, little trio skeins. I know that we were doing our embroidery show earlier. These are the colours that you'll get. There's um, the pink, yellow and orange. This goes perfectly with the Liberty colourway. Is that why you've done yeah. it especially? Yeah. 
Oh, amazing. <laughs> there you go. £2.99, your trio uh, of skeins, which will look so pretty, so pretty. And then also, if you've got the purple colourway, the one that Kerry's working with, go with this one. These are the colours that you'll get. I couldn't decide which tone was my favourite, so we went three different ones. I love it. Purple. Love all of the different tones. We have got a quick question from Hazel for you, Kerry. Um, hi, enjoyed the show. Please, can you tell us how the clear pockets are attached? To the folder? Yeah, just on your ring binder. Yep. Yeah. So these will, so you will need, if I just take this out, you will need um, a clear, uh, an A4 folder to sit in there. And they, of course, have already got your ring binder hooks on the inside. Mm -hmm. So using your little eyelets inside your kit, these mm -hmm. will open out and allow you to flick through your um, patterns. Nice. Thank you ever so much. Thanks, Hazel. Sue says, you have, I want cake with Kerry. She lives into the next village to oh. me. There you go. I'll send some home, oh, Kerry, then. I think I know who that is. <laughs> I think I know who that is. <laughs> If it's the lady, I think it is. I was walking along the lanes in the village by us one day and there was a, a car coming towards me and somebody very excited to see me was waving. Ah. So I was waving back for ages and my child said, who's that? I said, no idea. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. And then I think we did an event at the NEC and the lady said, do you it remember when waving. you were walking down the It was us. I went, well, I didn't know who it was. So if it is, that's lovely. So this is, now there is enough fabric in your, um, in your kit for you to put the floral onto the back as well. But I wanted to save a bit of this fabric for, a, for another project, oh, but yeah, I was cutting it out. So I was like, we have plenty of the purple, so I'm gonna save a little bit. So there's enough in there. So the next thing to do is the handles that we're going to pop on to the spine, if I can get to those. We literally got like a couple of minutes. Okie dokie. And you've got all of your steps in there anyway, so yeah. there's plenty to do. And we've done the most important thing, which of course is those little pockets. I love that Sue's message says, no, that wasn't me. She says, I'm, I'm another random stranger. Oh, right, okay. I'm just another one. <laughs> I'm sure if you well, see Carrie in the next village, wave. <laughs> Or invite me in for a cup or I'll come and have a cup. It yeah. might save me on the long walk. In fact, yesterday when we were walking, I was like, I just wish, I think my mum's working around here today. If she drives past us, I'm getting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so for your handle, we have put some interfacing on there. You're simply fusing that together, bringing your two raw edges in and then back on itself. In fact, I've missed a little bit. We're going to pop this on. Yeah, so I'm not sure the next time we're doing it. No time soon, I don't think. Just whilst you're doing this, can I do the menu for tomorrow? It's amazing tomorrow. We've got Bex joining me, and we've got a special guest with Bex with Amber Makes. William Morris Fabric to start the day, which is going to be amazing, and an early bird special, obviously. Uh, 10 o'clock, we've got sewing machines. Look at this. 11 o'clock, I've got Sarah Davis with me. <gasps> I'm actually really excited slash nervous because I love Strictly Come Dancing, I love Dragon's Den, and I love all of her products from Crafter's Companion. She has got a Gemini launch exclusive colorway. She is on air with me tomorrow at 11 o'clock for an hour and a half. You'll be all starstruck. I'm going to get excited. photos. I'm going to just be like, what's Ali Ash like? I love Ali Ash. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to um, be asking her all the questions. Get them all in as well. I know this is completely new to me, uh, a die cutter, which I know is really useful, but also one that cuts fabric as well. So very exciting. Very exciting. I'll certainly change. Yeah, stay watch. tuned in. So for the exterior, I won't sew these on because we've run out of time now, but your handle goes into that spine section mm -hmm. when you're doing the interior part again you've got your full step by steps just remembering to put your pockets in and it's a binding to finish amazing you're back on the 10th of may and you're going to bring all this back please <laughs> <laughs> i Restock. know we're bringing i know we're bringing the lotus, lotus. of the accessory roll but i'll have a chat with ian and yeah. see if we can bring more of these oh, today please do it's been so <laughs> lovely been to back with you susie's just put you need to come on a walk with me and hendrix is that that's the gin or is that her, her animal? It's the gin. Yeah. It's not, it's her dog. Come on and walk. That sounds like my dog. kind of walk. <laughs> it's actually Susie's dog, but your eyes just lit up there I when like, I okay. suggested. She says a short one today, only five miles, only five miles. The Gemini is an amazing machine. Use my <laughs> lot, says Susie. Watch tomorrow, 11 o'clock with myself and Sarah Davis. It's been amazing. Thank it's you. Been See you soon. Thank you ever so much. And thank you for all your lovely messages um, to, to me on Facebook about Maisie's birthday as well. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 a.m.